Kwa tara kara mi wuru ma mi ga kuru mu go ya baby mo abe abe ha abe ma re why feeling ay anda ba 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 Since I was born, but now I am getting youth. I gonna move down, I gonna go down. And there it is, ah, right there. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> there it is, right there. Here I am, right here. And uh, here, uh, fair child is right. Uh, I must always encourage you to do what uh, fair child just did there. It says, uh, "Good morning to everyone. Uh, good morning to you, one man." So, so uh, it's always nice to start off with a greeting. That uh, takes nothing. It's just civilized behavior, isn't it? And a very civilized man, uh, fair child. So, good morning to you wherever you are. Uh, it's good evening where I am. Uh, so, uh, and by the way, there's no such thing as a good night. Unless somebody is going to bed. So it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So there's no good night because it's dark. Because um, I've noticed that Nigerians are trying to reinvent the English language. So, so please don't do that. Let the custodians of the language, which is the English people, let them define how that, that language works. So it's not good Monday. They started to say good Friday, good month, whenever a month. What's all this? Don't, don't do it. Leave the language, uh, do whatever you like with Yoruba language, do whatever you like with uh, Fufude, but leave the English language alone. They, 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 they've had their language for probably as long as you've had yours, so, so just leave it alone. So there is good morning, good afternoon, good evening. There is no good night. Uh, so, 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 uh, so, so that's my little rant out of the way. So, uh, good to see your chooks and good to see your money more. So, everybody encouraged to share greetings and felicitations uh, all around. So, <clears throat> good day to you and good to be in your company. Do exactly as uh, who Igwe is inviting like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell notification button. So, uh, thank you, Choco, for reminding people of that. You must always do these things, uh, especially the like button. It's the bread and butter of uh, anybody that does this uh, sort of streaming on whatever, even on Twitch, you're invited to do that. So you just must do that. It's not even, uh, and it's not, it, it doesn't assault your wallet in any way. Uh, it does, it's no skin off your nose. It takes nothing away from you. So why not just do it? Just click on the like and subscribe. It doesn't, it doesn't detract from your from from you in any way, and, and it enhances the platform that you are you are watching. So why not just do it? So do that. Um, so so all, all that lovely stuff, and exactly as a Chuke Chuku Igwe also invites. Super chat is now open. So that dollar sign at the bottom of the comment section. Uh, if you click on it, you can use that to empty the contents of your wallet into mine. So click on that as well. And on all of the pl platforms uh, that we're streaming to, there, there's an avenue for you to donate to us the platform on YouTube is the Super Chat. And the perfect example is how I has just started it right there. So uh, we anticipate at least uh, five uh, super charts uh, in the course of a session, and Ayo has started it off handsomely as only he can. So, I uh, quickly followed by Boston. So, do all that funky stuff. Play that funky music, white boy, and all that. Play that funky music, white boy. So, play that funky music, white boy. So, let's run straight into it. Uh, so, I've done the like, I've done the subscribe. The hyperlink that says StreamYard invites you into the studio. We need more new voices. Uh, look at all of the Oh, you know, voices like Bishop, Prince Daddy, Ajale Koko, all of these superstar names that you've gone, grown accustomed to, all of these grand personalities, all they did at the start 
was just to click on that hyperlink that says StreamYard. They came into the studio, got a feel for the space for after for uh, for about a session or two, and then they relaxed into it, and then they become all these big personalities that you all know and love. So there's nothing complex to it. It's an open microphone session, and the open microphone, the hyperlink that says StreamYard. So I'll send it into the comment section again so that it is immediate. We're forever looking for new talents. Uh, only because that uh, expands the conversation. Look at when Prince Daddy joined us. Uh, look at the inflection he brought to our conversation. Look at uh, when he uh, joined us. Look at the inflection he brought into our conversation. And all of these endless personalities, all they did uh, was to... Uh, and, and really, we want to freshen up the conversation as well. So to, to help us freshen it up, we are forever harvesting. We want to harvest your brain. Let me put it in that crude manner to send Shiva Stan your spine. You want to harvest your brain. So if you want your brain harvested, click on that hyperlink that says StreamYard, pop into the studio and come hang out with your favorite or your alafi man, one man went to mo. So now, uh, plenty to go through. When is there never not plenty to go through? But I want to start it off with a... I, I, I won't play more than three, five minutes of this clip, but I feel necessary that it's... Uh, important to document this uh this particular clip is nothing exciting this clip that i'm about to play you now nothing exciting nothing sexy there's nothing sexy about this clip it's just a man going about his job but the most important things in life they're never sexy they're never exciting it's just some man putting one brick on top of the other in order then to form something beautiful so this formation of something beautiful comes from the east one of our favorite Easterners, uh, Dave Umahi. I, I just want you to watch it. So you've heard the phrase, uh, before I bring it up, uh, you've heard the, the phrase, uh, square pegs in square holes. That is to say, uh, the object fit, fits the purpose. And that is essentially what that means. Round pegs in round holes, square pegs in square holes, whatever shape uh, a peg to fit the hole that is shaped like it. And that is how a country is administered. And we had a lot of nonsense on that Buhari, of course. When they go and put a caterer in terms of a, a fuel, and they go and put a medical doctor in, ta in terms of a cleaning gutter. So everything upside down. But how things, are to, uh, how things are meant to be done properly is exemplified by this clip that I'm about to play you. This guy is a superstar a gold standard human being. Uh, so I've trailed him up, uh, let's let's bring him in and, 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 and uh, let, let's get it, let, let's get this one. This is Dave Umahi, uh, as you may or may not know, but this is exactly uh, a, a guy that fits the portfolio perfectly. Watch this. No, no, sir. Uh, the third layer. The third layer. This is the second layer. No, sir. Third, the third, 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 layer. third layer. Is this cement in this one? No, sir. We will, uh, after we finalize this one, we will take the cement one. We will spray the cement on the top. And my reclaimer will come. He will mix it. Like percolation. He will mix it. Then we will compact it again. Then it will be ready. Don't mix it with the uh, but yes, 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 and then, uh, and then they yes, 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 I think you get the drift of it. Um, it goes on and on for a bit, but I think you get the drift of it. So this is uh, Dave Umahi, but to give him his proper title, Engineer Dave Umahi. So this is a guy who is an engineer in the construction field who has now been put in charge of the Ministry of Works. So is uh, 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 how many videos have we seen of this guy? 
doing on the spot in inspections of all of these roads and, and I'm making sure it measures it, it goes on the ground to dig it up, it checks the layers of whatever it is that needs to be layered. At the end of this clip, it gives this um this uh this particular uh, road, I think this is somewhere in Port Harcourt or Calabar River State, it gives this pa this particular road a guarantee of a hundred years, all because it's having that fusion of cement and asphalt, which is its preferred uh, mode of uh, building. So square pegs in square holes. This guy is uh, is good. Is is an outstanding minister, uh, at least so far. You know, and when this we starts to complete a lot of these projects, we will all marvel at it. This guy, Adevo Mahi, is an outstanding example of, of how a minister should be. So, so that's Devo Mahi uh, uh, showing us exactly how it should be done. Uh, so Dev Mahi shows us exactly how it should be done, but a man that shows us exactly how not to do it. A man that shows us exactly how not to do it. This has been circulating around, uh, but I'm picking it from this spot. Simon Ikwa declares Tinobu orders wanted. So this is it. This is where we are right here. Remember, of course, that the defense headquarters declared um, uh, Simon Ikwa wanted along with uh, 90 something other terrorists. And, and he now, being the clownish guy that he is, is gone on his uh, whatever podcast to make that ridiculousness that he often does. Simon Ipa declares to know who eight others wanted. Uh, so, so let's find out exactly. Uh, just a couple of, a couple of paragraphs. Uh, Simon Ipa, a controversial Bihafra agitator and separatist, has declared that has declared that no fewer than nine persons are wanted for terrorism allegations in the Southeast. In the least, Ipa named President Bola Tinumbu, Vice President Shetima, amongst others, who he claimed are behind the insecurity in the region. So recall that the defense headquarters had earlier declared that Ipa, alongside 96 others, are wanted for violent extremism in the country. Reacting, Ipa, in a press release on his verified handle on Sunday, said the inclusion of his name in the terror list released by the DHQ is dead on arrival. He therefore promised to release more, deta more detailed names of sponsors of terrorism in Biafra land and their accomplices in earnest. So this is our Simon Ipa, as we know, and almost certainly do not love him. Uh, uh, we, we tend to, we see the guy as somewhat of a joke, but there's nothing at all funny in the human lives that is hemorrhaging in the southeast so so that's simon Ipa, uh, as we know him ever the buffoon uh, <clears throat> uh so this one uh, an ongoing space oh so uh so to be careful what you say and do online uh because now the repercussions look likely to to, start, to be starting to come you have to be careful what you say and do online and especially who you say and do them to so uh, this now next headline, federal government begins trial of man who accused Fashola of writing PEPC's judgments. So you remember, of course, during that Supreme Court phase, when some wayward obedient went and uh, put out this notice on their usual watering holes to accuse uh, Fashola of writing the uh, judgments of the uh, uh, presidential election petition uh, council or or court, or yeah, presidential election petition court. So, uh, fact, fact, you, you, that, that's why I said you have to be careful who you throw these digs at, because some people don't 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 react quite well to it. And Fashola being the last person, of course, that you want to be throwing those sort of digs at, he he does not take it very lightly. And you see, lightly is not how he's taking it. Um, <clears throat> The federal government has commenced the prosecution of a man, Abazim Chike Victor, uh, accused of being behind some, uh, let's take that again. Uh, the federal government has commenced the prosecution of a man, Abazim Chik Chike Victor, accused of being behind some publications, claiming that the former Works and Housing Minister uttered the judgment of the Presidential Election Petition, petition Court, PEPC, that dismissed the petitions of Peter B, uh, Labour Party, and the People's Democratic Party. Pete uh, Victor, who alleged to be one of the three individuals uh, 
Victor, who is alleged to be one of the three individuals linked to the publications, has been arraigned before a federal high court in Abuja on a six count charge. He is charged with criminal conspiracy, cyber stalking. So this cyber stalking now seems to not be the preferred go to. Do you remember one of the charges leveled against Shawore? was it was cyber bullying Buhari. So now this now seems to be the new inflection now of charges by the state uh, when they're trying to clamp down on people. Terrorism, treason, cyber stalking, and cyber bullying. This seems to be their go-to now. Uh, <clears throat> Right. He's charged with criminal conspiracy, cyber stalking and defamation, amongst others. The case now before uh, the case now before Justice Bolaji Oluwa Olujumo. So uh, the guy is in a big trouble, though. Uh, he's a is a is a is a um, is defamed the Yoruba man. And that, that case has now landed in front of a Yoruba judge. And he being a Southeasterner, so he will be soaking yellow gary, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the, ca the case now before Justice Bolaji Olajumo has been adjourned till April the 15th uh, for continuation of trial. Uh, the charge reads uh, that you, Abazim, Vict uh, Abazim Chike Victor, male, male with Jackson Ude, Nandi Emmanuel Abazim, and reported dot ng uh, body corporate now at large uh, on or about the 5th of the 8th 2023 at abuja did commit an illegal act to wit criminal conspiracy when you jointly agreed to publish a defamatory statement of false allegations in your online social media the reporter uh, dot uh, ng news against his excellency babatunde rajefashola san look at uh, the, this guy i don't think he will ever come out of it uh, san con without justification you thereby commit offense punishable under section blah 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 that you abazim uh, chike victor mill alongside blah 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 did commit illegal acts to it cyber stalking against his excellency uh, fashola the immediate past honorable minister of works and housing false allegations through reporter.ng online news that nigeria that nigeria's uh, that nigeria army takes siege of his excellency's abuja's abuja residence restrict movement to and from the former minister of works and housing amidst the scare of a possible miscarriage of justice at the presidential election petition tribunal so on and on it goes but uh it looks as though that girl may, that guy rather may well spend a uh, considerable let me send the link again the room is barely populated so anybody wants to jump on jump on so anybody that wants to jump on jump on so now this one now it, 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 we're not covered in glory with this one. This one, the, the ridiculing of Nigeria continues. Uh, by NAS executive Nadine and Jawala escapes, cust escapes from custody, NSA. So escape from the custody of the National Security Advisor, then uh, which, which, which facility then is, uh, is, is, is beyond being breached? is the question if somebody can escape from the facilities of the national security because that, that out of the pyramid of security structures that is meant to be the highest maybe between the nsa and the dss you, you're not quite sure what uh, that is above the police and it has supervision over the police over the army over the dss over everybody so the national security advisor has oversight over all so if they cannot keep somebody in custody then, then that just tells you that gives you then a sufficient enough explanation as to why the country is the way it is. Um, <clears throat> Nadine and Jawala, uh, an executive of cryptocurrency platform Binance, has escaped from custody, according to the Office of the National Security Advisor (NSA). He is a suspect in the federal government's ongoing probe into Binance activities in Nigeria. 
but he escaped from custody on Friday. The NFA, uh, the NSA office, uh, let's do that entirely all over again. Uh, Nadine and Jawala, an executive of cryptocurrency platform Binance, has escaped from custody. According to the Office of the National Security Advisor, he is a suspect in the federal government's ongoing probe into Binance activities in Nigeria. Uh, but he escaped from custody on Friday. The NFA, the NSA office said in a Monday statement by its spokesperson, Zachary, whatever. The Office of the National Security Advisor confirms that Nadine and Jawala is suspect in the ongoing criminal probe into the activities of Binance in Nigeria has escaped from lawful custody on Friday, the 22nd of March, 2024, the NSA office said. Uh, upon receiving the report, the office of the NSA took immediate steps in conjunction with relevant security agencies, MDAs, as well as the international community to apprehend the suspect. Preliminary investigation shows that Anjawala fled Nigeria using a smuggled passport. It said the personnel responsible for the custody of the suspect has been arrested and a thorough investigation is ongoing to unravel the circumstances that led to his escape from lawful custody until his, until his escape and jawala who holds a uh, british and kenyan citizenship so it looks as though this rendition narrative is a tit for tat between the uh, uh, nigeria and kenya until his uh until his escape and jawala who holds British and Kenyan citizenship and serves as Binance's Africa Africa regional manager was facing trial in Nigerian courts. The suspect escaped whilst under a 14-day remand order by a court. It was scheduled to appear before it again on April the 4th, 2024. So so um to just fly under just uh a casual throw away uh the, 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 somebody some, somebody has been compromised a lot of people have been compromised this cannot just be allowed to fly uh his escape is the latest twist in the ongoing brawl between Nigeria, the Nigerian authorities and cryptocurrency and the cryptocurrency platform and Jawala is one of Binance's chiefs uh, arrested in the wake of the tussle the federal government had in recent months heightened its crackdown on suspected money launderers and currency speculators. A month ago, the Central Bank of Nigeria said over $26 billion, uh, $26 billion was channeled through Binance without a trace. So, so there, there it is right there. It, it's, just, it's just unbelievable stuff. It's, it really is unbelievable stuff. Uh, but um, uh, there was one other headline where Binance was gloating about um, how they facilitated the escape of this uh, character. Let me see if I've got that. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Uh, okay, I can't find that immediately. But but let's go to this one. Um, this one is long overdue. Uh, federal government. Gumi has been invited for questioning over comments on bandit activities. So invited to really read arrested, uh, long due, this guy should be in custody. The federal government says Ahmad, Ahmad Gumi, the Kaduna-based Islamic cleric, has been invited for questioning over his comments on the activities of bandits in the country. Mohammed Idris, Minister of Information and Orientation, spoke on Monday whilst addressing journalists at the State House Abuja. In recent years, Gumi has gained prominence. So I really hate the use of the word prominence. There's always a misuse of the uh, English language uh, in Nigerian press. It's not prominence, it's notoriety. You know, because prominence is, is, a, is a respectable elevation. So, so it's not elevated with respect. It is is uh, it is um is is uh, is um is in focus through disdain and distrust. So I'm not quite sure. It is it, notoriety, not prominence. But uh, there it is. Uh, in recent months, uh, in recent years, Gumi has gained prominence for his comments on the activities of bandits. 
he has been pictured with some bandits on many occasions. The cleric reportedly offered to dialogue with bandits who abducted students from the government secondary school and LEA primary schools in Kariga community uh, in Kaduna. So, so um, uh, long overdue, this guy should have been picked up. So, uh, uh, still plenty of room in the, in, in the uh, plenty of space in the in, in the room. Anybody wants to come on, come on. Uh, anybody that wants to come on, come on. So those girls released. Uh, the government insisting they didn't pay a ransom. Ransom was not paid to secure release of Kuragi school children. So uh, of course they would say that, wouldn't they? Uh, but I doubt very much if those children would have been released. And the number still skewed. There's uh, there's a missing hundred. So they 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 facilitated the release of a uh, hundred and something. But uh, the numbers that was originally given was nearly 300. So what's, hap what's happened to the difference? The federal government says no ransom was paid to secure the release of 137 school children uh, abducted from the Kur Kuriga community in Kaduna State. Mohammed Idris, Minister of Information and National Orientation, told State House correspondents in Abuja on Monday that the federal government has vowed not to pay ransom to secure the release of abducted victims. The minister commended the national security advisor. This is somebody that cannot keep somebody in custody, but is able to facilitate the, the release of uh, a hundred, uh, uh, hundreds of uh, uh, um, victims. Uh, the minister commended the national security advisor and service chiefs for the role they played in securing the release of the school children. He said President Paula Tinobu has asked security agencies to inter intensify efforts to stop the menace or, of uh, kidnapping across the country. As promised by, pre by Mr. President, they have been rescued. No ransom was paid, it was said. The president has also charged security agencies to make sure kidnapping, uh, kidnappings are brought to a halt and all the perpetrators of kidnapping are fished out and punished. So they're not even fished out. Let, let them just fish them out and leave them leave them in body bags wherever they do meet them. That, that's just my recommendation. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, what's this one? I think we just read this one. Detained Binance executive escapes from custody in Nigeria. I think we've just uh, now read that one. Uh, so now, uh, Justin, CBN sells $10,000 to BDCs at 1,251 to the dollar. So why exactly is this? Are they, are they giving them margins for profit? What's going on here? Uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria has issued a circular to bureau the change operators, informing them of the sale of $10,000 to each BDC at the rate of 1,200 Naira to the dollar. This was contained in a circular made available to correspondents and signed by the bank's director, trade and exchange department, Dr. Hassan Mohammed Mahmoud on Monday. The Apex Bank directed each BDC to sell the dollars to eligible customers at a rate not exceeding 1.5% above the purchase price, implying that each BDC is not expected to sell above 1,000. How, how, how do you police that? How do you police that is the thing? How, <laughs> how do you even police that? That's just ridiculous, isn't it? You cannot set the price in a, in, a, in, a, in a free market enterprise. So you cannot set the price in a free market enterprise. So uh, let me take you to this last one. This one is a human. Uh, let me send the, the, the link again. Uh, 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 if anybody wants to come in, I'd like the room to be a bit more populated than it is. So anybody that has the time to spare, uh, come join us. Uh, so now this this one now this is just a synopsis. This is just a, a microcosm of of where we are as a nation now. Man arraigned for stealing fufu, noodles, salt, onion, and pot of soup in a kitty. So so there it is. So that's just a crime of hunger, isn't it? A twenty year old man identified as Ojo Monday has been arraigned before an Ado Ekiti chief mag magistrate court in Ekiti state over alleged housebreaking and stealing. So that in itself is a crime, but what does he steal? What is still is still a crime? Because he's taking something that doesn't belong to him, but what does he steal? The police prosecutor, Inspector Moyosola Moyo Moyo Adeshola, 
uh, said that the suspect stole noodles, maggi seasoning, salt, onion, fufu, and a pot of soup, all, all valued at 300,000 naira belonging to the complainants. So you will notice that no trinkets, no money, essentially. But how, 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 how is a pot of soup, noodles, maggi? How, 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 how does that value to 300,000 naira? Unless they stole cash. So what's the pricing on, on these things? It stole uh, noodles, maggi seasoning, salt, onions, fufu, and a pot of soup. And they are valuing that at 300,000 naira. Even at this economic space, I think that's somewhat of an embellishment. Uh, <clears throat> a 20-year-old man identified as a... Uh, Odo Monday has been arraigned before an Ado Ekiti chief magistrate's court in Ekiti state over alleged housebreaking and stealing. The police prosecutor, Inspector Moyosola, Moyosola, Moyosola Adeshola, said that the suspect stole some noodles, maggi seasoning, salt, onions, fufu, and a pot of soup, all valued at uh, 300,000 naira belonging to the complainant. The incident, the incident happened on Thursday, March the 14th, 2024, at about 12 noon at Felagon, uh, something or the other road in Adewikiti. Uh, the defendant, however, denied the charges. Inspector Adeshola noted that the offenses the uh, contravene section three, which section in the Nigerian constitution actually speaks to speed stealing a pot of soup? I'd like to see that read out. I want to know. Uh, so apparently sections uh, 322 and 302, subsection 1A of the uh, uh, Criminal Laws of Ekiti State 2021, they institute that is a criminal offense to steal a pot of soup. It's just a ridiculousness, isn't it? Uh, yeah, right. Ola uh, Yinka Opaleke, counsel to the defendant, urged the court to grant the def defendant bail. Meanwhile, the chief magistrate, Mrs. Taiwo uh, Ajibade, granted the defendant bail uh, in the sum of 50,000 naira with one shorty in light sum and adjourned the case till April the 23rd. Uh, for hearing. That is to tell you then that the Ekiti State Police Command is not busy enough. If the height of their criminal crime solving is uh, haranguing a man for helping himself to a neighbor's pot of soup, uh, which in itself is a crime, but uh, I think uh, there should be more important things for them to contend with. So, uh, more important things for them to contend with. So, so we end the readouts there. Uh, still plenty of other stories to go through, but we'll, uh, we'll have that to keep us going. Uh, for the time being, we play the care guides, uh, bring on the people assembled, uh, and I will take it from there. Uh, but uh, you know how we always struggle to find the care guide music, but not this time because, uh, no, yes, we are struggling to find it yet again. Uh, uh, but first, let's go to the care guides. <laughs> Let's 
And there it is right there. Ikuko Neru Agbeche may death have nothing to do with us. So hope you can still hear me okay. So Ikuko Neru Agbeche joining me, uh, Bishop, always a delight uh, when Bishop joins us. Our father of the bride, Ajale Koko, there is Ajale Koko right there. Uh, and making up the lineup, uh, uh, Baba. So there is Baba right there. So good to have you, gentlemen. Uh, still plenty of spaces in the comment uh, on the screen. So anybody that wants to jump on, jump on. Uh, good to have you. Uh, let's kick it off with Bishop if he's ready to, if he's ready to go. Bishop. Bishop. Hello, good evening. You? Good evening. Good, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. We can hear you perfectly. Uh, good, to, good to have you. all that you did draw my attention to it but um i think after the session i did not remember to address it but um i, I will try and address it but uh le let me also recommend uh, uh, it's, un it's unacceptable by the way so let me start it with that but let me also recommend that not to pay too much attention to uh you should see what people like pansat call me on the comment section uh you know it, it, the, 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 the yeah, comment section that, is, a, is, is a bit like twitter you know, you, you just have but to, it's a, culture, it's a culture of its I, own. And they try to get under I your know, skin. That's what I noticed. But uh, no, they, no, no, not just you, they try to that, get under the skin. Hold on. No, they try no, to get under no, the skin of the people on the screen. But uh, apologies uh, uh, for, for what our offense was caused. But that's uh, okay. Calling me repeatedly a criminal, a terrorist, a terrorist sponsor, not once, not twice, repeatedly over to form that it is no longer bad time. It is no longer bad time. Because we need to take it beyond that. It's no longer bad time. I just need to put that there. Thank you. So let's, let's get at it. Let's see what we have. have, oh, oh, today, have oh, oh, all right. Oh, all right. Take us to the Binance space. A real big embarrassment for the Nigerian. Somebody has been compromised, obviously. Uh, but uh, how, how can this be possible? 
that are in what is meant to be one of the most secure uh, uh, detention facilities in the whole of the country. Uh, a foreigner just casually strolls, and is not even a black man, by the way, so he sticks out like a sore thumb. How is it possible then that uh, this uh, character escaped uh, from DSS custody? Okay, uh, let me say, good evening once again, everyone. Please, uh, please come to the live button. Subscribe and share. Um, well, it's embarrassing. It's not very pleasant. It's something that we should condemn. But we shouldn't take it a little bit too far. And number one, people escape from London for the custody everywhere. I mean, we can remember the UK, the Dalit Saga, and the Alabi there. And there are several people that have escaped. Number two, the man was actually in custody, but he was not in detention. He was in custody. There's something we call home arrest. Like, home, you know, half arrest. Uh, so the gentleman was in a house arrest just to preserve, I mean, to protect the dignity and treat him like a human being. But they showed and proved that he does not deserve to be treated like a human being, you know, in a stable way, a uh, stable manner. So he was in a house arrest. Somebody was supposed to be his guard, as it is done, as a practice. It's normally a uh, sometimes it's just a. A, a, one of the guest houses of the security agency. If it has to be military something, it would be like uh, like an officer's bed or some officer's contact somewhere. But they will give somebody that is supposed to be in charge for their needs and you know the necessary things. So according to the story we've had so far, that he went out on the excuse that he wanted to go and pray in a nearby box. Maybe they've allowed him to do that before. Maybe not. But I would say the must have been compromised and lot of negligence. So um, why they are looking for him, whosoever is responsible for that compromise, because if they were giving him food, or if they have access to their phone and other gadgets, communication gadgets, and was able to reach out to the outside world. So the extent that he was, was able to ar arrange for his care passport and the process for him. I don't know whether he had his passport in Nigeria, or the smoke would be in. Maybe when they asked for his passport, the one he surrendered to the Nigerian government was the, you know, the, the, the one for him. Then somebody must have arranged to bring his spare passport. But definitely, there are questions that needed to be answered. In that. But that lack of comment, making it about Nigeria, the inefficiency of the system, uh, I will agree if the sense of people have been compromised. And the soldiers fish them out. Because that is about Nigeria, that Nigeria is this, Nigeria is good for us. I don't think I want to agree with that. People escape from local courts, so the uh, no, no, but, but why, why would you not agree with that, though, Bishop? Um, the NSA is, is one of the uh, prestige facilities within the Nigeria, it's, it's a high profile uh, security organization. Yeah. And, and if, there is, if there is one person that uh, somebody should not be escaping from, it should be the NSA. Uh, Nigeria has been embarrassed by this, and it, it shows just how deep corruption is within the system. I'm not saying that there is no corruption. I'm not saying somebody has not been compromised. I'm not saying it is not embarrassing. I'm saying we should not lose the some I've read some comments and degrading Nigeria. I see if people don't escape from local custody, even in the advanced society. It's unfortunate. But if this thing happens, now you are saying. The office of the NSA, like I did say, it was not like the man was kept in the detention facility or in the prison yard or in the facility of the DSS or the SSS or the SID. He was kept in the guest house. In yeah, but it was in the custody of the NSA, irrespective of where. Uh, yeah, I agree irrespective with you. of oh, where it was, it, it was in the custody of the NSA. That's it. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. If you listen very well. I said it is condemnable, it is embarrassing. It is not something that should have happened. And everybody that was responsible should be pushed out and dealt with. Then, and I said, the fact that Nigeria is really like, I read some comments, I read some opinion of people, I'm saying it doesn't really get to that. The most secure places in the world, even in the civilized society, we have people that came from local custody every day 
that are treating place in America every time. You know, not only uh, county prison or state jail, even federal prison. That's the police you see. So I'm saying we should not. I mean, Alameda, his passport and the rest was with the British government. Yes, he managed to escape at the corner of the United Kingdom. Tito uh, uh, Joshua Dali, we passed I'm saying it's not like, yeah, it's bad. They should pay attention to this and learn from it. Maybe they should not be that lenient when you are dealing with so hard profile. Put them in jail. Give the cause they want to send them in jail. Then throw them in jail. Let them be in that jail. And then when it's time to call, let them not make an appearance in the cause. Let them not make the appearance. So for me, it's something that must, they should pay attention to it. And at the same time, you know, sometimes some of these freedom things that we use, I, I think it's going to, uh, this thing is going to, uh, how do I call it now? Be like a lack of back for some other innocent people. And this is what is likely going to happen. You know, as the Nigeria is I'm coming to Nigeria with your passport. And when you are going out, you go out, if you are in Nigeria that lives in the diaspora, like you have the British passport. Now you can go to Nigeria fully with your Nigerian passport. And when you are going out, you go out with your British passport. So it doesn't call for dual, uh, dual verification of your uh, uh, traveling document. Because otherwise, if a man has come into Nigeria on a visa and is not a Nigerian, your passport that you are using now cannot just be stamped once. When did you come in? That should have been the red flag. I don't think he would have gone through uh, some legal routes to exit the country. He would have exited through an illegal route. No, but we don't have you, you, no, wait, Immigration, wait, wait, wait. Immigration said he used one of the uh, Middle East airlines. That's what the immigration officer said. That they have been able to pay it down to an airline. That is one of the Middle East. No, I think I think you are deviating somewhat from the core of the matter. The core of the matter is that a high profile foreign individual was uh, arrested by the uh, a high profile Nigerian security agency, uh, much, much to the notice of the rest of the world. And the guy just casually strolled out of their custody. So that is really, however he got out of the country is immaterial. The fact that he was able to escape the custody of the NSA it is we something that we should really label. Yes. We have, we have already addressed the fact that he escaped from the custody of the NSA. We have already addressed that. That we should have a copy of that. Something else you want me to say. We have already addressed that. No, no, no. I, I, I wanted you to talk about. I want to, uh, yes, I wanted you to talk about consequences. So it is really immaterial how he escaped because that he escaped the country via an airline is even is even a further indicts the structures of the country. So so that's a further indictment. But what consequences should there be, and who we, should be consequenced for it? Yeah. Then we, then we so we're going to lose his job for this. They will arrest them. I mean, they will subject them to trial. If their level of complicity, you know, the compromise, they really compromise. Uh, there are rules uh, in the in the in the security agencies how you deal with such uh, 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 such situations. Is, is, this, is this not sufficient enough for the NSA to be stepped down? To be taken down as well. To to be removed. No, uh, 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 it's uh, not enough. You, you uh, don't think uh, it's enough to. to <laughs> no, I absolutely. think it's enough. No, no, no. For causing us an international embarrassment. No, 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 it is not. It is not. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. We should be removed, Roman. We should be can I can I interject one minute? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, co come in. Do, do you not think this is sufficient enough for Ribado to be removed? Uh, I think it's sufficient. Yes. Uh, if the president really wants to send signals to every people at the head of 
the committee against that nonsense. I got it up. You are breaking. Uh, uh, so, so, sorry, Bishop. I'll mute you for a moment just because of the uh, background noise. I, I'll mute you. What, when you want to speak, just unmute yourself, Bishop. Oh, oh, all right, Karen, can, you, can you hear me now? Yeah, may, may, much better, Karen. Okay, so what I was saying is that this is enough um, for the president to fire Ribadu because under his command, somebody who is a high profile, you know, criminal that is um uh what do I call economic uh, that's a threat to uh our national he has done real and severe harm to that country he facilitated the flight of uh 26 billion dollars yeah it, it, it's a it, uh, it, uh, did, threat. did you facilitate it or you're just saying it one man no that's what they said now they said the monies that they said disappeared through uh, Binance was to the tune of twenty-six billion dollars. But you so, said he facilitated his um. His, uh, no, uh, no, 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 uh, no, no. I said he facilitated the the looting of six uh, twenty-six billion dollars. So as I was saying, a man that um, is a criminal, a man that um, uh, uh, carried out um, activity that can be regarded as a a, 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 a serious threat to our national economic interests, you know, sh should get away easily at the most heavily, what should be the most heavily secured facility in the country. That should tell us that People in charge of that facility are very, very dangerous to that country. Anybody that is kept there, anybody in, 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 in custody there should be safe, secured, and, you know, a, and, and such a situation Be, because that, I, I Koko, for, to facilitate the escape of this guy is not just a case of bribing some random soldier it's not it's not bribing corporal it, it's bribing through the chain of command because it, not only does he have to escape there he has to they have to open the window for him to escape the, from the country uh, before the alarm then is raised yes it, it's an organized um um uh, uh, it, this is well organized. The escape was well organized and was well ca carried out. Right from the facility to the airport. I mean, his name should be on a flight risk list. <clears throat> and the fact is, he's an Indian as well, so it's not as though he will blend into the crowd. So what, what what really happened is that some group of people in that facility organized it, took him out from there, um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, how do I describe this? Uh, 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 organized the securities as well in at the airport. I mean, colluded with the security at the airport to, to facilitate his escape out of the country. That Imagine the international embarrassment that a high-profile um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 um, prisoner, let's use that term, uh, just casually put on his shoes and walked out of one of the most secure facilities in Nigeria. So can, can you imagine that? Uh, imagine how it's being reported worldwide. I mean, money. Do we want to kill that country because of money? Because what happened here is bribery, money, a staying hand from one point to the other that carried out this operation at the detriment at the security decrement of the country. 
this is not this should not be tolerated. The president is so the badu as an example to fire him. Others as well should be fired. That will send signal to all the security apparatuses, all the I mean agencies, those in charge of our security agencies, all of them will stand up and say, this is no nonsense uh, president. So this is this is this is a a, a a a disgrace to the country. This shows that we have no security in that country. I mean, yeah, may I come in one minute, please? Yeah, go ahead, Baba. Yeah, thanks, Aja. I don't know why we are all surprised. Maybe we have very short memory. This is our country where a loaded ship, one million barrels of crude oil, and that is a VLCC ocean liner very long, very deep in the sea. Didn't that vessel escaped? The custody of Nigerian Navy, have we forgotten during Jonathan's time? You see, there is something about we Nigerians I don't understand. We are brazen, we are fearless, where money is concerned, every Nigerian has a price. And I think I've traced it to how our judiciary operates. Though everywhere, they say the uh, wheel of justice grinds slowly but surely. In our own, the speed of justice in Nigeria is worse than that of a millipede. I think it is high time we have special courts. We need special courts in Nigeria. And the mandate will be 90 days from the day of arrest to the trial. The case must be concluded. Maybe people will fear. Because it's like, oh, if I can get $1 million, I will hire a son. You, you see, uh, Baba, Baba, the thing is, uh, the bribery that they would have had to have bribed would, have, uh, would be sufficient enough to insulate the consequences because of I don't course, know. That's the, what I'm it, saying, one man. You understand? It, it, it's it, it, the judiciary it, it, because millions you know, and millions of dollars lawyers, in chance, yeah. with, with good lawyers, you can bog that case uh, in court till Tunumbu's era will finish. It's been done thousands of times in Nigeria. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, please, uh, uh, rational mind. Because I'm very angry. You understand? Let me just finish. We need special courts. Because what happened here? What happened here? You will be surprised that this could even be a, a conspiracy of low-level officers, intelligence officers. No, right? I, I, I don't think it'll be low-level, Baba. Listen, that I no, agree. Yeah. if you know Nigeria the way I know Nigeria, with our brazenness, these are guys. They you know, know they how to manage. You know, you know they would let have me finish. Let me let him me... out of custody through the airports on a flight. They will, so that, this that is why I'm saying level. that it's all low-level. Up to the airport, everything. Somebody checked him in. This thing, it, they have to get these people, all of them, and do some rendition work on them, because this this is it, it, this is an an affront on the space called Nigeria. Is the brazenness I just abhor? What kind of now, Nigeria is a lawless society. So what I mean, effrontery? I I don't even understand what uh, Baba is talking about. Uh, um, a court. What what is the court going to do here when a country does not even get their shit together? I mean, excuse my my French. Uh, they don't they don't even know what to even pin on them. One they, what they say one thing today we're we're charging them for uh, not releasing this, and now in the ne next few months, I mean, a few weeks again, they're saying that we're charging them for tax evasion. They don't even know what to charge them for. In the rational mind, I'm not talking the politics of it. I'm talking about an incident, a criminal 
incident that happened and that it must be addressed. What is the accelerated That's what I accelerated attention must be this given to this. Right now, a special court should handle this. It's in other democracies, there are special courts. Uh, in Guatemala, Bay, there are special courts that handle the cases. We need special courts for this kind of special offenses that needs attention what within 90 about? days is finished. What, what when what rational mind, please. I'm interjecting. Let me finish. Okay. Let him stand now. Okay. All right. I, I, okay. You don't even know what he's talking about. Okay. If you don't listen. How do you want to understand what I'm talking about? Well, we need to understand you now. You, you understand? I don't want you to understand me. I'm addressing. What? I'm addressing the viewers. I'm, I'm one when of it's the your turn, you take one your turn and oh, talk. Oh, 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 all right. Bring it to my uh, Baba. But that that special court, I, I'm not quite sure how it comes in because um. It, 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 it there still has to be an investigation. Look, look, look let me tell you. Let, let me tell you something, one man. What makes people brazen? The difference between uh, at the West and Nigeria is that they punish crime there. In Nigeria, it is punished, but it's at a snail speed. There are cases in court nine years that have seen at least two, three administrations. You understand? So that gives you. An impetus when you want to go, oh, okay, uh, my share will be $500, $500,000. Okay, if I can bog it down in court for nine years, I mean, I could get away with it. It is that confidence. But when you know there is a law that says for this special thing, within 90 days, they will conclude and the hammer will be minimum 10 years or more, you will think twice because you may not have time to enjoy that money. If you keep it somewhere for your wife to supervise, by the time you come back, she has remarried and given birth about three children. You will not want to do it. It is that justice system, criminal justice system, that is encouraging this kind of affront. And it has to stop. We need special courts. Thank you, one man. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, ha have that uh, interjection, uh, uh, rational mind, and then bring it on, Bishop, uh, rational mind. Yeah, thanks, one man. Um... Yeah, you see, I, I'm trying to understand. Um, not, um, I'm not trying to be combative or um, confrontational with uh, Baba. I was just trying to understand what you mean by uh, special court. Are you talking about that when the Binance issue came up, uh, that we should have had a dedicated court to try that case? Is that what you're saying, or are you talking? No, about no, 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 no. Generally, oh, 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 hold on, Baba. Um, what Baba is actually saying is that uh, he's talking about deterrence. So he's talking that. Um, these characters that facilitated the escape of this uh, criminal, uh, if they knew that there was an expedited sort of uh, legal special structures that would address uh, their crime immediately and jail them for a very long time, they would not have done it. But they know that the system in Nigeria works at a very uh, uh, a slow space and it's very slow pace and is very corrupt. So they do it in the knowledge that they can either bog it down in courts uh, look at our uh, Fanny Kayode that they've been uh, since our uh, Obasanjo <laughs> regime has been in and out exactly, of court. Exactly. So, 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 so that, that, that emboldens criminality. I think that's what Baba uh, meant, uh, rational mind. All right, it makes sense now to me because I was just trying to catch what he was saying um, at some point. Yeah, but, but for me, uh, before um, uh, um, Bishop takes the floor back, is that you see, <clears throat> I, I think Ed should roll. I, I don't know if one man, if you listen to. Uh, this former com uh, this commodore um, in the Nigerian Navy who was once a director of the ND, um, DMI, uh, Department of Military Intelligence. He was also interviewed today on um, on Arise. Uh, if you understand, I, I noticed that this guy usually show up when there is some major thing like in maybe there's a shakeup of some sort um, or some kind of um, an attack on the military. Um, you usually see this guy come out and talk. And I listened with I listened to him this morning, and I had to even go back to. But let me not get boss for that. So maybe when it's my turn, I'll I'll talk. I will go into more details as to that as my own um, my view as to that. So my point is this: is that <clears throat> you see, there, there's a trend uh, I notice within the the Nigerian governance system, um, and I, which I think uh, that um, that um, former DMI uh, officer uh, talked about. You see, there is there there is this thing because if you look at it, <clears throat> this guy is. It's, it's an Islam, it's an Islam, it's a Muslim. And as the report says, they said he went to, he said he wanted to go and pray. And they took him to the, uh, you see the, how they use that. So 
you see, I've said it on this platform one man and other platforms. You see, this issue of religion in that country, if we don't put put it in its rightful place, it will continue to to continue be a problem to us. Um, I know there are accomplices within uh, the Nigerian NSA and maybe the DSS or whoever is in charge of this guy, because for this guy to have um, gone through, not even went through the border or the smuggling through the border, he went through the Nigerian airport. That tells you that there are accomplices in all this. And that's to tell Tinibu that um, is, himself is not safe. I mean, he might think he has all the security, he has the SS, the most, the most secure uh, people guarding him. If he can have traitors within his governance, his, in, in his government, it tells you that he needs to watch his back. Um, well, 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 when it comes to my turn, maybe I'll, I'll go into more details to that. Oh, 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 all right. He needs to roll. I, I I, yes, I, I, I think we all agreed on that. I, I wouldn't not, mind I, if, 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 the body is it's thrown out, it's thrown out, it's, I mean, it's, it, it should be thrown out. That should, that should be the barest minimum. Uh, it should be thrown out because if you cannot hold on to uh, um, uh, a, a detainee as the national security advisor, mm -hmm. if you cannot hold on to a detainee, then then what, what sort of uh, security, what, what, of what, it's, it's neither of use nor ornament. It, it's not, it, it, it does, it's not ornate and it's not of purpose. So, so why is it there? It, it should go. One man, uh, when is my turn? I go after talking. Okay. Oh, oh, all right, back to you, Bishop. Okay, okay. Uh, that's a view. It's respected. I, I don't think, I don't agree with that. Um, I said, and I was very emphatic when I said, if they could uh, establish compromise to any level, let them people that are culpable pay for it. Even if it is negligent, who were the negligent that it is. If they are saying the, are you saying if they have 100 TV in different locations, it is the NSA that there are chains of command different levels. There are different areas and categories of detainees. Are you hearing me, woman? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Good. I'm hearing somebody's phone ringing. So, so, and uh, if we can compose the fractions in detailed areas, and look, the man was, they were detained, and there was a court. It was not like they were declared wanted and that their image were everywhere in Nigeria. They were not convicted. Look, I did not like Ribadu as the national security analyst have said that here separately. But on this matter, calling for his sack, I think sometimes we just. So for me, let the investigation be carried out. One intriguing thing about this is that I read some people, even people that were blaming and abusing Nigeria. That for holding those people initially, saying that they are just clutching onto straws, that they just want to somebody to put the blame on on the social media, even on this platform. All of a sudden, now we want people said to be cut off because one of them escaped. The question is, how bad if the two of them had escaped? Maybe I would have I'm worried that they escaped. I did not like it, I feel embarrassed, and I think people should be fished out. But I'm not getting over now, and I'm bugged myself to 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 scream. What's up? Give it order. Why did he? Why was it that it's only one man that left? Why did he leave this second? Uh, the other man. What is the game? What did he want to go and achieve? What, what did he want to go? No, no. It's easier to facilitate the. No, hold on now. It's easier to facilitate the escape of one person than two now. The second official ah. and. Uh, he, he, Take him to the next cockpit, they will take him to prison. Same one, uh, detain him or put him in DSS custody. You know, so they left it to the way, okay, let's treat them fairly okay, let's put them in a guest house until court says to take them to the prison facility or the DSS. But at least for now, let it treat them back. But they have promised that they shouldn't be treated like that. So look for a way to repatriate to get that man back. Look, if there are compromise among the officers, I know that compromise cannot be to the level of the MSA himself. 
if there were no compromise, if no compromise can be established, were they negligent? If people were negligent on their duty, let them be answerable to what happened. And when people were killed a few weeks ago about, about the religion of my weekend, or about, and then they were, we were having this debate, we did not say that the chief of army staff should resign or the commander in chief. We lost 17 officers two, three days ago. We lost about six policemen. We did not say the inspector general, the commissioner of police, or somebody should, you know, should be sacked. I don't think it warrants the NSA, NSA being sacked, except it can be established that he is compromised. That's my thing. Thank you. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, 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 Bishop, the connection is a bit quirky, but uh, we'll, we'll take you to a couple okay. more. Huh? Is anybody hearing me? Yeah, we can hear you, but it's a, it's a bit grainy. But uh, uh, we'll, 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 uh? can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you a bit better. But le let me take you to a next headline. Oh, can you not hear me? Can, can you hear me? Oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, Bishop having some connection problems right there. Uh, let, let's go to Ajale Koko, who I think is a lot more. Uh, you can uh, go to Baba, let, let, because Hello? we know what we have from Baba. Thank it, it, you again. No, I think we may have Bishop back. B Bishop, do we have you back? Oh, it's dropped. Uh, oh, oh, all right, Baba. Uh, let me take you then to the fashola narrative. Uh, no, let me go back. I have not said my piece because I am still smarting with real anger on this issue. You understand? I, I don't... Look... The special crimes deserve special treatment. And this religious religion in our country, I don't know where it would lead us to. Because somebody, that kind of high profile suspects should be taken to for Jumat service. If you need that. Baba, 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 sorry, I don't know where I got dropped off. I don't know what happened. Okay, if the panel can hear you and the viewers, okay, I can. Hold on until you, well, you hear me. I, I don't know where I dropped off. What I happened? can hear you now. No, your 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 system was quaking, and, and I was trying to tell you that the system was quaking, and you were trying to respond to it, and then you suddenly went off. Oh, I was not. I kept talking. I did not even know that I was off. I am on the road. I was. I just kept talking. I don't even know where I dropped. So where, what what did I say last that you had? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure, but I was uh, taking you to a different topic. I was I was inviting you to speak on our. Uh, uh, Fashola, um, taking, taking, uh, um, still holding on to this guy that uh, accused him of writing the 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 um, the judgment for the presidential uh, petition tribunal. Okay, okay, I think that one is just. Uh, it, it, I think it, it time we begin to subject a lot of these things to test, you know, judicial test. You know, let let's go out because it's becoming. It's Becoming a, a, a uh, what do you call it now? A, a malady, a, a malady in our system. People say they can just, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? And uh, they cyber talk people, they can just talk, they can just publish everything they like. I, I think people should be used as example. If you betray the same people, you be able to answer for it. Uh, it's funny that the other guys did not, they, they, they ran away, you know, the other two. They, 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 they are just allowing these guys to carry the thing on the side they go. So it will be good for Bachelor to see his logical conclusion. Maybe he's going to stop at the internet. Well, because people have this it's important to go and look for the pictures of judges and their family and their children, and you are tracing their phone numbers, people should be made to answer for that. Because you are putting them in harm's way. You know, that you put people's address, you put their home, you put the you went for to the daughter of the judge, go and put the address of the daughter's shop. It's the daughter that is the, the one that is having the day. So I, I would like Marshala to see this to a logical conclusion. And if there are others like that, I think this is the right way to go. I don't think anybody can fault Marshala. I don't think anybody can fault him for doing everything to clear. You, 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 you know, you, you know, you know, Bishop, this doesn't actually come under the prism of a free speech uh, because. <laughs> It is uh, it's actually defamatory uh, and, and uh, it is, it, it's almost sedition. Uh, I, maybe that's too high a language, but uh, what these people were doing, uh, 
they were they were accusing him of writing the judgment for the he cannot let that go and i think they made a mistake uh, uh oh so um uh, Kulata is making a recommendation to you i'm not sure if you can see it says, it says uh i recommend your uh, uh, yamaha bluetooth uh headphone for bishop the the uh, so what did it, do? It, it, says, it, it says you should get a yamaha bluetooth headphone uh, why can Kulata of, buy him and send him one <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Colata the multi-millionaire, you know, so, 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 yes, uh, so it, it's, uh, as much as people enjoy hearing from you, Bishop, it's always so grainy that we have to strain to hear it, uh, uh, but, uh, yes, I was just saying that, um, before and, I, before yeah, I'm sorry, uh, before you, I know you're talking about Fashola and this guy, but the thing is this, if we're to look at it uh, very well, is this not under, does it not come under the, uh, uh, the purview of, um, of a civil case? Why is it that the Nigerian, the Nigerian police are involved in this? If I should have any cross with this guy, sue him to court for defamation. So, but then the, the other angle to it is when Nigerian police gets involved in civil matters and they're making it look like, I don't even know if these people even go to school. Well, man, you see, there are so many anomalies in that country that we need to talk about. I, I don't uh, know. Black, 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 there is something that is criminal defamation. But let's, when you get your turn, you'll make that. So as far as I'm concerned, let the court, a uh, woman about you, let the court decide. But I think it is very important that we make this in the court. It's getting excessive. People are going to the extent of, I mean, it's, it's damaging, it's destroying people. The fact that lawyers, I mean, the judges are not supposed to be uh, say or what you have to be put in. Does not mean that people should not turn them to footmark. All the manner of things that this so-called OBS did on the on the on the using the space, social media, the causing look at people praying day a day of course and they were calling people's name, their children that judgment should rain upon them, they should die painful them, they should do this, they should do that, and you are saying that is not criminal. We have somebody that says, oh, if you see one million, you will hire a sniper from somewhere to eliminate a city president. You're saying you just said it. You have not even go to check whether he has the capability of doing it. And you are saying that is not criminal. We have people that fought people, you know, things that people did not say, and they attribute it to them. And it caused them a lot of pain and discomfort and damage their reputation. And you say that is not criminal. I am not saying it is criminal either. I am saying let the court decide. So the way Fashola is going is the right way it should go. Now, that you should not even agree for any out of court settlement. Let the law take its course so that it is self as a deterrent, either to Fashola himself or to other who will be the people that are that put. The, 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 the liberty of uh, social media to put the family uh, materials out there and by so doing putting people's lives in, in harm's way. I think it is the way to go. I think Bachelor should see she see to a logical conclusion. What about that? Oh, 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 all right, brilliant, Bishop. Uh, B Bishop, let, let me move the conversation around a bit. It just because of the, the connection, we'll loop it around to you because uh, the panel is a bit. I'm telling you very well now. Right? You're not telling me that. Uh, no, uh, okay. Let, let me take you to let me take you to this page. Uh, if you are in that spot, then uh, it may work. Uh, let me take you to this space. Uh, this really speaks to the, the current situation of the country as it stands. Man are reinforced stealing fufu, noodles, salt, onion. Onions and a pot of soap in a kitty. Uh, so, uh, uh, it, 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 is this even a crime? It, uh, it, and uh, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, and, and by the way, it didn't steal anything like gold or anything. It simply was hungry and, and, and it needed food. 
many many years ago, this is only judicious use of our police time. Uh? Many years, many years ago, if you are hearing me, many years ago, in the Bajos of Jaya, were arrested for robbing a woman. Unfortunately, inside the bag, she had uh, less than fifty naira or twenty naira. She had a coat. She had one biscuit. She had a basket and the rest. And they were brought before the court, you know, uh, for armed robbery. Now, it is not by as much as what they stole. Nobody puts the value of what they stole. But the question is, when they carry out that robbery, were they armed? Even if they did not see anything to steal from the woman, they only robbed her, and they discovered that she had no one cover on her. The judge is not looking at the value of what they stole. The judge is not going to look at the value of what this man stole. Did you break into that place, break in and entry? Did you steal what did not belong to you? Even if that thing is empty pot and a rotten press and a whatever you want to call it. So don't look at I don't want to, I, I think you should take the attention of the Ordinary, that's not it. What was his intention? If they had seen one billion naira there, willing have that, he would have stolen it. So we're not looking at the value. To not diminish the offense. No, if he had gone there to steal or to rob, that was his intention. The fact that he did not see something of more value did not remove the fact that his intention was to go and break in and steal. And that is what the judge is looking at. Yeah, yeah, to, steal at food, though, to steal a pot of soup. Well, I mean, I'm, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not looking at the pot of soup, I'm looking at the intention, the motive. No, no, but, 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 but are, are you not looking at the mitigation? Mitigation at all. Uh, what's, what's mitigating the crime? You see, you see, in law, uh, there is something called uh, actus reus and uh, mens reas. Actus reus and mens reas. So, so those two things have to be proven before a crime has been committed. So, criminal, uh, that's Latin. It means criminal intentions and criminal actions. So, if you cannot okay. prove both, uh, then also in law, they look at mitigation as well. What yeah. mitigated the crime? Well, that, I, that, that's I, why I, we have things like crime I'm of passion, etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, really. I'm not a, uh, if somebody, a, a, a criminal, gets information that I went to the bank and I withdrew a large sum of money and he did not know how I dispensed that money and he come to buckle my house and he did not see one couple. And he was caught. They will not say where well, after all he did not see anything to steal. The fact was that he had intention to steal. If he had seen that money there, even if I had attempted to stop him, maybe he would have helped me in some way or the other. So it is not as much. When it gets to the judge, the judge cannot look at it and say, Okay, you know what? Let's step my justice in mercy and look at it. But it's in the strictest form of legality. The man, it, it was established that he broke into the place. And even with the only ordinary empty pot that he stole, it was established that he stole, whether the pot, the soup gets me to, whether he don't get salt to, whether there is even soup or no soup. The fact that he broke, he had intention before he went there. And he broke in and he stole something. And the, I don't want us to look at it, maybe because he's hungry. And that's why he stole. That's not, that's, 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 when he gets to the judge and he's you know, the judge cannot look at it lenient and say, okay, you know what, uh, I give you this, 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 or go and say no more, blah, 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 you yeah, are forgiving. But in the strictest form of the law, that is not an excuse that he only stole a pot of soup, or he did not steal plenty, or the pot of soup is just a small pot of soup. The fact that he went there, he broke into somebody's house, and he took their things without uh, their consent, he's stealing. So what we are establishing is stealing breaking and entry and stealing. We are not saying the value of what is true. No, that's not what the standing trial for. Thank you. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, Bishop, let, let me go on to, Bab, to Baba. Um, uh, I, 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 sent you, I sent you a screen grab of uh, what Kulata recommended. Uh, uh, maybe you want to look into that. Um, uh, Baba, you're up next. Yes, thank you. Um, you, you said yeah. you wanted to kick it off with the NSA. Yes, that's right. Uh, what I'm suggesting, I know we are in a democracy, so I'm not uh, being anarchic out, right? I'm talking about special regular courts. 
since our courts, general courts, are they have their uh, hands too full at the moment. Let's have about six, one one each court in each uh, ge geographical zone to try special cases. And of course, uh, uh, the question of jurisdiction uh, will not affect them. So maybe you commit uh, a, a crime in Abuja, they could take you to the southeast zone of that uh, uh, high, high court, federal high court, special court, to stand trial there so that we can finish cases accelerate, acceleratedly, if I may put it that way. Because what I think is feeding this uh, brazen, brazenness of our people generally or encouraging it is because they are not people who are not punished on time. People with enough money, I mean, ordinary, it's about calculation for these people. Like you said, the Fanica Odi, for instance, his case has been on since uh, Obasanjo departed uh, the corridors of power, and on and on and on and on has been dragging. And there is uh, the case of uh, a lot of them. Lots of them. You find even some of them going to the Senate and coming out, losing election and things like that, so becoming governors. So these are the things that are feeding the brazenness. That, okay, if, I, if my share is this, okay, what will happen? The noise will just be for about 21 days. After 21 days, it will peter out. Okay, peter out, I can get two cents at 200000 dollars $100, $100, each, and I can go and rest. All we have to do is adjournment, adjournment, adjournment. Tomorrow I'm sick, I'm in the hospital. That could take another six months. I want to go out for treatment. It could take another one year. These are the things that are feeding into it. Secondly, this religion thing, I think will kill us in that country because so a special uh, suspect in special custody in a country where we've had head of states in custody for months, for years, they did not escape. Buari was in custody, Idiagmo was in custody, MQ was in custody, and several others I can readily remember. So how come this one? They took him to a mosque. Is it, is it past, part of the five pillars of Islam that a, a Muslim must go and do Juma service? It's not you, part you, of... You, you, know, you know, I wondered about that. What, what stops him from praying in, in custody? Why, why exactly. must he go to a mosque? Why must we go to him? Why must we expose that kind of high level su uh, uh, suspect to the, even the public to mingle? So there is much more to this than meets the ordinary eye. So do it should not think, be treated uh, with levity. Uh, 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 Baba, do you think the conspiracy goes actually deeper? Uh, because what they're trying to get from these people, of course, are details of the people that are milked the Nigerian state dry. So do, do you see the shadowy hands of uh, an elements like Abubakar Malami in this? You, you can't put it past anybody. You get my point. You can't, put, I mean, this is a country where the, uh, this one, your team, what's that thing called again? Contract uh, something, that's a scam, another, too many. This is a new dimension. Somebody, this case, as far as I'm concerned, when they talk about investigation, what do you want to investigate? Excuse me, uh, you took the man to mosque. Who authorized you? Why did you? How did he escape? End of case. You don't have any explanation for me. Who took him to the airport? What vehicle? The driver? Who are the people that took? How did he get even the Kenyan passport? They said they were using phones in that guest house. How could you allow? Phones to be used by detainees that is not monitored. You, you see, the, the wider issue, Baba, is that um, the, there are too many saboteurs embedded within the Nigerian security structure. A lot of that done during the Abuari administration. Uh, they're, they're embedded so deep, you, you know, that we, you are at their mercy somewhat. It, 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 is, it, it, it stinks. To high heaven, honestly, because if they handle this right and quickly with speed, it will act as a deterrent. Everyone will think twice before you do anything. That maybe within 90 days you are gone. 
it will hold you back. I'm not saying totally for people who are desperate, it will maybe be a deterrence, but at least to some extent, there will be fear of the law, fear of authority, fear of, you see, there is no fear. There is no fear. Can you, this kind of thing in, can you do this kind of thing during Abasha's regime where you have Frank Omenka in charge of DMI? You have an Al Mustafa in charge of uh, Asu Rock uh, uh, security. Can you try? Can, you don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. For a government to thrive, you need an element of invisibility about you. You need an element, element of invisibility. So that is absent here in our country. And that has to be reintroduced very fast. Because this, this is not good at all. The only solace or soccer we have is we still have one person in custody. That money we they, want they to should, take from them. They should them. tighten the security around that one. Or Look, they should, they should take them to DMI, a park lane, a papa. They should take them to DM, to two to floors underground. Two floors on that. We, we, I don't know if Abuja have that kind of facility, but it's there in Lagos. It's there in Ikoyi too. Itauko has been anyway uh, 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 destroyed totally. Because we had Itauko before. Walesho Inka has been there. Gani Fremi has been there. Some generals have been there. So what is going on here? Get guest house, must you pump up? Are they, are they political prisoners? Are they head of state? Even uh, you remember the library, Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor escaped and he was caught back within days. So we should have drawn from that experience. Ah, we, we have to be very careful. Though. This government has to wake up. It's not everything that is a uh, human right to. Thank you, one man. Another topic, please. Oh, 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 all right, Brendan. Let me take you to this one. Long overdue, but uh, not far enough. Our federal government, Gumi, has been invited for questioning over comments on bandit activities. So, really, I don't think Nigerians are wanting to be hearing headlines or reading rather headlines that this guy has been invited for, for, for questioning. They want to be seeing images of this guy in handcuffs being booted into somewhere in Kuje. So what are you then making of this now uh, not business as usual stance of uh, of the Tinubu administration? You see, woman, I'm not saying this derogatory. Uh, I tried to ask uh, Adam Garba yesterday, but because of time, I couldn't really frame my question properly. Yeah, what happened to you yesterday, by the way, but rational mind, when we had a big guest, Adam Garba? But uh, carry on over. Yeah, I, I didn't have time to frame my question the way I wanted to frame it. The not has a lot of questions to answer from the South. They either sit up or whatever they are looking for, they may get. I will come to Gumi. Just give me one minute. Look at those children in Kaduna. We analyze on this panel here that Kaduna is centered. No forest, no Sambisa, nothing. Where did those children go? I look at those classrooms, those cubicle core classroom. I said 287 in this school. I doubted it. We all doubted it. All some of us on this panel doubted it. For me, I know it was an arranged thing. But today, or yesterday, they brought those children back. They brought one thirty something back. They said their teacher died. So where is about 100, I mean, 100 or so remaining? They say, no, actually that figure was wrong. But this is the figure they sold to us for over two weeks. The first acts of Nigeria said three, four years budget. 
and before their property had adjusted, maybe the third or uh, second day, to say, oh, it's one billion naira. And now they've been paid. They now said, we've secured the children back. Look at the language they use, secure, secure. What does this secure mean? Not it, it's, it's, it, it's, yes, it's a deliberate language, not rescued. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's not like we rescued. So that's why I was, I was asking at Damogarba yesterday. Maybe if he comes back, I will want to be at the front line of people who ask him questions. But this is very important. There is an economy about all of this, ripping off the Nigerian uh, at, uh, pause. And they are doing it. What do they even do with the money? So this leads me to this gumi of a man. We have to be frontally about these people. They are not invisible. They are not as powerful as people. They don't have that power we are rotating. It, it is time we had it influence. out. Baba, it is time we had it out with that culture. We cannot continue exactly to live in, what I'm in, fear, in fear of them. Pull it, this it, guy it, in, put him in handcuffs. Put him in handcuffs. handcuffs. If everyone will fall, let it fall. Umbo, umbo, I will land dead day. Put him in custody and his likes in the north. We want the country they, to they bring the little. They head of me they are like in custody. They have us have not what, what happened? If you had said this six months ago, you say it's impossible. Yes. We yeah, always think that, that would be trouble. Then, yeah. What has happened since? Nothing. It's been arranged. Nothing will happen. They calculate too. Nigeria is a cash cow. They cannot live. It's not only them, it's with their brothers in Niger. I'm being very, very factual now. Their brothers in Niger, Mali, uh, uh, Shad, it's like one country. For them, we are not only answerable or feeding this, uh, the northern part of our country, from Karanamodia to uh, Zamfara uh, uh, Extreme, we also, we involve in Niger everything. That is why we are suffering in the South. So these people that, they, 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 they know how to test the water. Take Gumi in, nothing will happen. We've taken Bade Joe in, nothing has happened. They committed a crime. They must answer for it. They have to be investigated. So this is my point, I'm happy. They are questioning him. They should do more than that because I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an investigator, but I know he's done a lot of bad things to the peace of our country, which is all transits alone. He has questions to answer. And it's a shame that he was a military, a military officer before. But this one is an officer, but he's not a, he is not a gentleman. Thank you, one man. Let, let, let me take you to this space, uh, Baba. Um, you, you know the rate at which the Naira is recovering is quite, uh, is quite, is quite staggering. It's quite impressive. W would you know that I bought um, barely three weeks ago? I bought Naira for about uh, two thousand one hundred uh, to to the pound, and and today is uh, just over one thousand seven hundred. So, so, so that, that's a gain of what, well, run about 400 uh, Naira right there. Uh, and uh, I, I, I'm still anticipating that it's going to be in the three figures. But this headline, uh, Baba, CBN sells $10,000 to BDCs at $1,251 to the dollar. So, so that recovery looks as though the dollar very quickly coming to the uh, three digit mark. Yes, I'm glad at what we are doing uh, uh, so far, though I still see finger of the government. Uh, the word I will use here is that every government uh, 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 does it. Uh, if you are responsible enough, you don't allow your, country, uh, your currency to go down the drain. Uh, it's been manipulated in a way, uh, so they, 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 they have to maintain a careful balance. It's not bad what they are doing at the moment, but I'm happy also that the country is a little bit awash with uh, surplus funds. Let me call it that way. 
because uh, we, uh, no more subsidy. Subsidy is out, and the people who are against subsidy will realize that the country is truly awash with enough cash right now. So they are using it to 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 have to to for a balancing of the currency. So this is good. It is very very good, but. I want it to come down more. Though progress should be slow, and um, I'm not surprised. I say again because if you look at other climb, when there is volatility like this in the market, it's always causing mayhem in the economic uh, cycle for maybe six months, eight months maximum, and it will start to come down again and make some necessary adjustments. Because definitely, if a currency is being poked and it is at maybe 10 and it went through the cycle up to 15, naturally it will come back, take a reverse gear again and come back to meet between uh, 12 and a half, 13 and a half, and things like that. So that is where we are going. But I pray this downward turn to go at least to 950 or 850. I, I look forward to that seriously. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. So, so Baba, uh, your favorite Oka man and uh, mine uh, is at it again. Uh, Peter Obi and his team participate in breaking of fast with Muslim community in Kano at a mosque. So let me play you this uh, 50 second clip. So, uh, as as much as we uh, as we like to mock this guy, he's playing exactly the sort of politics that he should be playing, and and there's every anticipation that all of this he has not stopped ca his campaigning even harder now than he did in the build up to 2023, and there is all the expectation that a lot of this uh, schmoozing that he's doing will pay off in the numbers in 2027. This this is the hard work is now putting. This is how to be a president. What he went through before it was like uh, 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 Al Aladdin. He was on Aladdin's carpet. Let me put it that way. He was just uh, flying and think that it's something that will come easy through a magic wand, but it didn't come. And we've said it here before that, look, to be a president is hard work. You have to introduce yourself to the people. And by introducing yourself to the people, you have to break some barriers. You have to really do the hard work, not just rhetorics. So he's doing the hard work now, putting up the cap. I think it's, I'm sure he's not sitting on a chair there is on the floor because the houses are very, very mindful of that kind of thing. They can sit on the floor and eating. If they eat with their hands, you eat with your hand. But unfortunately, truth be told, do, do, do these are too late. Uh, uh, Baba, yeah, exactly. That's that's where I was going to go yeah, to. These are too late. Is, is it an exercise in futility? Uh, because own, it, doesn't, it doesn't permit it for 2027 anymore. So it will probably get marginally better numbers, but uh, the 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 pragmatism of real politics does not open a window for him in 2027. The Northerners, uh, he, can, he can break fast with them as much as, uh, but they want power back, and so, so therefore they cannot give it to him. But, but my own thinking is, with this is ready to work now. My thinking is that he has to scale down. If they have to give Tunumbu a run for Can he even sustain money, this momentum for the uh, next three and a half years? He, he has to. He has to. Is a path to gain power. There is no shortcut. No shortcut. Believe me, it's hard work. Anywhere in the world, the path to the presidency or to the prime ministership of any country is hard work because you have to meet the people, sell yourself. Market yourself. Tell them who you are. Pump, pump flesh. Carry babies. Didn't you see when 
the Lagos uh, governor was threatened after uh, the 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 bliss of uh, uh, of uh, the uh, obedience in Lagos, he went to hairdressers. He was plaiting hair. Went to organizer, helping them to pump tires. Those are the ridiculous extent to which somebody who has prior to leadership has to go. It's good for the optics, but I think I will advise him if if they are listening or those who love him, they have to scale down their expectation if there was going to be any opportunity for him in the sense that he has to be vice president to Atiku to give them even the barest of shouts in 2027. I'm not saying it's a winning ticket, but that will give him an opportunity to wait. He is just 62. Obi is 62. That, that 2027 is going to be ugly. It's going to be an ugly that election. That is, if he scales down. You see, at times you have to stoop to conquer. You have to stoop to conquer. It's about calculation. You, it's about calculation. You don't get carried away. In politics, one and one is not two. So this is the thing. He has to scale down. Age is on his side. In 2027, if he missed the boats, you understand, as a, as a vice president to maybe somebody like Atiku, because it's only Atiku, a combina their combination will be very hard to beat. But I don't, I, I would say 60-40. 60-40 number, 40 for that combination of OB and Atiku. So if it scales down and they miss the boat, the, the Atiku crowd will look on him favorably. So that's the, the best I can say for the moment. You, you know, yeah, um, I, I, I just feel he's doing the right thing. So, so let me just say, say that one. And this is the hard slogs. You know, you know those cold winter nights, those cold winter mornings when, when everybody is in bed, but you have to wake up, put on layers of clothes to go and slog it out for your daily bread. So, so that's what he's doing now, the hard slog. But I feel it's just too late. Uh, the, the permutation. Um, if the if uh, if he's going to be a vice president, it might well be a possibility. But I'm not sure that his space will allow him uh, to be a vice to anyone. Uh, the only person that can unseat uh, Tinubu is a strong northerner uh, in 2027. Uh, it, it's not going to be anybody from the south uh, because the north they, they are very pragmatic in their politics. You can come and break uh, fast with them. They will enjoy you. They will like you even. But when it comes to the cold realities of politics, they, they will go for expediency and what will gain them power quicker. They are not well, going to well, give, uh, they're, they're woman, not going to give Before you watch sorry. Lyrica, let it's me not, tell not, you. Let, let me just land this point. Uh, yeah. They are not going to give Peter Obey the presidency because if they give it, uh, and it, the, the presidency is in the gift of the North, by the way, because we've already seen how the politics divides in 2027. So, Whoever the knock goes with will be president still in 2027. They're not going to give it to Peter Obi because Peter Obi then has the constitutional eight years to run. And if you add that to Tinobu's four years, then that means the North will be out of power for 12 years. And that would change almost permanently the trajectory of politics in Nigeria uh, uh, forever. Uh, and they know that. So no matter how many break in, uh, but, but, but back to you, Baba. So, so I don't, one man, I, I think one it's man. an exercise. I maybe think it's a maybe I've seen, one man, maybe I've seen too much in life. I'm the sum total of what I've seen and my experiences. There is a hand that rules in the affairs of men as also in nations. Whoever knew, whoever calculated that Jonathan would become president of Nigeria. The best mathematical mathematician wouldn't have calculated it. 
lo and behold, Jonathan ruled this country. I'm sorry to use the word. He was a nobody from nowhere. A deputy governor picked unexpectedly. He was not even expecting it. From deputy governorship to governor, not too long after governor, straight to vice presidency. And voila, president. So there is a hand. I don't know. He should just continue doing his hard work. That's all. And let's faith leads. This is how I just look at it. He should just continue to do the hard work. Put in the sweat, the guts. That's all. I wish him well. Oh, oh, so, oh, all right. I, I, as do I. I at least, I, if nothing else, he keeps the sitting government on their toes uh, because he's not giving them breathing space. I, I, and that has to be good for democracy. Uh, but yeah, I because even, it, it, even me at times, you understand what he does. I get angry. But this is right. It's within his purview. And it keeps the government of the day on their toes, which also serves a purpose. Hmm. Uh, uh, all right, good luck to uh, uh, so long as um this doesn't build up the expectation amongst his uh, followers. Uh, because of course in 2027 he will still lose. Uh, uh, so so they don't have to turn it into an ugliness. Uh, uh, I, I don't see this guy ever being president of Nigeria. No, it, it's just uh, it's just it's not in the tea leaves. Uh, not in the don't tea leaves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 mean, I don't care really, but uh, if he does a good job, uh, you, you know, I don't actually object to Peter B. I think he might well do a, a moderately okay job. Uh, and I suspect that he might well be well intentioned as well. So I don't object to him as a personality. I, I think he's corrupt and I think he will loot his own, but I don't think he no, will. All of them to, are. Yeah. No, all of them I, are. I, I don't think he will loot to the level of all the previous ones, but I just don't think he has the capacity. You, I don't think he, he, he I don't think he's cap is capacitated for blue, blue sky thinking. I don't see any Look, elegance woman, in his we pronouncement. Buari, didn't we? Didn't we? Uh, uh, Nigeria uh, survived uh, uh, Buari. Uh, uh, Nigeria survived Buari. Uh, I don't think he has the. the I don't think he, I, I don't see a precedent in this guy. I have to say, I just don't see it, and it's not anything ethnical. You know, I see a president in Kingsley Mogalu now. Everybody knows that. I see a president in uh, uh Mo, Mogalu. Okay. Do, do you know, we, 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 uh, we were we were uh, uh, you carry the sacrifice of uh, of a pig to to the mosque. You, you look him uh, Mogalu. Oh, oh, okay. where, oh, okay. where do you put oh, Soludo? Where do you put uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I see I see a a, a president in Soludo. One. I, I see a president in Soludo. I see a, a, a president. Okay, if you put this guy alongside uh, Kingsley Mokadu, who, who uh, and, and it was your, you had the fiat to 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 pick some person to be Nigerian yeah, president. Man, I have fear you of him over? academics you in, him in, in politics. Would, would you, They've all failed, him over? man. Academics have failed. The only academician that have succeeded is was he. He's more of a technocrat. Look, we've had ah, Professor or Dr. Okonji, finance minister, uh, one other doctor from the East, Susa Bai Bibi, uh, this Baba in Ekiti, uh, a Feni Ferryman, Falaye. I can go on and on about academicians in politics. They've not served us well. They they we, we they want they use Nigeria as a laboratory, and it did not work well. I've seen a lot of academics. That's why uh, I look at you me at times. Yes, sir. Well, Professor Soludo worked very well. Professor Soludo, he worked very well. Well, we are. Here. Work I've not been to Anambra, but, but everything I hear from Anambrians yeah. is contrary. I don't he know was, why. He was a CBN governor. Okonjo Wiala was the finance minister. So if there's any reason we have banks that are able to finance projects. But he, he was a tech, there's a difference between a technocrat and academician. So I think Shuludo was, uh, where did he come from? I don't know. 
I can't remember uh, now. A prof from the uh, University of Nigeria, Uzuka, you know. As a lecturer, so that makes him an academician. Prof, yeah. Maybe he had the good fortune of w working with a technocrat like Okunjo Iwala. Yeah, but to my question, Baba, if you had to pick between this character here and uh, Kingsley Mokadu, who would you pick? I would disappoint you because I would pick Obi. Really? You know why I would pick Obi? He's been tested. The devil you know is better than the angel you have not met. Well, he's been That's tested and he failed now. He was a, he was, he was a terrible governor in uh, an Abra state. So all he was doing was stealing their money. But I, I know him as he's a known quantity. You understand? We know how to, uh, to guide. But the more galley happened on us when we expect five and it's not even delivering half, how do we handle that? So I always believe the devil you know is better than the angel you have not met. Oh, oh, so oh, that's oh, why I will pick an OB. Oh, 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 all right, let me take you to one final space. Go on from you to Ajahn Lekoko. Uh, rational mind to follow after that. Um, <clears throat> so so now, uh, I, I, I wasn't quite on board with that bishop on this uh, guy. Uh, I, I, uh, it's, it's like a crime of passion somewhat. Uh, man <laughs> arranged for stealing fufu and a pot of soup. Um uh, I, 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 yes, a crime was committed because he took something that didn't uh, belong to him. But what about the mitigation? Well, this is one thing I've been saying about uh, judiciary. What stops that magistrate from starting and ending that case on that day? What is the bail, 50,000, he goes and come back, and that case could be bogged down for another three years for nothing? Okay, this man has committed an offense. Is the woman here the, the victim? Yes. Okay, call him. If he's not there, okay, send the police officer in charge. I'm going to step the case down for 3 p.m. He goes back and come and they finish it. Maybe just give him a slap on the wrist and let him go. Because in a country where people will use their pen to carry billions of dollars, and this man maybe out of hunger they, they, we, they didn't say he went for any other thing maybe it's it, a very it, poor it, neighborhood it is a clear case of a crime of hunger isn't it because yeah, maybe, the, the game was yeah. released it is still dreary it is still I, I, bad no, I, I hear it, stories of food. you know the yeah. face me and face you house even people i hear stories where you know at times they cook in the corridor and um, some people will be cooking the corridor <laughs> and somebody will just by the time you go in maybe to get more bottle and more salt or anything somebody has carried it and went into their own room i've had cases like that way back <laughs> maybe just a joke people put up and things like that so you must have that old door must have been wafting around the premises and things like that maybe he lives nearby and he went in and took it. he must have been hungry i don't know but that case should not be somebody something that they will open file for and allow to go on and on and on and on and on. It's a laziness of the judiciary. That case should have been complete concluded on that very day. Maybe with a slap on the wrist, with a warning or any judicial instrument. Once he take the they take his plea, are you guilty or not guilty? If he says he's not guilty, then he's the one maybe who is prolonging the the, the, the doomsday. But if you say he's guilty, you end it that day. Simple as that. All this built in and the, uh, I, I don't subscribe to it, woman. Oh, all I right, brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Excellent. The, ma the majestic Baba. So that was the excellent uh, man, of course, Baba. Uh, one of the delightful voices on the platform. Another voice with delight in Ajale Koko. Uh, you're up next. Ajale Koko. Yeah, thank you, woman. <clears throat> oh, Br Br Brilliant. I, I want you to come in from the Sheikh Gumi space. Um, um, I, 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 I am not satisfied, I have to say. Um, uh, but, but, uh, in, in, what, what does it mean? Um, it says uh, Gumi has been invited for questioning over comments on bandit activities. So there's just one word in that headline um, that, that doesn't especially ple please me, invited. So if they had substituted that word for arrested, then we may well feel that we're headed in some direction. But what are you then making then of the doors being short on this uh, uh, nasty man? 
Yeah. Um, thank you, woman. And uh, greetings to our listeners around the world. Click on the like button, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, look, uh, Gumi, whether we like it or not, is an, um, is an eminent Nigeria, Nigerian. Um, is one of the leaders in that country. Uh, you might not agree with him. Uh, you might not see him as uh, one of the leaders that you respect, but to millions of Nigerians in uh, northern part of Nigeria, he is a well-respected uh, uh, religious leader. Um, so, I think what the government have done uh, is the right thing. Um, inviting him. Um, and, you know, uh, ask him question on what, I mean, on information or intelligent uh, 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 report they have, um, you know, and know where you stand. Or uh, interrogate him to know what he knows uh, and gather some more information from him as to how Nigerian state can uh, um, uh, um, work towards uh, uh, solving the insecurity in the north. Uh, so uh, I think Nigerian state have not done anything wrong. What they have done is uh, perfect, is the right thing to do. Uh, it, it shows um, uh, that. But do you think? It, do you think it's far enough? Do you think it's far enough, and that they invited him? Very, very fair. Uh, I think no, no. Do you think it's far enough? Uh, because I was uh, advocating that they should have arrested him rather than invited him. No, um, I arrested him on what basis? Has it been uh, uh, fine fraternizing with the bandits? Um, uh, being a spokesperson to the bandits, advocating on behalf of the bandits, uh, being uh, suspicious uh, or sponsors of the bandits. Uh, yeah, fraternizing. Um, I don't think there's uh, uh, evidence or, or legal. Uh, fact that he fraternizes with them. Uh, the fact that he offers himself to uh, meet with them on behalf of the country uh, to talk to them to know what they want and what the country can do for them uh, that does not constitute fraternizing. If he live with them, if he plan with them if he carry out activities with them, or uh, maybe behind behind the door, uh, that can be regarded as fraternizing. But he, he does it openly that, um, because according to those guys, they said the religious leaders are those people that they still have respect for. They said they don't respect politicians, they don't respect people in the government, and that the only people that they can still listen to are the religious leader. And you know he's a religious leader. So when those guys are leaving the window of opportunity for negotiation, I think we should exploit it. And uh, I think that is what is, uh, uh, that, um, uh, I think that is what uh, is responsible for him to offer himself, uh, you know, to meet with them to know what is going on and to share the information uh with the government uh, Gumi himself i've uh, said this several times the nigerian state knows those the kingspin of this terror act against the state they know where they live according to him they know them is told us their number. He said they are 167 in number, maybe 167, 168. We are talking about the Kingspin, the leaders of all the um, 
uh, various uh, uh, terrorist group. He said, the government know where they live. He said, so if Nigerian state is serious, Nigerian state should have passed a law that nobody should negotiate. Nobody, maybe on personal level or on behalf of the state with the terrorists. And that will handicap um, Gumi. That will make it impossible for him to offer himself uh, as a negotiator, a negotiator, a negotiator. But since there is no law to that effect, yeah, we have to, we have to, um, uh, he has not done anything wrong. If he's violating the law, if there has been a law to that effect and he's violating it, meeting with those people or offering, then the state will have that legal right to arrest him. So, but as it is now, um, I think the state have, uh, maybe they have some uh, information and they want to clarify some things with him. And that is why, you know, uh, they are showing respect to him to come and meet with them and, um, and they will go from there. So uh, that is the way uh, a country should treat their citizens that have not violated the law in any way. So you should treat them with uh, respect and, um, you know, uh, uh, and, um, uh, you know, that is how to, uh, uh, um, to respect uh, human dignity. So what they have done is good to invite him and not arrest him because he has not done anything against the law as far as I'm concerned. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's, um, it's a good step in the right direction to invite him. And I believe the state uh, will gather some information and they will go from there. That's my take. Oh, oh, all right, let me take you to the space. Uh, federal government, ransom was not paid to secure release of Kuriga uh, school children. So um, do, do you believe this, uh, one? Uh, because a lot of that thing has shrouded in unbelievability. Are they talking to two years, uh, baby? Who want to believe them? There's no iota of truth in that. They paid heavy ransom for the release of those kids. <laughs> they paid heavy ransom. So uh, people like uh, Gumi and some other people offering themselves to meet and see, they must have facilitated that, uh, you know, um, uh, release, uh, you know. Uh, he offered himself, didn't he, uh, for that particular one as well, Gumi? Yes, he offered himself to, to meet with them. So uh, I believe the state have paid some ransom. They paid them, and then um, that is what uh, that is why those uh, keys are back, <laughs> are back in freedom. You know, so we have to thank God that at least they released them. Uh, it, it was uh, it was unbelievable uh, when those keys were kidnapped, and some people, even on this platform. Uh, maybe you too, one man, uh, was one of them saying, oh, government should not pay for ransom. And then... No, no, I, I never said that, oh, but I said I did not believe that they were kidnapped, and I still don't. I, I, I think it was... Uh, I, I, think, I, think, I think somebody's just pulled the fast one on us. Why don't you want to believe? Is that the first time that they kidnapped uh, kids? Because the logistics does not work to oh, herd um, uh, 300 people through the forest Telling us you are kidnapping them. What is the logic? Why Chibok get not kidnapped? I don't believe the Chibok narrative either, if I'm being honest with you. Come on, one man. Do you know some of those kids are not released today? Do you know some of them were not released today? Do you know that some of them, after they were released, like. You know that Jonathan told us it was a con at that time. He told us that it was a scam that it didn't happen. He was, he was, uh, he, he was talking. He, he was just showing his stupidity back then. What do you mean by he can't? Why was his wife say he's crying? He say, uh, what, 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 there what, is what, God, though. God. <laughs> Why was the wife crying? I mean, some of those girls, after two or three years, when they were released, they already have babies. And you are saying it was not. Uh, it wasn't. Look, I, I don't believe it. I don't look what, 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 what to be honest with you. Oh, oh well, 
<laughs> we just pray that it never happened to anyone that we know. Amen. amen. Yeah, amen. By the grace I of think, God. I believe that kidnapping happens, but I, 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 it's very difficult to believe that um, about 300 people are corralled uh, and then kidnapped. There's no trail to, to that that leads to any security. It's just the logistics. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't cohere with logic. One man, when you have a total security breakdown, this is what you will see. It's a total security breakdown, one man. So and they are casually strolling these people through the yeah, roads, a person to person to buy bully on the way. What was I mean? Even army were kidnapped in the accountment in Kaduna. What are you talking about, one man? Army, Nigerian military officers were kidnapped. I mean, we treated it here. Have you forgotten? Military officer in Kaduna, Ka Ka they were kidnapped. You want to say that one in a lie too? They were kidnapped. Right across the street from Nigerian uh, Defense Academy in Kaduna, the school across it, maybe a forest school, what did they call it? Students were kidnapped, were taken away. And the family have to pay ransom. It's a total security breakdown. It's, it's, look, it's, when there is no security at all, when the government have lost control of security, government government doesn't it, government presence is not available. Anything can happen. One man, when government presence is not available in a particular place, anything will happen. Anything and, and people will do oh, things. Oh, oh, oh Ajay, if the regional government or what do I put it? Zona government, let me put it that way, are in support. It's a conspiracy against the state. What do you think? You know why I'm saying this, Saja? Look at these children. In another climb, you will see commandos will track exactly, even if they pay ransom, they will still go after these people. They will show us in real life how the children live. This is the way they cleared, or this is the house, the warehouse, these children. They will show us within 24 hours to show us the effort they did to get to that point and what they are doing to avoid it. But in all these kidnappings, none have been like that. And look at these 127 women who has gone to meet their terrorist husband in Sambisa Forest. And they said they were kidnapped. Nobody's talking about that now because they know this. We, we have already decoded the whole thing that this woman voluntarily left IDP and went to carouse. So, what do you think? Look, um, the, 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 the security in the north, in that part of the country. Uh, uh, you know, uh, totally collapsed. There's so many places that, you know, no no security presence at all. Those terrorists and whatsoever are just operating at their own free will. And the people in the community too uh, join them. Because why? They have so much money. They give money to young boys to uh, for recruitment they take levy they are like government in charge in those places and a lot of their people have been brainwashed that look nigerian government have not done anything for you and will never do anything for you we are your people we will govern you better and they provide a lot of things for the people and they take levy from the farmers and nothing happened so and, and and the people know the consequences of that if they should go and report they will be killed because the nigerian state the security i mean a, 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 a presence is not there no can they they can't protect anybody this criminal as are in charge of so many communities so look it, it, it's unfortunate 
that some were saying they should not negotiate. If they don't negotiate, what will have happened to this girl, to these young children? I'm not, I'm not in support of what they did, but because children are involved and they were picked up at the public school, <laughs> government must get must rescue those girls by all means, get them back alive. It's the responsibility of the government to get them back because they were kidnapped in government owned school. So paying ransom, I don't give a damn. I'm on your ransom, thought you son. But Any seriously, Aja, do you think uh, if we did not pay, do you think seriously they will have executed those children? Baba. Those people are animals, so Baba. Those people are animals, so one thing, you They will kill children. I've uh, 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 not done worse before. I, no, this are... Uh, I see uh, don't you too. see what is happening, Baba? It's like you have not seen what uh, va uh, various villages. I, I, I'll send you some it, images, Baba. Baba, it's children. like you have not seen children, no, not Venice adults. Day. Oh, yes, children. I'm a KKK. One, 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 uh, one, uh, uh, Baba. Yeah, one, Baba. Yeah, we are talking about this. I'm a KKK. No, one, I'm a KKK. This image. One fear that bear almost image near and one Ben rest it here. Or I love you, buddy. One gay simage. Modi video, Buruku, Lamajari, control that. I mean, they are very Eroko, 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 you know, I wonder how they are able to do it because they are on drug. These guys are on drug. When they are going for oppression, they are on drugs. They are ready to to buy anybody. To buy one on their way. To any to about to comply. Eh, 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 Babaja, as you had that to say, on to buy one, we are not in buy one. Even if these people are not on drug, they be indoctrinated. That's. These guys, they are just like a messenger of death. Yeah, they don't care. They don't give a damn. So if federal government are dead in, they will have done the worst, the worst. So, but because you start wondering if it is true that the government is not paying these people, what, what motivates them to keep repeating the same thing? Because if they have done that of Shepard girl and they've suffered consequences, they would not have tried another rubbish. But when they keep doing the thing and the federal government keep denying that, oh, we don't pay, then someone is someone is lying between the federal government and the uh, and the bandits. You know, I, I still find it funny self to even use the word bandits. Should we just call them their name? Yeah, I, they are terrorists. <laughs> you know? You're right. So is to, to, to me, they, those guys are not human beings. They are not human beings. They are not. Thank you, Baba. Uh, uh, Baba, even before the Chibok, this thing happened, do you know they went to one school, boys' uh, school in their hostel? You know what they did? They rain bullet on those boys. Won't, won't finish the money. Some of them, they are trying to escape. It's just because that one did not come to to the news because the T-Box was just because they are all girls. That is why I told you Bua and Wenya Lara. I believe you, but I still have more doubt. You know, there's a particular talk amongst those people. They are called the Bororos. Um, they are not of this world. I want Bororo. Mm. They are wicked. They are wicked, this thing, among them. In fact, they are evil, even. Are they worse than Gudu Gudu? <laughs> good, good, okay. Good, 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 good boys compared to these people. So, so I, I, I think um, um, the government have done the right thing to get all of these uh, girls and um, all those pupils and uh, you know brought them back uh, uh, safely. Uh, I believe they are paid ransom, and I don't have problem with them paying ransom too because that the life, a single life, value. <laughs> More, more than trillions 
of dollar, a single life. So for us to say don't pay ransom and then we just let those people, those children, even if they don't kill them, what they not what they know. Yes, one man tap out the parts one. Well, that's what they do. Oh man. Oh man. So I'm happy that we 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 got them back. I'm happy. So oh, they pay. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 all right. L let me take you to the space, a more cheerful uh, space, Ajande Koko, uh, the performance of Adevu Mahi. Uh, a lot of people, they want to write off the totality of the this administration, which is their right to, but I, I will wrestle to the ground anybody that tries to write off Devu Mahi. It, 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 you know, they say um, square peg, uh, square hole, or whatever that saying is, is the perfect fit for that job. Because it knows the industry space and it's not going to allow anybody to pull the wool over his eyes. And he goes there with his koboko to every side to give him a thorough flogging. So what are you making of the performance of our former governor of uh, whichever state? It's nothing special, one man. It's just doing really? his job. Really? It's nothing special to me. He's just doing his job. I just want him to deliver. He has not delivered anything. He's just uh, expecting the way they are doing the job and uh, you know it's an engineer he must make sure that the job they are doing you know um is in conformity with the specification and the standard you know that is required so he's just doing his job it's not a big deal what was the celebration for one man what, 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 why you want to celebrate him for doing this job in in, in, in a country that is notorious for mediocrity as uh, somebody that is doing not only a competent but an excellent performance, uh, you don't think he should be celebrated? How do you describe competent and excellent performance when he has not delivered a single road? He has not completed a single road. Uh, in, in how long uh, should they have completed yeah, a single no, road? You know, that what I'm saying is that don't celebrate him yet. Let us see his achievement. He has not achieved nothing. He has not achieved nothing. All this I, 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 I don't. I, no, no. I, I don't agree with that. Uh, uh, we don't have to. We, we don't have to. Uh, it's very easy to say that. Anyway, carry on. That's that's your opinion. One man. To me, I, 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 I don't think you can nothing. ridicule this guy because um, for all of the expectations that you will have of him, he is meeting them and excelling. He, he is a uh, is is going there, sacking on the sport contractors. He is is Expecting to the very minutia, the, the pieces of work being done, it is insisting on the best quality materials. And it's, it, it, uh, what more should it, who, who is out there performing in this way? Who do we see in the field addressing matters and fighting for the people? Who, who do we see? Who have we ever seen perform to this level in the history of that country? Let me tell you, if you want to. I, you know, want... I, know, I, know, I mean, but what, man, what are you talking about? I mean, what, I mean, you just said you just spoke English and just gave where it went on it. What I mean, can, <laughs> can you give us an example? Of what, what I mean, I gotta go for asking now. What road has he completed? He, he what, road, what, what road could he have completed in three months that he's been in oh, office? Here you, go, here, you, here you go. So, what, what is no, no, tell me now? What do you want us to praise him for now? On what basis do you want us to praise him for? For, for, for performing in the manner that we have the so expectation what of. What's the performing now? What's the performing? Okay, oh okay. what, What's the performing now? Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 hold on. Give me, give me three minutes. Give me three minutes. I'm the corner of one man. Let me. That's why I'm asking. Did you appear here with that right? No, no, no. Only hardcore and top down for character. Okay, how how much are you coming on top of this? Um, around 400. 400. Which means this digging is 400. Uh, 500. After we fill the hardcore, we fill the problem with right and fill character with time. Uh, so where is where I give instruction for this? Okay. Uh, is this your job? The nine kilometer you've completed. Mm -hmm. Are you putting lights at the media? Uh, if it was a nominated subcontractor, who will do that? 
Another section, two sections, you, you know, with stone base following them. You open, you throw away, then you now put uh, the distance, uh, the stone base. Please, seven days, seven days. This road must be more tolerable without diverting anywhere. Is that correct? And I don't. So, so, sorry, what, what, what more are you suggesting that I should or could have been doing? Obviously, you must have brought this topic up so that we can praise him. Is that what you're saying? So what I, what I, I think it should be applauded. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy to flog people that are, are, are not performing. What, my, what in particular do you want us to applaud this? It, 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 it's, um, it, it's building the roads that the country needs. Uh, and uh, at the end of that, it gives a guarantee of 100 years on that road. And he understands the subject matter, uh, is holding them fastidiously uh, to, uh, to the brief that they have been... Uh, they have been uh, 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 um, commissioned to carry out uh, and is giving them deliberate timelines. He's saying this to be done in a week uh, and it comes there with uh, agreed positions with the overall plan of the... of the. I mean, what, what more could he be doing? What more? No, Oma, Oma. You see, you just you just went on a on a long story kind of telling us that um, you gave them timeline and other crap. I mean, you heard them now. You did not the hear point him. Is, the point is this. You see, woman, I've I've been privy to be uh, to have done some uh, well here. We call it a uh, uh, Department of Transportation job um, project like this. It's not as easy as you think during this kind of job because they have to do compaction test. They have to make sure that whatever they are pouring on that, uh, it depends on what what I mean the type of road they want to build. You see this 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 television this is our politician with this they are this is a sudden love of um lamb light uh, kind of um showmanship of telling people that we are walking i don't get it and that is what you are here to is that what is that not what you've been clamoring for for no, for, no, for you to... clamoring for. we want to see we want to see resort base every i mean resort base of, of what they've done we want to see it you don't want to see work in progress. No, no, we don't want to see that. We don't, we don't care. You don't that. want to see work in progress. Deliver, deliver. That's what we want to see. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 Wait, wait, what, what, what basis do you want me to rate his performance? On what basis? No, just, just, we, 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 we I've said, uh, Ola, let's not go there. Mike, I get the same. I've no, no, I, I just want us to be no, objective. No, this is, this is no, what that, I'm trying that's, to say. That's my point. My point is, is this. No, deliver. to me. Okay. No, 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 also, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. As a minister of transportation, that, that is the standard everywhere. There's what we call, uh, when you're doing a road project like this, they would, uh, they will pay you, they will pay you based on, the quality of the road. If you have, if you if you reach, I mean, if you get some, some, kind, of, some kind of compassion, um, um, how do I say, compassion kind of uh, level that they want you to reach, they will pay you based on that. If it's below that standard, they will pay you less than that. So, but that's exactly what it's doing. If you, if, I the, if, so I the, the, if I play the if I play the full clip, this, 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 this is this is this is not even under his under his. There should be a director doing. You see, so if you sit in an office and just drink no, tea, no, no, Abby. No, 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 no. You see, when you bring topics like this, you just want to like, it's also it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. I understand what we're doing here. But my point is this: just as Allah, I'm not going to base it on just this showmanship of coming on 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 public media or whatever and trying to show us that you're no deliver. Let us see. It, 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 it's not so. I will rate him with that. I, will come no, I, I, I want us to be. I will praise him based on that. Not all this thing you are no, telling me to do. Don't let us just criticize for the sake of criticism. No, this is not uh, criticizing now. What, wait, what, are you, what, what do you mean to say? What do you mean to say? Do you have this? If if if, if, this if, if they ask you to sit for exam, don't you roll up? Is it because you sit for exam? Is that what we're going to praise you for? Or after you that's pass? That's not the point. You have good grades. Is that what we're going to do? That's, 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 that's not the point. When you are doing a project and you are communicating effectively. Now, so now, yeah, look, okay. Okay. this guy is doing works we've never seen any. Oh God! Um, did, did you not? Did you not see Fashina do the same thing? Did you not see Fashina do the same thing? What? What? Hola. Yeah, do I? Yeah, do I did it way back in the seventies? What are we talking about? Who saw Yeah, do I did the same thing when they were constructing Lagos? Lagos, let the billionaire express to a battle. He was there. Was commissioning. He was even talking to some of the contractors back then. I there are videos online. Go and see it. I mean, what, 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 you see, we, we come here and want to like 
blow these people and make them look like more than important than, than you than have are. not established a baseline for measuring this guy and that is not how to criticize but specific deliver we'll praise you on that that's what I have what's the definition of delivery even delivery has some stages what's the definition of delivery there is, is a big word set it what are you expecting from this guy to complete within three weeks okay if i ask you how long does it take you to complete 100 kilometers road in nigeria how long does it take you to design it even completing the design finishing the feasibility studies all those are critical points so this guy is coming online to inform us and you are saying he's not doing anything so if he doesn't finish it's another thing this, 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 this mediocrity now, that we have we have sunk in so, as, of of now, as of this, now this, as of now i'm not even promoting mediocrity how many of you how many of your commissioner in like canada there or your or your provincial governors or whatever they call them over there come here and do this a public show of um, telling people what they are supposed to be doing on the road how many of them I said you still don't have basis for measuring this for this television show or whatever. Step up your baseline, then we can we can argue. Deliver and then we we we'll praise you. What's the definition of deliver? No, what what is when you have done what you're supposed to do, you do it and we see the we see the result of what you've done. Then we can praise you based on that. Not that this one you're, you're still under construction. You are showing you know, and you want us to be praising you for that. It's his job. That's what he has signed up for, and that's what the taxpayers' money is being used for. See, so why see, should we be praising them for that? Um, hola, 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 hola. hola. Uh, hola. Uh, let, let me do a thing. Let's talk about one thing. Um, one man, I, I don't think uh, there is any basis for this uh, encodium and praise you are showering on day to my. I'm not saying he's not doing anything, but as far as I'm concerned, he's not performed up to the level that we begin to praise him. In fact, I'm embarrassed by some of these utterances. I mean, as, a, as an engineer who doubles as the minister, if you want to be the site engineer or the project manager or the site manager, that's fine. That's a job for him. There are people that occupy these offices. He has access to everything. He has I mean, uh, what we call the BOQ. He has the permit. He has the details, the aspect of the job. Coming there to ask a contractor, I hope you are going to put a street light in the media. It completely betrays his knowledge of what he's actually inspecting. Because if you are going to inspect, there is the specification in your hand. The street light among what was prescribed, what was coded for, what is paid for, and what is being expected to deliver. Coming to the site and be asking that question is just so much. I'm sorry. I like him. And I think he has an idea of what he's doing. But all this uh, embrace of uh, 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 the television and the rest. We have controller of uh, federal controller of works that are in charge of those areas. And they are engineers, business engineers. We, I mean, they have about three or four layers of supervision in every section that federal government, I mean, there is a contract. So if you get a briefing from your contractor, and you want to pay, it's, a, it's okay to pay size, uh, to pay uh, visits to size once in a while, you know, occasionally, to, 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 to inspire people that are working and to, you know, have a hands on if you are making your own reports back. But the most important thing is that every day to day engineering report that comes to you that you must have looked through before you go to site, not to come and uh, is, 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 is this is this not the criticism and, that we have of uh, all these people and, that is they think no, 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 what i'm saying what i'm saying is this i am not saying it's not working maybe i will read it maybe above average but the kind of emphonium and the accolades and the praises you try you are, you are kind of trying to invite that is like a superlative performance i, I don't agree with that uh, i will uh, wait uh, on uh, the, uh, the, uh, the wait hold on hold on hold on when he delivers, especially in very difficult, challenging circumstances, brings some innovation to you know to road construction, road development in Nigeria, and road delivery. Uh -huh. For this kind but of he has not done that. He has not brought innovation with this new cement uh, something <laughs> that. Uh... <laughs> brought new cement. We have been doing well, new man, cement no. in Nigeria. We have been no, doing no, cement uh, 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 Bishop, 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 Ejo, Ejo. See, one thing is this, uh, he, 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 we view performance differently. This guy 
as be as getting himself involved in active leadership see you are the leader within this uh within this uh sector and you are not sitting down in your office only but you are going to that side to make sure you enforce the standard you want let me tell you one thing if this man is visiting the site just for two times in a month the workers there that want to do otherwise they will think twice the fact that the fact that some people consulted road the other time and he, 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 he deemed that thing fit to be substandard and he trashed everything that was a signal to anybody that would like to cut corners so little little efforts just to make sure you uh you 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 you, you stamp your authority to tell people that i'm not going to accept rubbish that goes a long way just merely okay if you put fashola in this position today for a, a now people because people know the pedigree of fashola everybody will just see that immediately but just go and put one nonsense person there everybody continues the way they like so we, we are just looking at everything that it has to be that active physical active that oh it has to be this before this guy I, I, what will he do at this stage is monitoring the project so let us now wait for another stage. Maybe at the end of the year, at the end of the I stand, or maybe he's unable to achieve any anything. That is another story entirely. But at the stage we have now, as a leader, he is doing what he's supposed to do. Except hey, we want him I to say, go and bring. What we are saying is that yes, I'm not against him doing what he's supposed to do, even though the majority of them are not his jobs, but that's okay. But the kind of emphonial, the kind of apple, the kind of praises that uh, the superlative entity that, that we have never seen anything like this, that one man is uh, deploying, is what I have, I mean, what I have seen talking. I don't have issues with that. I was not going to, it's just that it's coming long long. That he has not done anything spectacular. He's an engineer. Look, he, he's not going to, he's not going to check the strength of concrete. They will get the cue. It's something that the, the, the controller of war is at the level of a director. So that's not a junior person. That's somebody that must have spent minimum of 25 years. That's going to be the controller of works. So the controller of work and the project manager and the site engineer are the ones that will determine the depth, the thickness, the mixture, or the strength of the concrete they have. So he is going there. He's a good one to push for that, but does not call for the kind of apple. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not working, but until we now see in the hell, you know, what is the, 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 the deliverables, uh, we can now say well done. I think it's too early to begin to praise it and say well done. I think it's too early. Okay, one man. Is one man so, there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Carry on. Okay. So. Uh, Okay, I continue. Uh, all right, you want to say something, Allah? No, please continue, continue. Okay, all right. So, one man, <laughs> uh, he doesn't deserve any praises yet. He's just doing his job. But we have to commend him, though, that he's supervising the job. He's not sitting down in the office all year long and leaving it for others to do. I mean, to, uh, I mean, while in the office, he doesn't know what is going on in the field. So it's a good thing that at least he's carrying out inspection, uh, but it doesn't deserve that kind of uh, praises to the high heaven that you are giving him one man. So let him deliver when he deliver one after the other one road after the other then we can start to um you know um uh, 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 give him the appraiser for the job he has done but now no it's it's just in the it's just uh in the process of uh you know um uh, carrying out uh is responsible. It's just kind of his uh, normal responsibility, so he doesn't deserve any praises yet. So, but he, he, he should be commended that at least he's going from one place, supervising, checking, 
and uh, correcting, um, you know, uh, what they are doing wrong. Uh, that is good, but uh, uh, not as we are praising him to high heaven one man. So that's where. Oh, 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 all right, Brian. T take us to the Binance space, and then we're going to rational mind. Um, so the Binance uh, executive, he 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 escapes from custody. NSA um, is just it, it, it's just it's so, just so shameful. One man, that's very very shameful. It's a national disgrace to us as people and people that have uh, done this to us deserve to be punished punished severely uh, including firing the head of that place uh, I, i'm uh, not quite sure why the people are saying that the response the box stops at the top now uh, uh, you, you know uh, all the credits of this administration goes to tinubu and all the failure so all the credits of the nsa goes to rivadu Nobody that, knows uh, any functionary that did anything. If they go and capture a high-profile person now, Rivadu will take all the credit. So he, 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 they should sack him, really, because he's yes. never been fit for anything. He it, it should, it should be fired on the spot. Uh, so uh, this, the president can send signal to everybody that it's not going to tolerate nonsense, particularly anybody that want to compromise the national security of the country. This is the national security each of one man. This man, this guy... Because he has exposed the vulnerability of the Nigerian security architecture globally. Yes. Not this that we had any reputation, but it's just that, that somebody of that profile could just casually stroll out of custody and border flight or that champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, okay, it's unbelievable, though. It's unbelievable. Look at the fanfare that they did. That they were saying, "Yes, we are showing them by now. We will go and yes. get us the chairman." And, and then suddenly, the guy just throws out and gets on a plane. Yeah, it, 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 this is a national security issue. This committed um, uh, um, uh, I mean, he's an economic saboteur. And what it did to that country caused our economy, it caused a, 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 a how do I describe it, a setback, serious setback on our economy. So it deserves to be punished. And for him to be kept in a detention in where it, it, where it should be most secured place, that whoever that is locked up there, whoever that is detained there, will be there, and from there they can take him through, you know, court trial. But this guy now, having his way out of there easily and out of the country completely. That is that is too bad for us as, as a country. That is too bad. All those that carried out this operation, this is a well-planned, well-organized, and well-carried out operation. So all the men in charge there, right from one point to the other, and even in collaboration, with the security guys and the immigration at the airport that tell us that look some people are so unpatriotic and they are ready to compromise the security of that country at the detriment of all of us and the country as a whole, they don't deserve to be in those positions of security, those positions of security of the country. They are not, they don't deserve to be there. They are saboteur. And they should be picked up and you know, take out of that job immediately. Um, they should be prosecuted 
and sentenced to, you know, whatever the law um, prescribed as punishment for them. So this is not good. This is not good. And the president must act. You know, when the president, you know, carried out an action that against one of his own, one of the closest associates that we send signal to everybody that this man is not ready, is no nonsense man, and is not good, going to tolerate nonsense from anybody. No sacred cow. And anybody that have not done his job well in conformity with the law, that, puni that person will be punished severely. During the time of Obasanjo, he always warned them, anytime they are having maybe their fake meeting, he tell his minister, no sacred, no sacred cow here. That when it comes to corruption, whoever that is caught will be severely punished. And he did it. The Inspector General of Police, Ali Balogun, what is his name? Was it not Musili Smith? Musili, no, not Musili Smith. It's uh, something, uh, is it Balogun? I think it's Balogun. That was Balogun. Tafa, Tafa Balogun. Balogun. Tafa Balogun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tafa Balogun. Tafa Balogun was punished. The worst of the worst punishment that criminal that the worst of the worst punishment that they, they, they give to pre criminals in Nigeria is what he got. If you see a Mefele riding in car, a big truck, a big, what do you call it? That um, uh, uh, Hayas, uh, what did they call that vehicle? Tafa Balogun was carried in Black Maria. And they were driving him, swinging him from one, he, he, was, he, he, he was knocked from one side of that truck be, be, to the other. According to him, when he was reporting in the, when he was uh, making statement in the court, he was disgraced, he was locked, he was chained in the hand, there was handcuffs in his hand and they carry him from detention to the court in Black Maria. Because this is the guy that Obasanjo respected the most because he took him from, he didn't know him, but because of his academic records, his training records, his, he, always, he, he, was, he used to be an excellent officer. Every training that he went outside the country, this guy came on top. On every train in US, in Britain, in many places that he went to have his, you know, training, it's always on the top. On basis of, you know, his, his, his best, being one of the best officers, in fact, the best officer at that, that time, that was why Obasan just picked him. He didn't know him from anywhere. It's not true anybody influence or anybody recommendation. And he picked him, but only to disappoint of Asanjo by stealing money allocated to police officers. So he went to jail. The same thing the happened to what do you call this man? Um, the Minister of Internal Affairs then. Um, uh, uh, what's the name? That, that one that deputized Bolaige in your state. Um, SM Afolabi. SM Afolabi was, was, was went to try her too. He was a minister. It took him down. The national security, I mean, national identity card money. Those one looted it too. It, they, they, the minister of Interior. Minister of Interior. SM Afolabi. He punished them. I mean, Tinubu should do that. You're talking about his uh, Siemens uh, deal. The Siemens deal. Is this Siemens? No, I think it's um, what do you call it? The uh, national identity card. 
it was in it was a semen uh as a semen semen or whatever they call it <laughs> as a semen semen uh, you know they use the semen um uh gadget to capture people's um but i think they said well i, I think it's also with those deals that they did yeah yes so he was punished he was taken that from the position and he was taken they 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 locked them up and they took them through trial so about um, um, uh, uh, Tenumbu should wake up. It should not look anything that has to do with politics. I mean, sorry, with security, you don't allow politics to um, uh, take control. You don't compromise your security with politics. So Tenumbu should be able to. Uh, to uh, uh, I mean, should be, should be able to know that that politics aside. Security management of the country is totally different, and you can't uh, you can't compromise the national security with politics. So that guy is a very close associate to him. No, the or what do you call it? But it need to it need to it it need to show it need to um. Um, how, what, what, what am I trying to, to show say? him the door? Show him the door, show him the door, and I need to use him as a sacrificial lamb for all you know. So, so, somebody has to be made an example of. Um, <laughs> I, 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 we all thought it was going to be better, I do, but she's too easy to because she's very dispensable. But somebody really big, like Nuhu Ribado, yes, uh. They should suck yeah, somebody it. Somebody really big, yeah. Thank you. I, I, I agree with you. Somebody really big, very close with um, um what do you call it, with uh, Tenumbu, and that will sense it. Everybody will stand up right. That oh, if a guy can do this to him, <laughs> no, me, I'm not going to engage in this kind of uh, uh, corrupt practices or criminality like this. So uh, that is what it can do, so that it can bring sanity into the you know. Uh, government business and management of uh, and people that are holding uh, top position, they can sit up and do their job right. They can carry out uh, reorganization and, you know, uh, make sure people holding the sensitive and strategic position in each of the ministry, they can they, they, they be sure that person they trusted, person they know that can really do the job well, competent, and person that really are really patriotic are the people uh, 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 you know, manning the uh, 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 strategic uh, security position in the country. Maybe they should go through uh, mental evaluation, you know, to determine who should be in some strategic security position. They have to evaluate these people. I mean, this DSS is the one responsible for uh, taking the security... Is the NSA. Is the NSA. Eh? Is the NSA. Is the NSA. NSA. Are they not the one taking the security of, uh, what do you call it? I, I think that's the DSS, screening the ministers. Screening the ministers. I think that's the DSS. So this one, under who did they have, is it NSA, right? Yes. Got away. Oh, okay. So I think um, that's what I got to say. You should, you should use uh, this guy as a commercial lamp and, you know, uh, send signal to people that it's not going to compromise the security of the country. That's uh, the best thing it can do. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant, excellent. So, so thank you. So that's the majestic Adani Koko, of course. Thank you, Adani Koko. Uh, rest in mind, uh, you're up next. Do you want me to line them up for you, or do you want to free flow? Uh, just let me, just line them up. Oh, 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 all right. Do you want to pick it up where Adani Koko left it off? Um, I, I think we are all universal in, in, in agreements that are rebar to I must pay the price for this. Yeah, I for me, I, I've said it. Uh, I think I already said my piece on that. Um, for me, uh, what I think is that um, what happened is um, it, it has demonstrated to the international community that uh, everything about Nigeria is a failed state. Uh, it's a failing system. It's a failed system. We have a system that is that has failed in every. In every uh, ways you look at it, um, it tells us that our, uh, I don't even know if we still have any allies. Um, if we still do, I don't know how they look at us. Uh, if uh, such as things as this could happen, 
they can imagine if they share intelligence with us, how that intelligence not leak? Because if we have, um, if we have moles, we have uh, traitors within our security apparatus. What's the guarantee that whatever they they share with us, that will not um, will not jeopardize their own national security and also their own citizens that live within the Nigerian space. Um, I think uh, that's why we're having this problem um, because I don't know why some um, partners, our our allies, uh, uh, why they will be looking at Nigeria descending into what is being said. They said maybe they. It is by design that they want it that way because maybe it uh, promotes their own agenda. As some people have speculated that um, with Nigeria being the way it is, um, it's, it works to their own advantage. They could um, um, harvest the brains from Nigeria, pull out the very top people from that country because of if they look for economic, um, um, how do I say, um, they look for um, kind of, um, they, they're migrating that way they could harvest our brains and uh, be the top people who are who should be building that who should be building that country could be moving to their own system because we could see what is going on in their own country here. There's a decline in birth rate and all of that, and that is to boost their own economy too. So, because I think in Nigeria in that situation is it works for their own advantage. But what are what are what what is what are the people in governance in Nigeria looking at? Uh, for me, I, I think Tinubu needs to to send um, um, that uh, that signal to the Nigerian people that uh, nobody's uh, sacred cow is ready to throw anybody under the bus. But am I, you see, I've said it one man. <clears throat> when I come here, I lament the way I lament about Tinubu. That this guy does not have what it takes. Um, he does not have the balls. He does not. Uh, either he does not have the balls or uh, you say he does not have the moral uh, compass for that. Uh, this is a guy who came in for him it's all about politics it's not about uh, service to the people it's all about himself and those few people that will come in and uh, that brought him in no doubt he wants to compensate them at the expense of um, the nigerian people that he's supposed to protect because if you come in why would you have uh three four people from one ethnic clan and they seem to have um a structure of the security architecture of that country. I'm not talking, to, I'm not even talking about the military now. I'm talking about the civilian arm of that, um, um, of the, our defense, our security. It's under one, one clan. Um, the Minister of Defense is a full army man. The Minister of uh, State for Defense is a full army man. The DSS is a full army man. The NSA is a full army man. Can you, what, what is, what is Tinubu thinking about? I mean, what, what I mean, the Minister of Defense is not a full animal. What, what is it? Bagood is what? <laughs> is it Bagood or what his name is? No, no, no. The Minister of Defense is Christopher Musa. No, no, no. That's Minister of uh, Chief of Defense Staff. That is different. We're talking about Minister of Defense, the civilian Minister of Defense. I'm not talking about Chief of Defense Staff. The Chief, Chief of Defense Staff is different from, yeah, but the Chief of Army Staff, the, the, the oh, Chief of Army Staff is a Yoruba man. I understand it. There is yeah. a Chief of Army Staff in the military, it's a Chief of Army yes. Staff. And there's a chief of defense staff. Now we're talking about minister of defense. I think it's Bagudu or what was that name that they serve with a B, the former governor. is the one that occupies that space. Yeah, yeah. but where power is wielded is who, whoever yeah. commands the you troops. See, that is where we're getting it wrong. That's why you need to go and listen to that, that interview of the previous interview of this guy, um, that uh, Kunle guy, the Commodore Kunle, and the one he did today in, on Arise. You understand? Um, well, my, maybe you and I were talking um, in private because I, I, I want to use your platform. I want to start some kind of, um, let me not say I don't I want to do that because uh, because I know I don't have the time. Because I've been thinking about that today. I, I will be talking about anything. My area, is, my area here, you give me a slot, like a gift or gypsy baby. I will be talking about <laughs> all this uh, Nigerian security because. Yes, I, 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 yes, I want that as well, and, and I also want an obedience to come and take us. No, no, don't, don't let them come, come on. No, 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 you, 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 are, you are not an obedient. This, I this want is an objective. That. This is an objective discussion about tonight. It's just for me sitting down and gathering all these um, uh, video clips that I'm getting from different people that will send it to me. 
That's just I just don't. Yeah, you can you can do them randomly. You don't have to do them to yeah. a specific. So when, when, whenever the mood takes you, just uh, you see, uh, you see uh, for me, yeah. one man. Let me just go straight to the topic. How can you have four people from a clan, an ethnic clan, that we know that there are people? And by the way, so, so, sorry, Rash, never mind. So let me put it out there. Um, I, I want to open a slot for a, a, a really hardcore obedience to come and host uh, sessions on the platform. So you can do all manners of your fantasized rubbish that you do uh, unfettered. You will have you will have total control over what, uh, of course, you cannot say anything that's defamatory or whatever. But uh, yes, I want an obedient to come and take a slot. Uh, but carry a rational mind. Well, uh, that's up to you, woman. Obedient. But my, if, my, if I have to have a section, uh, session on your uh, slot on your... Um, on your channel, uh, it will be something not related to obedience. It's just uh, no, 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 no. That's not for you. You are not an obedient. Now. Let me go yeah. to what we're talking about. So yeah. my point is this: is that Tinubu is not. It's not. That it's for him. It's not about the people. It's not about safety of the people, security of the of the nation. It's all about payment to those who have helped him. Whether these people are competent or incompetent, he doesn't care about it. Now, if you listen to Olakunle, uh, Kunle, or what his name was. That, that guy lamented heavily. It's just that he was just being um, he was just being careful not to like say things, but you could tell even from the, even what he did not say, you can understand how, in a sense, he indicted um, this whole thing that happened on how he pinned it on um, on uh, on uh, 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 the competence of this guy who occupies that NSC. Well, there was there was one thing he said in closing. He said, "I wish I think somebody was already said it on this platform um, many months ago when we were talking about." When this guy was uh, hired to that office, he said, "You need to be able to command the respect of the military and other security apparatus that they have in that country." So the question is, can Ribadu even command? Because if you look at it, Ribadu is just a low-level kind of um, uh, police officer. Pol pol policeman, yes. Th th there was that uh, heavy criticism uh, when they gave him. Never had any security training. At the level of people like that, uh, we see what that's what I'm saying. Some people are saying that, oh, maybe Ola Kunle is just Ola Kunle is just trying to look for seek Tinubu's attention. No, if you look at it the way he said it, even though he was even Ola 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 Kumal Tinubu he didn't even say president. Well, maybe I, I don't president. like that, you know, because we see um, Atiku doing that as well. Mm. Uh, it, it, you're not disrespecting him; you are disrespecting the state. Uh, no, you see, you see this hour, uh, this you see what the you see the point is this: that guy, even if you look at the way he was talking to Ruben about today. He was talking about Ruben about getting a cancer in the hand. I don't know what to do. You see, that, that is a training of a, of a military officer who is who is fearless, who talks, who says it as the way it is. So the kind of people you need, not politicians occupying sensitive positions. Bagudo, or whatever his name was, is a politician. This idiot from say, Zafara State, who, who would under him, the, the Zafara descended into chaos, into a total uh, killing field during his, during his time there. What's his name? This, uh, what's his name? Um... Matawali, and now you're making, you see, for this guy called Tinubu, it's not about the safety of the people. It's just about repayment time, because we know how uh, Matawali got millions of votes for him. Some, some falsely made, made, made up uh, numbers from, from that period that, that, that propelled him to the, that 9 million crap that, they, that AI Aina gave to him during the last election. So it's payback time for him, for that fabricating those numbers for him. It's not about his competence. This is a guy under his watch. You look at what, how, how Zavara descended into chaos. And you still have the guts to, I mean, employ this guy to be the Minister of Defense for State. Bagudu too, I mean, whatever his name was. What, 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 was, what, 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 what is his exposure to, 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 to the military, uh, to, to the military, um, uh, military system, how they, how they operate? I mean, you, you wonder, you say, you wonder what this guy is, it's for, for him, it's not about, I said this guy, this guy called Tinubu, he does not, it's not about people of Nigeria. It's about regime protection and repayment time for those people who have the truth. For, for me, you see, I don't expect anything to change as long as he maintains this, this, this status quo of the people that are working with him. You don't need politicians. You need professionals who have shown, who have, who have proven track records of having be fearless. They say it how it is. They don't, they, I mean, people like that, Ola Kunle, I would, I would, I would, I would implore Tinubu to look at that guy for a position. Probably, maybe some heading, maybe DSS 
or even taking up taking out taking over from uh, what's his name uh what's his name this guy uh Ribadu. because if you look at what this guy said in one of his previous um he says even today he said talk when he was talking about the issue of the niger data i mean one man i could attest to you for me personally i can attest to you when i was in abuja during Baba, um, I said, during Obasanjo's time, I, well, I was in Nigeria at that time. I went there for some time. I was in Nigeria. And during uh, Yadua, Yadua time, and was, even when uh, Jonathan was there, I saw how DSS, these guys, how professionals they were. You don't, you, you don't, you don't really see DSS. You don't see them come out. They don't, you don't see them make noise. I was at, uh, is it Chisco? Um, is it Chisco um, um, uh, Transport? Um, hub there, I mean, well, at the station there. I think there was an information that came in. I was there with somebody. The DSS came in. It was even, it was a lady that led them. A lady that led them. I was so impressed by their professionalism. They didn't arrest anybody, but they came professionally. I mean, you, 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 you'll be glad that you have, I mean, it's like Nigeria's, Nigeria's lost its glory when it comes to some certain kind of people. But now look at how DSS is now. There are another Alaye boys or Jabuda boys that are harassing people everywhere. They act like a sieve. I mean, are we surprised? Even if, even the police look at how the police they how they act. There's no professionalism. So he was saying that most of the most of the most of the intelligence that they got was from DSS. Well, they were not even the military the, 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 the department of uh, military uh, intelligence. They had all this said, but the bulk, if not more than seventy percent of what they got intelligence. So why, what what is the DSS looking at when this guy escaped? Who are those people in that very that were guarding this? If this, if, if this guy does not have a personal phone to himself, because obviously he do not, because he's not he's not resident in Nigeria. Resident in Nigeria, there must have been somebody within there who he has been using his phone to communicate outside, asking them to get his passport to arrange for his facilitate his his escape from Nigeria. Can they now start looking at call records of everybody in that room? Oh, within that area, within that area, that guy was. They, they said somebody has been arrested. Well, that's what we're going to hear, and that's what we're going to hear at the end of it. We don't, well, we shall see how it plays out. But one man, the point is this: is that DSS should have a monitor. You see, that's why here in America they have they have this. Uh, in my office, I have people that uh, that I supervise, and people that supervise me, and people that are, that are supervising people are supervising them. You are being watched. That's what I'm saying to you. You are being watched. In Nigeria, we don't have that. You have somebody who's watching the watcher and the watcher okay. that's watching the watcher. Raksha, my couple of seconds, if you don't mind. Yeah, go on. Um, I know you're very much aware of what happened to um, Epstein, uh, Epstein in prison, in the federal prison where they have cameras, they have security the guards right at the door, okay? The man supposedly committed suicide and they could not produce a video, nor could they produce uh, the, the guards in front of his uh, prison cell, because apparently on, the, on that day or in, in that hour, they, both of them fell asleep. So, you know, I know you don't, you don't usually see nothing good about Nigeria anyways, but, but my point here is that, look, uh, compromise happens everywhere at different levels, okay? So if it can happen in America, and that's not the first time anyways, it, it can happen in Nigeria, okay? So don't paint America and everywhere else as being, you know, the best thing since sliced, sliced bread. No, there's compromises everywhere. Uh, you see, we like to do this sort of baptism, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's what we do a lot. Um, <laughs> we like to. I was I was listening to, I was I was in uh, the conversation, I was, I saw what uh, that guy from, uh, what's that, uh, from, uh, at my grandma's um, state of origin, um, Elisha, what's his name? Kulata. When he was talking there, it was like uh, even the even the Sony guy or what was that guy that escaped from uh, the uh, in Japan? I mean, come on. You see, we can go about talking about this. What about this? What about this? I mean, you, this is a system where things works. I mean, you, know, you see, you see uh, let me not go down. This. So, I know you are trying to deliver my thought. I mean, you are, you have a point that. Um, it's, it's not a perfect system here. Yeah, we don't understand. But not as, not as breached as the Nigerian security and everything. It's not, it's not unique or peculiar to Nigeria is no, what, no, is, what no, is, no. is unfortunate, yeah, but it's not, it's not unheard of. It's unfortunate, but not unheard of. Okay, so just just imagine, just like they're saying, saying that El Chapo, <laughs> El Chapo that was called, that was, that was, 
that the, the U.S. Marshal and the FBI and all the hosts, whatever, that went to capture this guy. Yeah, so you can put this guy in category of a chapel now. Uh, of course. Imagine the they bring a chapel now. Oh, no, 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 they brought they a chapel. Chapel now say, ah, I want to go to... Uh, I want to go and party. I want to go to one of these nightclubs. Bring those Mexican girls that I like. Bring them to. I just want to go to. I mean, what kind of? How can you see? When you listen to a lot of people, okay. When when Epstein, 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 Epstein was killed, when Epstein was killed, Epstein was killed. Hold on. When Epstein no, you see, was killed, you want to be Epstein? Epstein. I don't know what this was. Epstein. Epstein. It was. It was in prison. It was in prison because nah, it's yeah, the yeah, highest yeah, high profile. Highest proper criminal, if you ask me in the past. Uh, come on, come Back on. The Epstein case. We know that uh, they the fight, the fight there. So that uh, even before before the car before the car Epstein, this guy the first time he went to jail, okay, he had the opportunity to, as part of his, his sentence, to to leave the prison. It's the, I don't know if it was in the prison or home a home arrest, a house arrest. It, it goes in and out as he desires, okay. And this was and then this guy was accused of you know what he did, you know, this that crazy stuff he did. So again. Um, I know you probably want to lose sleep over this this Binance guy. It, it, to me, nothing to lose sleep over because why? It's all inside job. If you ask me, it goes all the way to the top. So there's nothing new about it. It's I mean, for such a thing to happen at that level, you must know that it's it it goes all the way to the top. Business as usual. So so you what you are telling us is that. Yeah, uh, sure, on that on that that alone. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I mean so what you're telling the things that what about is what about is they always like to do here. I mean, you just have to bring. You see, it's okay. You can say what about is. I'm not saying the system here. You see, but when you want one thing, you forget to when you made this comparison is that their own system here. I mean, it's not as bridge as ours. We don't have, we don't have a fl very flawed and very grossly unpatriotic people occupying. Uh, in Nam, they can is still in prison. Okay, come on, come on, you, come on. Let, let me continue, please. Uh, when you have your time, you can. Uh, I, I appreciate you uh, interjecting me, but let me just make the point because I know a woman has to move uh, move on. Uh, you see, for me, um, Nigeria is just, um, you see, this issue of saboteurs, saboteurs, it, it, it is, it is, it's just so alarming ever since it um, uh, uh, got worse under Buhari and uh, now into Tinubu. Um, for me, uh, I think uh, Tinubu has, has, um, I mean, why, how do I say that in, uh, in English? People that are compromised, they are all in his, in his, in his cabinet. Uh, either in his cabinet or they work for those people who are in his cabinet. Because this is an inside job. And I'm not saying we're going to lose, you should lose sleep over this. Um, but if they could do this kind of things, that somebody could escape from that country. Mind you, is an, uh, you see, uh, let me see, that's what I'm trying to say. When you, when you target like that, like, I was saying, trying to say something earlier. And what I was trying to say is this. You listen to Olakun, uh, this uh, Commodore Olakunle, you know, like I've been saying here on this platform, one man, until we secularize our security uh, agencies, we're not moving anywhere. Are you Olakunle, talking about that, uh, uh, Adewumi, Commodore Adewumi? Ade, uh, is it Adewumi or uh, Olakunle? Ade well, whatever. Kunle, I know his name, but something, something Kunle or Olakunle, something like that. That's his name. So anyway, yeah, you're right. Um, whatever the name is. But my point is this is that, he says something that I've always said on this platform that until we, we secularize our security agencies, he was saying that was about three years ago when he had that interview. When Nigeria was even boiling, like we know as it was boiling now, when they just nearly killed some people in NDA, if not any other facilities besides Astro Rock, that should be highly, highly guarded. Our NDA should be highly guarded. That's what we should be, just like our own Pentagon here, our own Pentagon here in America. That's, that's what it was supposed to be. But so-called uh, terrorists, I won't call them bad it. They went in there and they just wasted some officers' lives and took they kidnapped them. some away. Kidnapped them and took them, took them away in NDA. Them away. Just like you're, you see, you're talking about um, this Cedar Point or what do you call I mean? What's the name of this? Uh, 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 teaching school for military uh, officers here in America. I forgot is West Point. West Point. And is it West Point? Something like that. Yeah. So. Just like they go in there and they, you see, let's let's let let's, let me not draw it because when I draw that, some people will now look for another floor for West Point too. Some things that happened. Let's just leave that. So my point is this: is that all I'm saying is this: is that if you understand what that guy said, he said every time you see these people, they want to do their jumats. That is when they just they just relax, they just let their guard down, 
and everybody, every Tom, Dick, and Ali from anywhere will just come only because you speak the same language, you look like them, you speak this, uh, the full learning, whatever, for full day, you come into where you're supposed to be highly secured. They will be coming in there, say they want to come and pray. That's where they come and scout and look at how can we escape. We will come in here, we'll breach here, we'll do this one. I mean, how can you allow your facility to be used for such, a, such an idiotic things? I call it idiotic things because religion should be personal. It should not be brought into anything that, that should that should bring about the security of that national defense of that country. That is why this idiot could come in and just breach and come in and waste people's life and be able to succeed and kidnap people and go. Well, because you allow some people coming on the name of, oh, we are coming to pray. How could you allow that? That was what, and, and I remember this, let me call them, this, uh, this, uh, these three other people on channels, they were like trying to silence the man on the main, you say, look, this I want to say something, they say, look, this is not about trying to like flam, uh, uh, find the uh, embers of um, religious hatred over some people. He said, look, he said, look, I'm trained to think federal. My sense is federal. My life is federal. He said. He said he even lost his own family because of that. He lost his own family because of because of the way he was trained. Nobody should. Have he should never come out in public to be talking to people. So what am I trying to say here is this: is that we're not talking about. I'm not trying to farm myself. I'm not trying to because I've done even before he came on on board talking about this issue of uh, uh, our security uh, agencies have been breached because they bring this their religion into it. If you don't look like some people from one certain religion, you cannot come in there. Well, why, why, why can't other people of other religion do the same thing? Why can't they just breach the whole NDA or whatever barracks and allow people from anybody, anybody or anywhere come in and, and pray because they look like somebody from that? You see, when some people, like he said, some people believe that their own religion supersedes other religion in that country. That's where the problem is. So now, going back to this Binance guy, this guy went to pray. Why, what, 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 what I mean, what kind of treatment could you have? So, is it because he belongs to that religion? Is that why you allow him to leave and go to a mosque. Uh, it, it, it could well be because it's a foreigner, you, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not still getting it. Well, I, I understand if you don't want to get it. And if you get it, you don't want to act like you get it because I know where you stand up. You need to be not, you need to be in the middle. You don't want to take sides. But for me, I'm not taking sides. I, I believe if that country is to remain one, and we have to remain as one people, no religion should be pedestalized. Every religion should be treated equally as the rest, and no religion should be brought to any national that will compromise our national defense and compromise our security. And that is what is playing out where some people are sacred cows like Gumi and some other sheikh that are that, that are known because even what was saying he says those 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 the release that they, they released those leads are just the <laughs> it's called them those are just receptionists they are just the boy boy that the main corporates. They release that they, they have the they, they have either they have it or they don't have but they said they have the list but they're not bringing it out for fear of oh if we release their name it could, it could all hell could be let loose for them because some people respect them Ra rational man let me ask let me ask a question from one man one man who do you think has caused more harm to to, to that country between in Namdekano and this uh, uh binance guy i think it's the binance guy Okay, so they allow the Binance guy to go for Juma service and they never allow Namdekanu to go for uh, church service on Sunday. But Namdekanu is a Jew. It's a, it's, it's, um, <laughs> it, it, it told us now, Namdekanu is a Jew now, okay. according to his, uh, It's discriminating uh, against him. That's what we're talking about. He practiced Judaism. That's what Namdekanu told us. And no, no synagogue in Abuja. No synagogue in Abuja. Amen. So it's when we talk about this preferential treatment they give to certain religion. This one certain religion. I, you see, guys, don't get me wrong. I believe oh, oh, that there, there's um I, I think this is, I, I beg your pardon, rational mind, oh, but I think this is a second person that has been saying it. If you have the link, send it in so we can verify it. Apparently, uh Gumi has not been taken into custody. Well, man, I said it before that that guy should be taken. Maybe on your platform or some other platform, I said it. I said that guy in a, in the same country. That guy should not be even allowed to be talk to be talking. Give him as arrest or arrest him because some of the inflammatory pronouncement that guy has made, like you just you just want. That's what I'm saying. Some people are looked as sacred cow. Now we're talking about the least of our resolution. Are you going to applaud if that's true? Would you applaud no, to no go for that? The hard was that they always only questioning him. I didn't hear maybe. Yes, that's him. that. Yeah, that's what we were discussing as no, well. We have the headline. Oh, yeah. If you are taking it because of the final good, maybe they have um, they have reason because. 
They said they only called him was because of the inflammatory uh, comment that he made in the past. They said they only went with some like was it last two weeks ago when he was talking about this bandit? That was what they said they called him for to come and come and talk about. But if they have another thing uh, besides that, maybe they have maybe really they 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 have him in their custody uh, because maybe the judges have to just to law him to them to come and then maybe they have maybe they be able to link him with the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, what's that guy's name? That was on the terror list that we, we saw recently. Uh, Ma, Ma, is it Maman? Or what's his name? Yeah, he's a he's a former assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah assistant. So maybe they will able to establish a link between him and all of that. You see, all these money people are getting. I don't know if you've seen that TikTok um, thing on Sahara Reporters. These guys, this this bandit, how they were swimming on money. They were just, I mean, you know, just showing off this money that they collected from. You see, why can't they track them? I mean, they, they, Alakule was saying that they have this geo, when he was there, they have this uh, geolocating uh, equipment that they use that they want to track you down, they can track you down. This guy, they, they have this idiot, this, um, this, 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 this terrorist of, um, of kidnappers, they, they can even be posting whatever they're doing online. What stops them? If it's me now, they want to find me out now, they want to locate who I am, they will do that. You know how to do that, right? But with these same people, you see, when we're talking about this preferential treatment, they give to certain ethno a religious people in that country, we're not ready to move forward in that country. We're not ready to move forward. As long as this thing is there. And I know Tinubu... And, and those people that. are using telephone uh, network easily, just as... Yeah, they, they call. They, they easily. Call. In the call. They call. They call. They to the demand call. for ransom. They'll be talking to people mm. on the phone at, at, at free and, and no tracking. No tracking. <laughs> and you, you wonder, you wonder yes. what's going on. So yeah. it's okay that there's, it's a, there's a bigger thing than what we understand. I mean, not as if it's a bigger thing. We understand what is going on. It's just more of ethno-religious. From certain uh, clan and religion, uh, uh, they are looked upon as a sacred cow. Don't, don't, you can't touch them. So but for me, I, I don't think Sinubu is ready to... For, like I said, it's not about the people. It's about just regime protection, uh, administration protection for him. Just let me there. Do let me do my eight years. You can freely do your thing and waste people's life, kidnap little children, use them for whatever. I don't care. As long as you don't come near me or my people, my own my own cronies, my wife, my wife, my children. Let me do my ATF, let me go. Tinubu is not ready. I said it. It's all about repaying those people who work for him. So one man, um, you see, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're going in this, in this country. And when I hear things like this, that's what really brought me, bring me on your platform, another platform to talk about it because I know because any breach in our security, it means nobody is safe. No one is safe. My parents are not safe. My sisters, my brothers, my, my family members, my friends are not safe. And some people are treated like this. Holy cow, a sacred cow, you cannot touch them. Then it means they can do and undo. So Tinubu needs to sit down and ask himself that question. Who are you there to serve? Are you there to serve some people and some religious, religious people because you want to protect your regime? You don't want them to start making trouble for you in your government? That is why I, I, I said it. Unless until we, it takes down these this four people we are talking about. Minister of, Minister of Defense, Minister of State for Defense, NSA, and uh, DSS. You need to replace them, at least retain one of them, maybe from their own clan. The three of them, at least we have several, besides the Fulanis, we have several uh, tribes in that country. And no doubt these several tribes, they have people who are serving in intelligence before. You can put them there. To balance the whole thing, do of course do your security, do your do your background check on them, make sure that they are okay. Then, but definitely you might see people, not one person from this clan, that their own clan people are making trouble, but still you see them, and when it's comes to religion, they carry it up like on their head like gala, and they start, I mean, start, I mean, I mean, compromising our security, our, our security in that country. You see, that's why I said Tinubu is not ready to 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 work for the Nigerian people. If he wants to work, take him down, and take the remaining two other people down, replace them with some other people from another ethnic tribe. That's all I have to say, one man. Oh, 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 all right, Brilliant. Do, do, do you want to give us a little flavor on um, these girls that have not, at least acknowledge the good news of it first before you go into uh, whatever your opinions are? The, these, uh, these cool girls that, are, that they, we've not been able to secure their, their release, apparently ransom was not paid. So ransom was not paid to secure release of our. Uh, Kuriga our school children. So at least good news that they are back with their family. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Look how dark, look how dark they are, though. God. 
Oh, I, I mean, that, that Sunday, I mean, I was somebody, some video, somebody was, was complaining to me that Nigerian, so they telling me that the, the sun in Nigeria right now is just something else. Yeah, but in the north, they're all dark like well, that. The, well, that's, I mean, what, what's, what, what's bad about being dark, uh, one man? What's, 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 what, what problem do you have with that? Uh, do you I, know I, that the, the lighter very, skin, the lighter skin you are, the closer hey, you are to the man? As, you should ask one man, is it not dark too? Don't mind him. I'm not, I'm not as dark as them. them uh, I'm not as dark as them. Are, I, used be, I used to be very dark like this now. I used to be very, very dark like this. I mean, like, I, 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 I've, I've, seen, I've seen what you look like right now, man. They are not dark. You are not a complexion. Uh, <laughs> no, but, like I said, I used to be, that's what I'm saying. I used to be very, very dark like this. So, yeah, it's just if the sun from that country, that, they don't worry they don't about Paiwa, you are more... They look like Sudanese. Well, well, what of uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. Look at these children that have been kept in the bush for how many years? I mean, how many days? So, uh, how do no, you I think that's their natural complexion anyway. Uh, well, natural, complexion, but you know, they look, they look good. Yeah. They are very dark in the north, aren't they? We are dark too. We used to be to be like that in the, the 60s, 70s. We are very, very dark well, people. Yeah, and that, and that, and that, like, one <laughs> the bill, the bill for very those uniforms will be like twenty five thousand each now. Somebody yeah. will be shocking. Yeah, you're never saying hundred thousand. You're never saying hundred thousand. Hundred thousand each. <laughs> it's even twenty five thousand. Hundred thousand each. Even though another one economy. <laughs> do, 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 do you remember during Babangida's time? That he kept on changing the police uniform and awarding the contract to his wife. No, Aikumu wife had that custom gray one. Can you imagine? Mm. The gray custom is wearing today. That was Aikumu's wife's contract, Rebecca. Oh, really? He says. Mm. What is Solia? The personal can you waste it? What on Miko? And their previous one was better. It's, I think they used to have uh, that was better. I used to have, have, used to have, used to have even the mine. Nigerian police uniform, the previous one was better. Exactly. They, they used to wear uh, green. Is it not green? They used to wear that. Was, was, wear it not blue? Blue. Blue. was it not green? Like a blue over that, blue? Uh, uh, blue over one kind of uh, navy blue or something like but, that. But the ones at the airport, the ones at the airport, they used to wear like green and then khaki. I don't know. I think I, I, it's been a while. It's been a while. I used to remember my my cousin used to wear that way back in the eighties. He used to work at the airport. It's late now, so I think he wears green whenever he comes without his beret, and then he will come and I think khaki and then one green. But it was a cost. I mean, is it immigration or custom? I think somebody can tell us in the comment section. But anyway, one man. Uh, for me, you see, uh, are you talking about custom? Maybe it, not not custom. Like, maybe immigrant. He used to work. I think he worked yeah. work with him. Yeah, they, they used to wear something like green and something mm. like that. Yeah, mm. you are right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, my point is that you see, you see this this um, this um, kidnapping is it's another uh, it's another industrial um, industry in Nigeria. Let me see. It's another industry, and we see how this is almost it's always common to these people from the north, and uh, they're using it. And this idiot uh, idiotic uh, person, like I mean. I, I wouldn't want, why don't DSS reach out to the Saudi uh, Saudi uh, intelligence and ask them, or the police or whatever, what was the reason why this Gumi was deported in the first time from Saudi, Saudi Arabia? Let me ask them. Because this guy, he cannot go to Saudi Arabia again. And it's, it's a personal non grata in many countries, some, some, some Islamic countries. Because of his, 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 so why would Nigeria, Nigerian government be allowing this guy? And he's giving these people, like, he's it's, 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 it's making their case for them. How can you be? How can you be toying with the life of of of, of kids? You, you can imagine how traumatized these kids will be. Any little thing, pa, 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 you just imagine how traumatized these kids will be. If they hear gunshot or the year of somebody coming to kidnap, or your ordinary footstep. I mean, I don't know. You see, these people in the north, at least they are these are leaders in the north. They don't care about their people, and we need to extricate, extricate ourselves from these people. I don't know why we are even one people. I mean, we just claim to be one people in that country. You know, you know, they put that question to um, Gaba uh, Adamu Gaba. Uh, was it you that was putting in that question? Um, um, I wasn't here. Uh, I wasn't no, here. no, no, Prince Daddy. I think it was Prince Daddy that was pushing him that about the abandonment. Uh, that is the is it Talakawa uh, Amajeri system? You know. Yeah, that's yeah. Lata. That's Lata. Talakawa, uh, this um, the Almagiri. Al yeah, yeah. I, I think it was Jewess of Nigeria. So anyway, for me, you see, one man, um, it's uh, you see, it's it's, a, it's another. Uh, if, if you imagine, because uh, I was listening today again, 
And I reason to I, I kind of like reason with that uh, same I mean that former military officer when he said when he was asked that question he said do you believe he, the, 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 uh, Russell was paid? I said I forget that thing. He said Russell was paid. Do you have any proof? He said, well, he said you don't need to ask for proof. So I mean, I reason, if you look at that his reasoning, what he said was that people were asking for one to use how many trillion. On, <laughs> you have it was twenty four trillion, fifty trillion. They went through hoops and whatever to just go and to go and kidnap these kids and I mean, line them and all whatever, whatever, risk their life. And then every day they call it the federal government, <laughs> come and collect these children. We don't want them any. I mean, how does it even sound to you? How, how, how does that even sound? I will never hear that. Oh, so anybody or any one of them were killed, or were just they were they were assassinated during their operation, or killed. And you'll be. We don't say so. Forget it. The ransom must have been paid. And we are seeing that uh, we're seeing TikTok. Um, or is it TikTok on uh, X? Go on the West Sahara report and you see them. How they were just flaunting, I mean, just, just showing money out of the money they I mean, you can see that stack of bills of Naira. They collect it as ransom. And you cannot trace these people. They make calls. But if it is me now, talk against the money on your platform now. They want to call you one man. Give us that guy's number. What is his number? What is his IP address? They want to call you all. They call to talk to Facebook or call it, what's his name? Um, um, maybe YouTube. Give us his IP number. We want to we want to geolocate him. We want to know where he is. Blah 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 blah. You see, but the main corporates, the main people. Who, I'm, I'm just somebody who comes here to talk about the, the Nigeria that I used to once so love, not anymore. I, I don't think I love it. But do I want evil on my people? No. If I don't, if I, I, won't, I won't come here and talk about how we can move forward. But the point is that as it's currently set up right now, I don't see that country making anything any good for the people itself. So for me, I believe we need to just separate ourselves from these people from the north. So if that's if that's the only way we can live in peace. Because this is why separate, se separate, separate ourselves from the people from the north. Yeah. The totality of them. You said what? The totality of them, even good friends like Ribadu and uh, Hassan. Well, I, I'm not... Uh, remember that guy Q that used no, to come no, here? No, no problem. We will, we will continue. To, I mean, across the Ninja, we'll be, we will be throwing uh, hand to ourselves. <laughs> how are you? How are you from Ninja? <laughs> yeah, that's how we should be doing it. Yeah, so, I mean, one man, one man. You see... We, they can take visa and come. No, we don't even need... Well, if they want to... Well, that's, you see, let's not go... <laughs> this, but for me, it's just that. We need to have a round table talk to these, to these people. These are their leaders of the North. Do we want us to be... Do we want to be a one nation? And if we want to be, how? If we answer that question, then how? Then we, from there, we'll proceed from there. But as long as we let, we let the status quo remain, we're not going to make anything of that country. It's going to be a spiral of the same British kind of life that we've been living, where kids, kids are being kidnapped, they're being used as a pawn, for some, 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 some selfish and some, some wicked art kind of leaders from that lot. Because this money they got from, from the government, no doubt, or from wherever they got it from, if I this money will be gone, will be poured back into the system, and they can't even trace them. They can't even trace them. Ask Google those people that posted those things on what are the IP address so that they can geolocate them and find out where they are. At least that every IP has in Nigeria, every IP is linked to a particular phone number. They must have registered that phone number with except you see, you see, woman, there's a lot of work to be done in that country. Because how can people be strolling to that country? They do not have a form of ID, you cannot even ID them to even know who they are, where they are living. I mean, you, 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 I mean, well, man, when I start talking about America, yeah, some people say maybe you cannot use America. What are the customs doing? Or is all this, I mean, say custom. What are the immigration doing? I say custom. Immigration, what are they doing? It's just, it's only to remain just to be in a, 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 a what's it called? You know, you go there and do passport and be at the border and at the airport. Is that what they, no. I mean, they should have some kind of immigration police. We have what they call ICA. here. They are responsible to go, they will go, they will go and, if they, if they find a legal immigrant that has been maybe given, um, uh, maybe he's living here illegally, and there's some kind of um, uh, uh, stories about him, maybe he's been doing some things. I should go after him. That's, that's the police, the immigration. That is the immigration arm of uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? Um, the kind of like uh, the police that, but if I, you see it, I mean, uh, well, man, let me know. So my point is that you, you, they will go and arrest the person, and they will take him. They will, they will take him into custody. So you see, it's, it's, it's time we need to start IDing everybody living in our space. But would people from the north allow it? No, they will not allow it because it serves that wicked and that 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 backward purpose that they want it for, so that they could continue using them as a pawn, either in milking that country dry and unleashing this mayhem on Nigerians, and you know maintaining the status quo. 
How can you have somebody just pouring into your country? We don't even we can't even know, don't even know who they are. You see, Tinubu, whoever gets there, needs, has a lot of work to do. Because if you do not start identifying people in your space, there's no way you can move forward in that country to still. And what is the immigration doing? They have to go and start IDing people. That's how we, you can track people. If they register a SIM to a, a SIM to a number, you can track them. I mean, I don't need to tell them what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, our security agents know what they know what to do. So my point is this: is that uh, this is so sad that these children are made to go through all of this. But in a senior country that is, they know what they're doing. When the government knows what they're doing, and the security uh, agencies know what they're doing, this should not be. I mean, look at this: what happened in Ro Russia? Immediately, pa pa pa, they 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 went after those guys. They caught them about to even sneak into in Ukraine, as they, as they say. That's the system that works. Why can't uh, it's because when they do and, that and they display them and people see them. Uh -huh. I mean, but, but, but if it's Nigeria now, it's, oh, you cannot do that because there are people from our... I, I like it when I saw them that they are not complete. So with swollen eye, mouth, tear. Well, no, 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 As no, I no. should be. Did you see how they were, even, they were manhandling them? Uh, that's, that's how it should, should be. be. But if they, if, they, if they do that, say, no, you cannot do that now. You look at the idiots. When they, when they, this body job that they put in, look at all these people. They look at them. It's, uh, it's class people. They were, they were threatening Tinubu. I mean, uh, the, the, the Abado people are not, uh, they, don't have, they are not having an erection over that one. No. But if it's uh, other people now from the south now, south, 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 they will be having an erection over there. I mean, Uber, Uber, Uber. Yeah, yeah, Uber, mm. Uber. <laughs> mm. <laughs> see, the point is this, that we should not have any secret cap. Anybody that is found to have um, commit anything against the nation, the, that country called Nigeria, should be treated the way he or she deserves. No, because it's like full animal or it's my from my religion that should not come into play but how can we do that when some people think that it's just their religion or not so woman please that's how i have to just if you have another topic bring me oh, 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 all right give, give us a little flavor on this man that has been arraigned for stealing a pot of soup i have some sympathy for him ah but uh bishop was saying the law is the law well, you see, uh, one man, you know my, you know my uh, stand on this. There's some other topic I wanted to discuss about. I mean, for the past few days, I've not been here. I wanted to talk about uh, what someone who is doing in Lagos recently. Yeah, yeah, go uh, for it, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, but let me just say what I want to this real quick. Um, you see, uh, I know um, if you do the crime, you do the time, as they say. But the point is this: is that sometimes you just have to. Whoever is going to sit on that case, uh, the judge, I just hope you will temper. Uh, justice with mercy, or as I always say, it's temporal justice with mercy, or mercy with justice, or as I say, it. just look into the case. Uh, what really, like you said, what man uh, is the intent? Uh, what was the intent? Was it to cure hunger? Were you hungry? I mean, how long, how, how many how many days uh, have you left? Well, what was the last time you ate? Did you eat that morning? Did you eat the day before? So, why, you, why do you have to go and steal? Because if you are eating, I mean, how much is in your bank account? Do, do you have money in your bank account? Do you have a job? These are the things that the, uh, the judge should look into. Just to look at the intent that was it hunger? Because we know hunger, hunger can do make anybody do anything. You know, uh, I'm not you, what, what do you think that would have uh, uh, made someone to go and take a photo? So it's hunger, it's hunger now. now. It's what, hunger. what else? Yeah, well, some people will say yeah, because you, uh, you know, because it's quite pertinent. Uh, so, sorry, that's not mine. Let me give you the list of items that I stole. It's stole fufu, it's stole noodles, it's stole salt, onions, and a pot of soup. So there is no clothes, there's no jewelries, there's no wristwatch, there's no money. So it, it, it's all food items. So that's to tell you that it's, it's a crime of hunger. Obviously, obviously, yeah, obviously. But the, my, my point is that. Uh, yeah, you know, see... uh, sorry, 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 please, sorry, please. Uh, what man? I think your readers is a little bit. I, I don't know whether it's, uh, by your understanding. If the guy went to somebody's store, yes, he's selling. And he stole those items. There will be no clothes and jewelry in that store. And if they say he stole items worth three hundred thousand, I think we should interrogate how many cartons of Indonesia in the uh, was that Indonesia? No, not Indonesia. The one you mentioned now, the oh my God, the noodles. Indonesia, <laughs> the noodles. How many cartons? Did he steal what he wanted to eat? Because he was hungry, or he stole because he wanted to steal to go and sell. So, if actually the value of what he stole is 300,000, definitely it is not because he was hungry. I do not go that around because stealing is stealing. I gave an example of 
some guys that were caught in the battle many years ago. At the end of the day, everything in the wallet of the person they stole in the back, they robbed, was less than 50 naira back in the day. But the question was this was it arm robbery? And the prosecution was able to prove that yes, it was arm robbery, irrespective of the value of what they saw. If they had seen such a thing, they would have stolen it. But the fact that they were unlucky that the person did not have up to 50 naira, I'm saying 50 naira value back then. I remember, I can, I'm, I'm beginning to remember the names of the, uh, of the robbery suspect there. Because what the prosecution was asking for was a terrible uh, 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 Bishop, your, your example doesn't fit this particular thing. Uh, this was an, uh, uh, this was, uh, well, this was an incident of house breaking and stealing. No, 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 Hold on. It is, it's an incident of house breaking and stealing. So that is no, to tell you that, I, I, so that, that's to tell you that it wasn't stealing in commercial quantity. It's certainly no. not a parallel with armed robbery or anything no, like no, that. No, 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 you are missing it. That is, that is, one one man, can I say, one one man, can I say, hold on, can I let you finish, can I let you finish my talk? Can I let you finish? Yeah, either you are deliberately being mischievous about what I said by using that analogy, or you don't have a clear uh, understanding of it. What I said was simple that look, there was a time that people were arrested for a crime, and the crime was established, and it is not because of the value of what is told. It, did you say the guy was armed robbery? Did you say armed robbery? No, I'm using that one as an example. And yeah. I don't understand. I'm using it as an example that the man that went to steal, if he wanted to go and steal, he did not know the value of what he was going to see there. The important thing the prosecution will be establishing, he went there with the intention to steal. What is the penalty for stealing, for breaking in and stealing? Whether when you get in, you only saw one abado. Or you saw one uh, bottle of soap, but you have broken it into somebody. That is the law. When we address the law, apart from the sentiment and the emotion, oh, the man was hungry. Okay, he's stealing, breaking into another person's house. The only option for you to eat, have you begged the person to give you food? Have you tried to go and ask for manual labor and what have you? I am not judging, I am not saying it's guilty or not guilty. I'm saying. When we look at this nationality from the point of law, not whether hey, the country is hard, somebody is hungry, and you have to go and see. Stealing is not a solution to when you are hungry. It's not. Taking, uh, going to ask for better labor or whatever, and it's, 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 I mean, stealing is not a solution. That, why did you go and see? Uh, I, I stole because I'm hungry. But you don't even see what you can eat. You sold as much as three hundred thousand. How can you defend that? That's what I'm saying. It's not that I was no, 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 no. Uh, uh, that that uh, some. Uh, it, it sounds like an embellishment because uh, <clears throat> there, there are there are several clues in this. It's a house breaking, so it, it wasn't. Uh, it, it's quite pertinent to know that it's a house breaking. So it wasn't breaking into a shop. It wasn't breaking into a restaurant. It broke into somebody's house. And the items are food items. So if, if it's a house breaking, then you can deduce from that that the noodles will not be countless boxes. It's told Maggie, this is the list of the things it's told. It's told some noodles, Maggie seasoning, salt, onion, fufu, and a pot of soup. So that that, that just tells you, it just screams hunger. That, that That's just, uh, that, that's just that, at least that's how I say it. Oh man, there is nothing you will tell me. This now hunger is this is just hungry. Hunger just led this person into this. And uh that is I don't even know why the court what did the court have to say about this this issue now? They, they, they've adjourned yeah. it, but but they've adjourned it, but I think they, they, they should they should just pull his ears and tell him not to do it again. I can't that's say what they have to know now. Yeah. You know, you know, most of the time, that's why I said the system is designed to oppress the poor. Because if you consider what our politicians, our or ministers that, do... That to come to the rescue of this guy, yo. This situation... Uh, is that now, eh? Yeah, is that uh, 
I mean, Robert, all around, around and doing busy. <laughs> you want you want a man you want a man that's still you a photo of you. And the eh? And eh, you want you, I, I don't want to help. To my doctor, to the family, I don't want to help. But to my doctor, lol, I don't want to. To have a book, guru, I don't want to. Eh, I don't. You want you want a man that stole a pot of soup to be killed, to be destroyed, for the law to work on him, to get all to all the judgment in this world to be laid on him. But a man that stole billion, you just like uh, Bethel do today. Who is who is talking about him again? He has got he has gotten scot free now. Nobody is talking about her again. The one she has stolen, she has gone with it go in a very cool place enjoying herself the lord didn't work on her and uh, let me let me finish you you say you made your you made your point now let me let me make my own point let me let me, let me make my own point let me make my let me make my own point let, let me make my own point. You have make your own point. So people like Betedu is enjoying their stolen wealth in a one corner, one cool place. No law, nothing. We haven't had her. They say that uh, her case has been, has been adjourned or being taken to court. But uh, 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 Bishop, 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 Bishop. Oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold on, Bishop, 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 Bishop. Can you hear me? Uh, bishop, 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 can you? Bishop, 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 can you hear me? Bishop, sorry, bishop, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Bishop, bishop, all right, carry on, okay, then. So, sorry, bishop, I muted you. We were trying to communicate with you. But it looks as though your system was not uh, coming through. Uh, uh, can I land, land that point? So, so it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very, very, very bad in our system. The way we protect our politicians, but don't fight for the common man when it comes to this. Well, that's our choice. We like our oppressors so much, but hate our fellow citizens. This is, a, this is a, nobody should, nobody should just, nobody should just compare this. This is just hunger. How can someone just wake up in the morning and say he wants to go and thief, and all he has to go and thief is a pot of soup, a pot of uh, indomie, this and that, and, the, and all, all these things? What? And you take him to court. But they do is just few but, of but, them. But, but, but to be all fair, he has, he has to be taken to court, though, can he? Yeah, you, you can take him to court for like, yeah, but this one, you don't have to take him to court. All you have to do to this man is just to bring him, bring him ask him why then provide some some stuff for him or her if possible to, find you, him a you, real job to reward him abi reward, reward him for oh, stealing no, no, if you reward him it's not bad you have been rewarding your bad politicians i can, I can, I can, I can I, hold on we understand that uh, yeah uh, there's one guy in the land but the point is is that well, we should not reward um, bad bad actions uh, it's a bad action no it's not it's not uh, it's not rewarding it's not rewarding uh, rational mind but uh, uh you know when when it comes to the common man the way the law works on them is not when it's not uh, to, to compare to when it comes to maybe our politicians and all that you understand what i mean so if you have to if you have to apply the law do it diligently starting from the top to the bottom so that anybody that still you will not have any you will not have any comparison for that but in our system if i have to compare I should say that this man should go scot free. Then you first of all go and cash all these are political thieves and criminals. Then after you have done that, then you now come to to this man to apply the law on him or her. That's what I mean. So we should stop all this hypocrisy. That's my point. Uh -huh. really, when it comes to the common man, you read all the law, you bring all the section, this section, that section, all these things, and all those stuff. But when it comes to politicians, you 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 bring everything to defend them. I just told you who is hearing about Betedu again. She's she's one place enjoying her her cool stolen world under a few months. 
no court has adjourned, adjourned his her case. Nobody has taken her to court. It's just that uh, they just uh, they just sack her or suspended her. Nothing again. Well, let me just let me conclude so that other people can more. Oh, 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 oh. so, um, yeah. yeah, I agree with you on some levels uh, because um, you see the justice system in Nigeria is not fair to the common people. Um, it's like we've said it. Said you see we've said it on this platform and other platforms that. You see, Nigerian system is only, <clears throat> that's why they would never want to change it, change it for the best. Uh, they want to maintain this status quo because it's, um, it works to the advantage of some criminals um, who they take advantage of the, this loopholes in the system. Because when you clog a system, a judicial system like this, you know how many cases, woman, you know how many cases that has, I have, I have a friend who has um, a land issue since the 80s. Uh, they have one uh, property on um, on the Koyi Road there, and somebody overtook that uh, because you know. Let me not go into this. So anyway, do you know how long they've been dragging this case? After many many years, only for them to not to mind saying that there's one justice, uh, one judge in Lagos State. I think now they said they promoted him now to uh, the guy. He was he, he was himself part of the deal because that 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 uh, property should be going in the billions, a billion naira now. Then it was like a like a, a that, that was. Um, Way back in the when they did the um, the assessor property uh, around the uh, 2004, that property was worth over 200 million. Well, now it's over a billion naira. So, and this judge is a very popular judge in the legal state judicial system, uh, court system. And this this judge colluded with these people. So, what am I trying to say? Let me just leave it. But my, my point is this. When they overclock the system like this with so many judicial matters that they have not been resolved, how do you expect them to take in more cases? Go to our, there's some certain things like what I'm trying to say here is that this kind of things like this, they should just give them some minimal kind of uh, uh, punishment or uh, penalizing these people. Do community service, go sweep the streets. There's somebody monitoring the make sure you see that street. No, there's some petty, petty, petty things like this that we don't need to incarcerate people for. Just give them some minor things that make them realize that what they did was wrong. I mean, when you when you when you overclock the system, like some people don't have a business to be in prison or in jail, because that is taxpayers' money that you be using to feed them. So you let them do some minimal, minimal thing, go to a school, sweep the classroom of that school, do it for one week. That is your punishment. Or go and sweep the streets. I mean, these are things that you know, we need to sit down and read out our judicial system so that we can take in cases that are high profile cases, like the one I just gave you now, of a property that has been there for since the 80s, that they've been dragging that case. And these people could not move on with their lives because this, these people are just trying to, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a long thing I don't want to say. So, one man, for me, is that there's a, thing, a lot of things we need to work on in that country uh, because we're not going anywhere. So, quickly, one man, let me just go to um, uh, this issue of, uh, you see, recently I read a story that so many of them I want to talk about. Let me just talk about one, maybe later you shoot back to me. Is recently I saw in the news that Lagos State, you see, we're talking about people coming to call Lagos State and do business. Is it Uber or is it um, one of those uh, ride sharing app in Lagos? Because I think they said the, uh, um, uh, the same idiotic thing that the federal government did with the case of this business. What you should have done first in the first instance, you did not do it. You are outright asking them to share uh, data with you. Go to court, get court injunction rather than using this. Using this uh, why? Why? Why are they asking them to share data? Yeah. What's happened? I don't know. Maybe for some tax reasons, or they say they want to they want to know people that are on their app who are doing. I, I know it's obviously going to be for tax reasons. Maybe they want to tax those drivers. But you know what they were doing? They were not. <laughs> no, you see, Nigeria is a year, year place. They would not call, uh, like, is it uh, uh, LASMA, what do they call them? Um, uh, Lagos State Transport, whatever. They will not call Uber. <laughs> they will call them and ask them to come. That they want to, they, they want to, use, they want to use their service. And only for them to impound these drivers' cars. You don't say, go and tell Uber that we... we yes, now, if they are flouting the law, why not? No, no. You see, this is what I say. You don't get it. They did not do anything. They called them for their service, call. And they will impound those people's cars. These are people who are on their app, on the ride sharing app. For they, 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 they are contractors. They they do know that as Uber has, they are no, self employed. They are self employed. Yeah. You, you see, that's what I'm saying. You when you don't do things right, that's why you get this kind of banana republic kind of things. Go to court, 
get a court injunction if you people know you're going to write and let them release those data to you people. That's what they should have. They're just like the same flop that they did with this issue of this guy that was able to escape now. If you have asked, what they are doing now, they, they were asking them, the, 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 the malam that was in the NSA, that should have known what they well, I mean, I don't know if they have legal team, that should have advised them what to do. Get a court injunction, ask them to release the data. SEC here in America, they had issue with uh, Coinbase at some point. Even with Kraken, they have problem with Kraken. These are exchanges, crypto exchanges here. Has Kraken not fallen? No, I thought Kraken had fallen. Was in trouble. Oh, well, really. So the problem is, the problem, the problem is that these people, they, 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 they fought them. And that, they have to go and get a country injunction for them to release those data to them. That's what they should have done. Rather than asking them, oh, invite them come, and then you are, you are incarcerate them, and then look at what happened, and look at the international space we have. So the same thing is what they are doing in Lagos now. You will call Uber, or this guys will call them, and they will come, and then only for you to impart the attack. As these are contractors, they are only doing their business. Go after the main people that are making the billions of naira. That is Uber himself. And look at what I'm saying. That these people, they don't know what they are doing. They just want to be there for the sake of wanting to be there. I mean, you don't you, you, even though you want to tax people. There are ways you can go about it. If you are, know you are in the right with that, go and get a court in Russia. You have a law already in legal state for that. Get them to share whatever data you want them to share with you. Not by just impounding people's car and asking Uber to come and come and come and come and, come and, come and, come and release those uh, people's cars so that I release those data for them. I mean, you see, uh, you want people to, you want investors to come and come to Nigeria when you are disrupting their businesses. You see, I tell you, uh, one man, uh, I don't know if it's someone who or whether he has put them in that department to be hiding in that department and they're doing this crap. They need to go and sit down and get their, get themselves together. That is wrong. That's what I read in the paper a few a few days ago. So one man, just leave it at that. Maybe when we come back again, we will talk more on other things. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. That's the that's the mighty. Um, uh, is it, are we are you now our security correspondent that we reporting security matters to us? So that's our about to be security correspondent, Rashna Mind. So thank you, Rashna Mind. We're going from you to Prince Daddy, uh, who a lot of people have been waiting to hear from. Uh, so Prince, uh, good to have oh, you. Long, you want you to are Rashna Mind. You want to modrude? Morokuma buikuni. One man. Yes. The, well, um, Rajana Man is our River area correspondent. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's our northern <laughs> correspondent. Well, it could be our full correspondent, you know. Anything you know, we, we, we are so lucky to have Rajana Man. We can use him for anything. If you want him to be a Yoruba man, is a Yoruba man. And he has a he has a bit of Igbo blood in him as well. So he can be our Abakaliki yeah. man, eh? <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Um as we wait for um as we wait for um uh, uh um uh, um to to hear from prince daddy let's hear from ekene yeah let, let's hear from ekene ekene the floor is yours yeah one man thank you uh i, I think i've made my point in this uh, one this man that stole this uh, pot of soup and all those stuff so well you know when i say that uh it's, it's not easy in Nigeria, honestly speaking, but it's not that uh, stealing, is, stealing is stealing, but when you compare our situation and you know what is going on, the purchasing power of the people is very low. So maybe this man has a family, maybe he might be working or, or might not be working or might be a lazy man, but I don't think that it's not easy. A pent of price, 7,000 Naira, I don't know how many, how many, in fact, that's why I pity uh, Sarah Lee Nash in Nigeria today. And the federal government is not doing enough to improve their pay. And I'm, 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 I'll always be, I'll always speak on that until I get things done or I see things done in that in that regard. Because I know how these workers, the the diligent ones, the ones that are not crook among them, the way they suffer to survive in our situation today. So government still need to do something. The purchasing power of the people is very, very low. So that's uh, how I see it. It's not easy to survive on uh, on a minimum wage of uh, that something thousand naira. In our to, to be honest, I'm, I'm surprised more people are not stealing soups. In uh, 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 that, is it. that is it. So it's very difficult. But uh, let's be hoping. Let's be hoping. 
And the, the most aspect of it is that there is no, I'm not seeing any light towards them because the state governors are beginning to complain. You don't increase this, you don't increase that, because they, most of them say that they cannot pay. They have to consider their financial status because before you start to increase workers' wages and all. Man? But, but that's a lie, though, because they, they, they've all reported that their federal allocation has gone up about threefold. Even the, the Kano state governor was telling us that he cleared the backlog of pensions and is actually able to start new projects now just because he's getting more money. Oh, well, for the, let, let, I don't know. God, I just that uh, God will help Nigerians. This, our, our, our welfare should be the first thing in the mind of our elected officials. But it's the other way around. First of all, want to feed themselves. Even when you look at those projects, it's nothing to show. I just send you a clip of uh, the road that Soludo just built. That uh, just a, a day rain has just washed it away. Everybody uh, sent me that. Even um, uh, uh, Jewel sent it. Uh, uh, Uptown sent it. You, say, in fact, I knew, uh, as soon as uh, Uptown <laughs> sent it, I knew I knew the rest of you will send it. So, as well. it's just for you to know what we are talking about, Soludo. Uh -huh. It's just a day rain, no, not two days, and that the road just wash away just like that. Uh -huh. the pro our professor and uh, when you so, when you, so you, you it, happened, it happened on that ob2 now what is the big deal it, it never happened it, it never happened on the ob it, it, it never happened on the ob it never it never happened on the ob that the road that was built completed yeah. Never have any See, test, I, just a day rain, just wash it off. It never happened. I, I'm, no I'm not sure if I believe it, though. It could be some mischievous <laughs> obedience that is just there is something like mischievous. This is Ochanja. It's Ochanja. Nothing being mischievous here. Yeah. It happened last year also. The drainage he did also. I told you that this man is using molded blocks to do roads. You think I'm lying? <laughs> You think I'm uh, let, 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 let me show <laughs> the audience what let me show one the audience man. what you're talking about. One <laughs> one. <laughs> that looks like somewhere in the north that looks like somewhere in the north so i'm not sure is that, this is a typical otomar speaking Wama. Wama. this is a typical otomar speaking Wama. this is if, if you one man if you understand Igbo very well yeah well, and people that listen let me interject you a little bit let me yeah. interject you a little bit uh one man if you can hear me there's yeah, we nothing hear you, there's you. nothing soledo would do that will impress these people one two it is not new it's not today that most of the roads that the government in nigeria construct uh, they use bitumen and you know our road can't stand uh the bitumen they are using and other product uh, they are using cannot stand the rigor of the kind of erosion that we have in that part of the country so don't blame the government blame the contractor you see when uh the former governor of uh Ebony, what's his name Debo Mai, when it was insisting through the federal presidency that the contractors must use concrete, what did, well, what happened? They lobbied by they were they were they were yelling and trying to prove one uh, scientific theory about how bitumen is strong and all that. But it's been proven that concrete is the number one uh, uh, tool to fight erosion, especially the one they have in the southeast and the south south, especially by Yesa. So when you have a contractor that took the money, did uh, a shoddy job and pocket the money, I'm not absorbing the, the, the state government, but there's nothing that man would do that will impress these people because they are always too quick to amplify. What, 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 hold on, what about supervision? 
So, but I mean, see, the, you saw the way he was uh, lashing out publicly with his uh, commissioner the other day and we were condemning the way he was, you know, too ash. It can be everywhere. And that is why when you appoint, when you appoint a commissioner that is, you know, complacent and lazy, this is what will happen. And it's going to tarnish his reputation. In fact, Lagos State has been using concrete for a very long time. The entire VI was to use concrete. Of course, they know that if they keep using this bit of a thing, it won't take time before everything wash up. Could well, what do you mean it? interlocking block? Uh, well, uh, you know, what I see is just, uh, you know, concrete. I think there's a mixture of bitumen here and there, but it's not like when you have a situation like this where, you know, the rain will fall and wash away everything they've done. Uh, Adewale, Adewale, so, Adewale, it's, it's quite unfortunate that the, that the government will do road that never lasts for a year. And then we are is it not the same people? Is it not the same then, people? Uh, then we still hey, need hold on, hey, can I, hold on. Hey, can I, when 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 David Mai went to the southeast, right? And he addressed some of those contractors that were handling those uh, those road construction that you saw the way he was angry with that, even you know, threatening that they won't pay them because of this stupid job that they are doing. So some of these people you can call it supervision, but the governor can't be everywhere. Likewise, the president can't be If what let, is let told you. is true, it is very, very bad. If it is true, no excuses. I mean, that is... Baba, not Baba there is nothing like if it is true. I cannot come here and be talking against... Uh, I voted you know, for you. Like I to him. amplify some of this thing. The, no, you know, no, there is... Uh, uh, Adewale, there is nothing amplifying there. This is Ochanja market. And if you, if you, are, if you are from Onicha... Right. Let me let me let, me let me let me let me finish. Let me finish. If you are from on nature and you live in on nature and you understand this language very well, nobody will tell you that this is just a video coming from the people because they are angry that the road that they are about to enjoy just got poor just under a day rain. The contractor it's should quite, return the money. Honestly. It's quite pathetic. So there is no nobody is uh, nobody is uh, profiling against the uh, Soludo. This is this is what really happened in Ochanja market. You understand? And you come, you see, individuals did draw a lot of road in Anambra State. Even the one, uh, the one uh, this guy did, uh, uh, Obi Kubana, the one he did. But is still this standing. is it's, it's okay, almost, the one he, the one he did okay, is okay, almost two years now. Okay, is but, this a newly built road or rehabilitated? It's road? a new. Did you hear the the what they what they said there? What did completed, complete a newly completed load uh, road and commission by Soludo in Ochanja. If you know Ochanja, is not a hidden place. So you know, but if you want to provide him, you cannot use a place like Ochanja because Ochanja might be it's a place that if you want to do such, it's easy for the government to go there and verify it and say no, such thing didn't happen. And I, uh, Ochanja is not a place that you say that Soludo cannot supervise a project. It's a very popular place in, in our nature. So I'm not uh, profiling against him, but for it's just for, for people uh, saying that we are just against him because he supported Obi. No, it's not because of that. I told you, uh, well, uh, this man used... That's this man fact. used... Uh, well, let it be, but this man used, I told you that this man used molded blocks to do roundabout. You think I'm lying? You got mold block, you use it to do roundabout. It's just like that project he was, uh, he was showing that man that day, that he was trying to say, trying to hey, prove hey, Mr. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Even hey, that, project, I, I that project, that project didn't look ugly to you. I can, I can bet you, uh, the person handling that project is probably from that place, that area as well. I can bet you that. Let me tell you. Let me repair that project that he he, he was uh, shouting to that man. You are incompetent. You are this and that. Did that project look like a like a government project to you? It looks like a private. Even it looks like a private project. Very irritating. But it's just that I don't want to say anything that day. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Look at the gutter. Look at what he was just shouting to somebody. It, it, it looks as though it looks as though you you people are just scrambling around to look for something to, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people rate Soludo highly, 
And a lot of people also, I can I listen to this? So a lot of people also realize that uh, you campaign for, for Sududu. Don't think I forgot. You campaign for him. A lot of people also feel, a lot of, not even feel, a lot of people also know that it was because he's against OB. That's why there's so much hate coming his way. Well, he's he one of the it. best governors well, in Nigeria in well, this particular Well, he brought the line. Maybe one day he will become the president and do this road for you as a president. Let me know what you will say. Because he draw the line. He can even, no matter what Suludo says today, he cannot say that most of the road built by Obi are not still in use in Anambra State today. Even the one in his own town. Let him go. Even the, the gutters, very big ones, he's still using it. I'm going to join to his own state. Why is, why is he not doing that? Remember we have played clips of Obi Road on this platform before. So le, le, Whether you want to, a road that stands for maybe four or five years and you, you are playing the clip just because you are during the election. You understand? Most of the roads are virgin roads, like uh, the ones in, uh, in Anya Melo local government. There are virgin roads that he did, not that, that road has been there before. He just created it, built internal roads, created those roads, those roads the first road built in that environment when he became governor. And the one in his, why is he not doing his own town today? Is because Obi has finished everywhere. So I'm not saying it because I want to, I want to provide him, but he must admit the truth. If he doesn't want to admit it, that would be the downfall of his government. He must admit the truth. The road he's using today in his village was done by Obi. And it's still intact. Nothing happened to it. I, I, I still travel there last December. None of the area of that road has spoiled. Almost how many years now? He's still using it. And that was the last project he did in his administration. So uh, nobody's profiling him. He can continue to whatever he wants to do, let him do. Whatever you let him continue to speak English for us. We know when somebody's performing. We in Anambra State, we're not blind. We know who is ready to walk. He's just jumping around, uh, trying to embrace the, the federal and people like you are praising him. Then forget the work that he, is, he needs to do. Uh, he might be trying in some area because he cannot be a failure in every area. He might be trying in some area. I cannot say that he's a failure in every area. But we want to see that professionalism in him and compare him to a trader that governed that state. That's what we want to see because he's a professor and we oh, want oh, to compare oh. a professor to a trader that's what we want to do in another state for now so another thing i wanted to speak about is uh ganduje telling us that uh, southeast will not be marginalized again if we join apc it's a very pathetic one in fact that statement that, got that's me good, angry that's that. good news isn't it that's good news which good news that statement got me angry that I'm ready to fight. When I read it, I'm ready to fight Ganduje. Egene was right, though. Right for so he and knew. He also beat you. Do you not remember what Oshio Mole said? They said join APC and everything will be all right. He, he will kidnap his like bad guy, bad guy. So, so for me. For me, that guy just made one of the worst statements I've ever had in politics today. What can the APC offer Southeast? Is just they're using and you uh, if and your bar today. They are trying to take an Ambra state using if and your bar and all those stuff. What they cannot offer us anything. We in Anambra State, since the exception of Obi in Apoga is uh, is better for us. You understand? Even for me, for me, <laughs> for that reason, I will not want in, uh, any APC. I will want Soludo to continue to speak English for us. Maybe after the next four years, we'll find a better government than APC to take over an Ambra state. Because this is the worst party that I've seen in the history of Nigeria. But people are not seeing it. The worst party. The worst. Even PDP even though everybody knows that pdp fell but since apc this is the worst party i've ever witnessed as a nigerian people can defend them but uh it's just that uh people are too 
Nigerians don't easily forget. But if we are not if we are not people that easily forget, we should know where we are when a when PDP left power and where we are today. We should be able to compare that and know how far back APC has taken us. But we still have uh, some of their supporters because they are there. Give us an example of where PDP left you. Did they build you an airport? Did they build you uh, construct a new city? Which airport? Which airport are you talking about? No, I'm like, asking you where they left you. They've left you. You never know. You need to join. I'm, I'm talking They've about our. Guys let let me time. tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's just like uh, the only thing we are we are talking about our economy today is just stability. We are not talking about high how high things are in the market or how high dollar is in the market. But we are only speaking about stability for now, so that at least people will have a, uh, some some breath of fresh air not that the price of dollar is too good you understand so if you check we are the we are uh, apc apc took dollar since the administration till today dollars to is about 1004 something then you just minus 200 naira from it it's just a difference of 1200 and something naira for eight years and it never took a, it, it didn't take, a, take pdp that uh, long APDP didn't do it. They, in fact, how did they sustain it to 200 naira till that uh, in their 24? Uh, is it 16 years of leadership also? But it just took APC just four years, eight years. One, four, one, five. At a point, it was 2000. Now they are struggling to keep it okay. at the. Okay, now you know what? You know the reason why? You know the reason why you thought you had it good under PDP? You know the reason why? Why? The PDP kind of make you live a fake life. I say, you guys, uh, Nigerians are buoyant. That was the reason that's why. What you, that's you what, the, that's what you. That's what uh, you. That's that's the. That's what you guys use to defend yourself. But there is nothing of course. There is nothing like fake life. You understand? A country wanting the betterment and the uh, and the uh, things to be busy for his people. It's not. It's nothing. It's, there is no fake life in that. It's just like I told you during PDP time. Minimum wage was nineteen thousand, but with that nineteen thousand, you can get a bag of rice, indomie, uh, red oil, um, what what again, uh, granite oil, and all those stuff. You can just get it in one month and use it to refill your your stores. You can go to the bank, take a loan of uh, five hundred thousand naira, and do a good business with a good profit. You understand? So just tell me what a what can a loan of three million naira or four million naira get you to do in Nigeria today in terms of business? Not up to it's not even up to three thousand dollars. You cannot uh, buy anything. You cannot use it to restock. You understand? But I I know I know I know that during that PDP time with five hundred thousand naira you can restock, restock, do a good business, make a good profit. You, you as a civil servant, you can go to the bank, take a loan of a one million naira, start a project, and repay it with your salaries. Oh, oh, Today, oh, 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 if, you, if you go to, if you go to, one man, let me finish because you yeah, don't like. Uh, I know you want Prince Daddy to come, but let me finish. This no, no, no. Right. I wanted to take you to another topic. Look, uh, I, maybe I would not like to even go to another topic because this is the why I come. This this few topic maybe if I have another another thing maybe but this few topic I want to exhaust my time on it. Hey, go on. So, so uh, it's very pathetic that we do we forget so much because of politics. Just like that guy that came yesterday, I was just listening to that guy. I know he's. Uh, I just saw his. I couldn't wait too long. I just left. left you you didn't you, you didn't hit him hard enough. No, I was a bit. You were too polite. The panel was too polite with him. Uh, yeah. We can't be too easy with politicians, so they are they, because we don't get them often. So when they come, we have to really go. I don't know, have uh, to. I don't have. I don't. I just wanted not to sound uh, a little bit uh, so that you will not say that I'm a bigot or this. But I just decided to to be polite on him. I just because everything he was just saying doesn't make us making make, make any sense to me. Just like uh, when he was talking about the economy, uh, bringing Chinese to or other countries to come and build factory in our country, that we have a lot of people, a lot of uh, 
a lot of investors in our own country that we have not established then we are talking about bringing uh, foreign investors to come and build maybe food factory and uh, consume and import more and all those stuff the guy is just that's a typical politician for you typical apc politician for you and many people will applaud him i saw many people applaud him yesterday <laughs> i was just laughing oh man i sent you a video a, a video of a um, newly launched truck of innocent newly launched it, it, i think it's last week i sent you that video newly launched truck a very heavy one but when you see them speak against like nigeria don't have anything it's part of that marginalization if i must say the truth yeah but Gan because, Gan Gan Ganduke wants to solve it now and you say no Ganduke cannot, if you if joining apc is the reason why they will start to recognize innocent or not or that made nigerian products then that apc don't is they don't have any future for nigeria when it comes to if when it comes to governance there is nothing like party you have to have the interest of the you people are, whether you are, you are wrong you are wrong Ekene. completely let wrong. me finish that is where, yeah i'm wrong i might be wrong it's just like uh, my governor soludo saying that the reason why he's not doing some some road in anambra says because those roads are in the area of, of his opposition that's a professor a professor that has education but doesn't have any sympathy that's what we have in nigeria people that are educated without sympathy did he say that or only the, the the headline he said it now even when he was when a uh, labor party was campaigning when um labor party was campaigning for b he said that uh, in a video clip he said that uh, if you vote for labor party oh, you just come there if they win when you come to the house, you just take your salary and go. Nothing for you. He said it. A professor without sympathy. So that's why we, that's why when I when I speak against that guy, eh, people think it's because I hate him. Because I never expected those words from somebody internationally educated, locally educated, and all those stuff. He behaved, he behaved like a woman. Okay, my brother. You know why Soludo is making those speeches? Because he understood Nigerian politics. He has been in the public governance before. So he understand the intricacies of politics and he knows what goes in. So that is the reason why he's trying to, you know, open eye. You know the south east he's Canada. trying to bully the obedient that were bullying him that time no 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 it's no, not about bullying the obedient he's trying to tell them what is obtainable at the center it's not just about regional issue if you want to partake at the center you have to have some level of you know cohesion and collaboration instead of all these you know factorings uh, you have the obedient you have the app guy you have well, and you understood the, uh... all these things that's a kind of politics no, uh, that's a kind of politics them the truth yeah, but you know it, it, that's not the truth, the truth. Level. I'm, I'm not he, surprised he i'm not surprised before the i'm election, not surprised that you are supporting his idea that, hold on hold on Rikine. he told them before the election that they were chasing shadows that is high time they understand what this game is all about the time to come to their senses uh, but you know it seems at that time you know his mouth was smelling nobody wants to hear him out but at the end of the day what happens the person that they were kind of ended up losing the election so of course he became uh personal grata at the southeast and especially to people like you Kini. but the guy know i mean he was once a governor now a, a minister uh, a governor now uh, uh governor of central bank now governor of a state so he knows what goes in when it comes to the central even like i can bet you as you are doing himself the president is learning the rope because if you had never been a big player at the center you won't understand especially when you are a regional champion but you are the the center, are saying what uh, uh, is not playing center center politics because it belongs to Africa doesn't and that no. video was there he was bullying the obedient that were in one area that uh you know i think they were constituting some kind of threat to his uh, uh political no opinion. no he area. knew that they were hallucinating no 
Rabanari Kokono, he knew that that movement was more or less like annihilating the entire region. And it's, he was trying to sing it to them so that they will understand that, look, if you continue to do this, nobody will hear you out when they matter most. It's not about bullying obedience. Of course, they came for him. He knew what he was doing. It wasn't presidential election now. Huh? It was a local election, state assembly election. It was a state assembly election when he went to bully some people in the area. The video was out. You know, what, the reason is the reason is a lot of his candidates lost out, in, especially in the in the National Assembly. Just like uh, it will be took a lot oh, of them. Of course, like, course uh, it be, it be but like, they uh, have the majority now. I've got like Tony Warrior. Like Tony Warrior. You know, nationally, nationally, you know. That guy, that guy, that guy is salute though. It's not. Uh, I sometimes I begin to reason his character. Just like this guy, this man, um, Vic Tumbe. Vic Tumbe was the one that ran his election. Very, very. I I wish you watch an number election. Uh, um, um, uh, the election that bring in a uh, Soludo, and you watch the you see the collection center. At a point, Vic Tumbe was arrested for trying to traverse uh, Ihala to go and see what is happening there. He was arrested for hours and later was released so he still do because we uh, need to me told him see i'm old i cannot do this thing again beside i'm i don't have anything to gain anymore and then uh, uh soludo uh, promised him that he's going to give him that uh senatorial position ticket during the presidential and he's going to support him to win that senate because they have been in senate before but just because of a uh, few happenings they they took him away and he couldn't last for four years. So he still wants to go to that Senate. So he promised him that he's going to give him that ticket and support him, that he should do this for him to win the governor of Anambra State. Victor May said, okay. Victor May run around the whole Anambra State, supported him. I saw him in the in the collection center fighting, making sure that his result was not tampered with. At the end of the day, he won that election. Then now it comes to the National Assembly election before during that 2023 election this guy denied victor may ticket he denied victor may ticket victor may was begging him you said i'm you are going to give me this ticket this guy went at the back supported supporting eo you know who is you that woman um from pdp um we used to call her eo that woman, because you know, this guy is a PDP guy. He was because of um article, he she he was supporting Iom from PDP. Then gave uh you gave that ticket to Apoga ticket to one one guy that is not uh is not popular from that state. Then wanted to deny it to me. Then Obi now went and tell Dume, enter labor, just take the ticket. Uh, Ume took the ticket in Labour Party, run and won in Labour Party, defeated Iyom, defeated Apoga. And that is why Victor made today. And Tony Nwoye, there was a time uh, the work of Soludo was to be going about Anambra State, speaking evil of Obi, speaking evil of Obi. There was an event held in Abuja by Ibo Bilonias. Uh, uh, Obi was supposed to be in that event, but he didn't come because of a lot of karata, but uh, a back and all those stuff. This guy called Tony Nwoye came up on stage and tell and told Soludo, tell your guys to stop speaking evil of Obi. That if not for Obi today, when I joined you guys, when I was when I was with you guys, I didn't I I I I dream for this position. I wanted to be a senator. I couldn't get it. But just a touch of Obi, once I became a senator on the Labour Party. Tony Nwoye, he told Soludo this straight and direct in a live event. Tell your guys to stop picking a full of evil of Obi. That's that yeah, event. Yeah, but he's obedient now. So what else would they no, say? No, nothing like being an that, that event was held in Abuja, and they, everywhere people started hailing Tony Moye. Yeah, so because he's an obedient. Yeah, he's an obedient. He became ashamed of himself in that event. Yeah, well, of course he wasn't ashamed. What, what do you mean? He wasn't ashamed now. Well, and obedient he might not be ashamed speaking. because uh, he's your guy. But I'm just trying to tell you the kind of a kind of educated illiterate parading themselves as a professor in Nigeria. 
I didn't expect it from Sulu. You, you know, you, 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 you know that guy. Uh, so, so, uh, because he don't back Obi. You know that ah, Sulu is. Uh, uh, That's why he you know that he's one of the biggest. He, he even if you don't, even, even if one you, of the even best if we have in the country, even if you don't back Obi, even if you don't back Obi, there is a way you do it. Not just coming to the public and be saying not, nobody said you shouldn't back. I, nobody, nobody even expected him to back Obi. You understand? So he did but a lot people of can evil. Pay, people can play their own policy. We are not supposed to. to be the, when when people can paint for him, when people can paint for him, when people can paint for him, we can paint for him because we love him, not because yeah, because yeah, of yeah, him. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 so, uh, we we never, we never, we never expected. Uh, we never, we never have will be in mind because we believe that Obi has finished his tenure, gone home. So we need another credible candidate, and we find we find that it is, that he is capable to do the job. And we we Anambra said the rally that around him gave him that mandate. You understand? So it's not because he campaigned to be against Obi. Even if you want to campaign against Obi, yes, you have the right. No, not trying to say that. Not trying to say. Can you hear me? Let me ask you a yeah. question. Do, do you think uh, Soludo is anti ego? <clears throat> I cannot say that he's anti ego, but. I cannot say he's anti Igbo because he's a he somehow fight for Nandi Kano and the the things that consign uh, Biafra and although he still speak uh, speak on that, but he's he has he harbors hatred. Yeah, do that's what I found he's, about. Do you think he's do you think he's jealous of Obi? I think I think so. Why he harbors hatred? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, that is because, of, because, of, because on, on paper he's a better spec specification than Obi. Yeah, paper. he might be on yeah, he might be on paper, but in terms of performance, everybody in Anambra said he's knows better than Obi be in thousand times. Thousand well, you times. can say that you can say that even even if you go to before it's now people are beginning to see because when he was people are now saying telling him you are a CBN governor. For years and all that, what did you do for your? For oh, your one of the we best don't... CBN governors. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You 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 have you be a, you he was a CBN governor for years in Nigeria. A he great CBN governor. A great. Let governor. me finish. Whether great, yeah, nobody had. We we voted him because of that. We cannot deny it. Yes, a great one. He he did wonders as a CBN governor. But now people are beginning to bring out his profile. Man, we are. It's it's like this Soludo blind blindfolded also. Because as a former CBN governor, we couldn't point out to any school or any personal development you bring in your state as a former CBN governor. At least you didn't you didn't build any school for us. Hey, can you hold on one second? I said, let me finish. Was, Wale. Ah, Wale, let me finish. No, let I'm me just finish. Let me correct finish. something. Hey, I, 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 let, 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 let him finish so it doesn't lose its flow. So as a former CBN governor, we expected him at least a school. A town hall different. You understand? So at least there are some projects he would have given to us as a former CBN governor, but he was just there for eight years, enjoying himself, build his house, make his family, and we made him a governor. We are now people started bringing out his profile. You didn't do anything for us. You have been in federal before, but we just loved you. We voted you in our in our state. You you enjoyed our free education. The community join hand trained you to take you, took you to abroad. You work for Nigeria. What have we benefited? You said you want to pay us back by being our governor. Now we have given you that position. I pay us back by being our governor up until today. Up until today, see the road, even the road you gave to us. See it under a few days. The, but the Bianca Juku and uh, uh, Bianca Juku was applauding him just the other day. Bianca Juku spoke about your book. I told you yes. Even that Oboko Hospital does it look does it look modern to you? I know I know materials. That Oboko Hospital and that road does it look material? Is it the kind of project you did in Lagos? Why can't we tell ourselves the truth? Look at the roofing sheet. It's what an Okada man can afford. Look at the roofing sheet. When they use metro ties to do roofing, roofing of a government project, 
Look at the cement. Look at everything. Look at the way the colors on the color of his project. Don't you see it? It does. Is that how Taiwan do their project? Taiwan, Dubai, that he promised us. <laughs> so look the solution, right? <laughs> yeah. You come to Lagos. You you come to Lagos. You see you see buildings done by done by go, go, uh, government. You see their roads. You see their. I I I visited my two the other day. I saw the. I saw the train station. That was the first time I went there for an inspection. Even though I didn't video it, but I was just standing there. I saw the train. The thing was just standing under under the bridge. Very beautiful. It was standing there waiting for for time for passengers to move. You see all those stuff. Very solid. Very good project. You see it, then you you see Soludo, the hospital he built for Boko. You see the the cement. You, you don't have the budget now. You don't have the gas budget now. <laughs> he doesn't, okay, now you are giving her you are giving him an excuse that he doesn't have to, uh, Lagos budget. I beg your mind. Let, let us not be let us not be hypocritical because uh, somebody supported. I, 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 I cannot ask uh, can anyone question. Ah, you've woke, you've woken up at uh, Ola. We we wonder uh, where you were. Uh, <laughs> I was not sleeping. You know, if you see where I go, if you see the type of noise when I go wrong. You know, you will go see the kind of fan and some kind of uh, server noise you go run. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the thing is this, uh, Akene, do you yeah. believe that uh, you said you didn't benefit from a, uh, from a Soludo as the CBN governor? Is that what you said? I didn't say so. I said he did well as a CBN governor. And that's what you said. Didn't build anything. You said he didn't build anything in there. Uh, no, you, we, I said he didn't. He didn't bring any single project as a CBN governor. At least we expected him as a somebody because he, everything he achieved in the state was was free, free education, free abroad, everything free, free. Then he became a CBN governor. We expected him at least one school, one school or not two even, in his community. Even. Not even, Not even Boho. See, 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 guys, this, this is, this, this what, is where we what, are missing it. What do you expect him to do? Then, when, when he, 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 then he now tell us, he now tell us, uh, or let, let me finish. He now, he now, he now told us, he now told us that he's going to, he's going to reward us. Oh, 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 all right. Can I start can, to bring it on? Also can I interject before you start rounding it up? Sorry, no, but let me just pull, can I hear me out? If yeah. the economy of the country improved, and it affected everybody under Soludo. Southeasterners, they were among Nigerians, and they benefited from his policies. Whether in time or way, after the expansion, the assets you had to borrowing to expand your businesses. Your businesses are uh, to really was not like that before the banking recapitalized in Nigeria. I know that one for a fact. And who were those people dominating? Uh, Orile Igbo people. Who were those dominating the Alaba Igbo people? Come on. See, one thing is for you not to like someone politically, and another thing is for you to try to take his achievement away from him. If you don't know, it's another thing entirely. Uh, all right. Right. All right. All right. This argument you are making Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Can I take, take Dewali's interjection as well and then round yeah. it up in a short summary. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much because i always uh, anytime i try to interject i get caution anyway Ekene, let's correct something okay the position he was occupying as cbn governor was a, a political position that means no affinity to politics he was employed or he was uh, appointed based on merit and his qualification and I don't expect him to use that office or that position to lobby for any project. If um, loyalty was to the country, not to the southeastern. Well, Lamido Lami is in there now. They would, Lami do Sorry? Lamido did not. Sorry? Lamido, Lami did, did not use his office to uh, get a project for his, uh, one of his customers. Forget that guy. See, no, we're talking about. see, this is the where we have the bastardization of, you know, of public office, and it always leads to mistrust among, I mean, between the uh, the subject and the person occupying that position. What you have is that that position as a CBN governor, what you do, you are doing it for Nigeria and Nigerian state only. 
and you should not even participate or be seen in any corridor of government lobbying for anything. Yes, of course, you have friends before you get appointed to that position. But to have expected a CBN governor to use his position or his connection or his affinity to lobby or to get a project to where he comes from is a betrayer to the office that he's occupying. So even if it is one cobble being donated while he was in that position as a CBN governor, we should all condemn that. But when you have a mindset when you have a mindset like you, Ikene, that you expect him to use that office, what do you think usually Result to when you have people having this kind of mindset, it usually results into corruption because what else will he do if he does not corrupt or compromise that position that is occupying? So, if today, oh. tomorrow, if tomorrow, Ekene, you are appointed as a CBN governor, I don't expect you to use that position, that office, to curry favor from where you come from. No. So, what he is now doing now what, what man? is, uh, is to sad. Oh, hold on now. Okay. You, you may, you may, you may, you may be... do have certain uh, leverage that they have to. There's no have leverage. To... It's a do. political do. position. No, no. no. They See, do. Okay. It, 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 no. Right. okay. No, I, I think I want, I'm going to open on that. Political wise, no. It should not even be. No, it should, they it should do. be it's, seen. It's, it's it's not really a constituent thing, but then they have certain. You leverage. should not even have anything to do no, with no, politics. You should they not do. even have yeah, a say. No, you see, when, look, when it comes well, to um, citing I, 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 I want to, I want to, I know I have understand what you are saying, but for me, Soludo built his house when he was a CBN governor, a powerful mansion, and he's living in it. Uh, he so wasn't was the to, proper. He was, let he me, was let me proper. finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. If he's able to do that, then he can still give us at least two blocks. Why are you thinking like this? Why are you having this kind of mindset? Because okay, he, he didn't, he didn't do that. He, that didn't, he, he didn't do that. Okay, he didn't do that. Okay, maybe it's because he's a uh, public. He's having he the public. He wasn't a poor man okay. when he was a Okay, he, he said, he a, said he, a, a okay, okay, he said he was going to. He's going to do it if we if he becomes our governor. He's going to use his position to do things for us. Now you see the road he's doing for us. So that is what All I right. want to say. So, but uh, right. for me, one man. Ganduje should not make such statement again. We are not, we Igbos, even if you want to, thank God he, he admitted that Igbos are marginalized. So until we join APC, we are no longer, we are no longer going to be marginalized. The only, the only log that Soludo has is that he has, in Anambra State, we have individual mindset that do things for ourselves. We hardly look at our governors. We hardly, just like in my village, no December, we don't contribute money to do our roads. Every December, at least, to buy latras and all those stuff, to fuel anywhere that the erosion would have spoiled, to be able to drive our vehicles in the village during December period. We do it every December. So we don't we don't wait for Soludo to come and do it for us. And so, just like when Remy was talking about the road he commissioned in December, all the roads Soludo commissioned in December, we are individual projects done by individuals called him to come and commission it. Did you see him own those, those projects? He only telling us that in the uh, Anambra individual should be doing like that, building roads for the state and all those stuff. Then he will be pocketing them, the Anambra money in his own pocket and telling individuals to be doing roads for us. You understand? The best, one of the best hospital we have in Amish to do, just, I wish, just bring that picture of uh, uh, that hospital that was built in Amish by Yonsha Gro and compare it to the one that it was built in Oboko. The hospital built by individual bring the picture and compare it to the one built by a government soludo you see the quality compare the quality compare the quality you come here you 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 you, you talk as if i'm not from an amber state individual you shall grow in amish bring his bring his hospital the one his commission is about last year by soludo then the one that he, he soludo the picture that was showed in Oboko. you see the quality I think he's just a nickname. I don't know that the name is just uh, just like as it, as it is. Well, what is Mwambafo, by the way, before I go to... Mwambafo is like uh, market women that goes about. And uh, if you see those market women that uh, that uh, go to the marketplace, they gossip so much. They talk about... Uh, yeah. Those gossipers in the market, that's what uh, they uh, oh, okay. 
So oh, oh. I don't know that's oh. the name is really following him. He's a Chinese. No, oh, really right. is, that, is that the name you have given him? <laughs> that's the name you have given him in another. That is his name now. He used to call his name. He used to call himself Charlie Mbwa for that. I mean, that guy just irritates me. He was the person that brought this battle. And we are going to fight it to the end until he surpasses will be achievement. I'm not going to leave him alone. Thank you. Uh, all right, brilliant. So that's a majestic. Uh, can I... So up next is uh, Prince Daddy. But uh, before I go into Prince Daddy, Prince Daddy, just for two, three minutes, I, I want to hear the voice of uh, Fola, who I think is joining us for the first time. So uh, Fola, on mute, uh, introduce yourself to the platform. Fola. Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. Is this yes. your first time here? This is actually my first time. And um, actually, I said, let me try and see if I can meet up, if I can stand you guys. Like, <laughs> is, it bearable? is it bearable so far? <laughs> we, have to, we, have to, we have to make excuses for rational <laughs> mind, but you know, every, every family has I'm one. Trying. So, so, you know, the the is. I don't yeah. have issues with the irony of it is I don't have issues with rational mind. Like I'm cool with him. Like, like <laughs> I can mix it with him. That it's not a problem. And I don't have any issue with any any one of the panelists. I think um I'm good with everyone. Like I love your contributions. I love the maturity being displayed on the platform, and um, I love the controversies as well. Some bad boss once in a while too. It goes well. And it's it's great, it's great, it's really who, great. Who, who, and, uh, whose voice whose voice do you especially look forward to hearing when you say, Oh, he's on the platform? Yes, I I I wait to the hear truth is, the truth is is um, are you one of these culata people? Couple 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 of um couple of them do. Uh, let me say to to be candid, um Ajanle Coco is usually like it just comes in mind, then I like how he's on. Like I, I like I even then um uh, Kulata Kulata just strike me like one of like it sounds very well it's, it's, one of my cousins. It's like a robot, isn't it? Kulata. <laughs> it I, sounds I, like I one of my cousins. So like... <laughs> see if it's a human being. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like one of my cousins. So like that kind of adds me to him. And then I love the fact that he can make a youth on a twist for speed degrees within a twinkle of an eye. Like you know, like um, it doesn't have to be rigid. Like because I'm supporting this, I have to remain in this position. I love the flexibility of Kulata, the way it goes around. Like he can change 360 degrees when, and sometimes he calls a speed a speed. You know what I mean? And um, funny well, enough, I, I like Kulata. Like uh, you like uh, you, you like Zeta? Yeah, I love um, I love her bluntness, and um, I love the fact that she has a spirit of her own. And she sounds like one of my very good friends. Like so, <laughs> so like that's why like it's kind of cut across. Then I love Ekenes, um, Ekenes views and everything. I love I love his diplomacy. Then I love the wrinkle and rackle of um, um, Joel of Nashville. Then my fellow Ekiti people, um, Adewale, which is justification. There's always a justification for everything. <laughs> There's always a justification for is everything. That, is, that your, is that your son wanting to contribute? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, that's how old is he? Right? He's going to be two. Oh, good. In some couple of you, months, you, right? <laughs> you've, gone past, you've gone past the burping. I know. I've gone past, I've gone past yeah. that. And we're out of the matches and everything. I'm in Canada anyways. And, oh, oh, um, right. yes. And I know Emeka is in Toronto. Ivan is in Mississauga. I work in Mississauga. So like um so like it kind of feels at home like with you guys, like and um in terms of political leaning, I'm obedient. Just to put that out there. <laughs> that, 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 that's that, that's fine. I, I think I think there is I think there is medication from that. Just go to your GP, tell him you're an obedient. I'm sure he'll give you the right injections. Uh the, the truth is like <laughs> I'm obedient, but I'm um 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 can't like how will I put it now? Like I'm open to everyone's view. The only thing if I can't be boxed into a corner, like when it comes to APC, it's a no no for me. Like I can't 
the truth is, even well, if what, what do you think of Tinobu? What do you think of Tinobu? Um, for Tinobu as a person, I don't like him, but I'm sure you've heard of the word transfer of aggression, right? That's what Tinobu is suffering from. Is a carryover I mean? from Buari, a carryover from Buari, Abi. A carryover from APC as a party. I don't want to isolate Buari. APC as a party. It feels like they just divided, like there's this part of Nigeria that was bombarded into that party. And it looks like when you get to APC, you get me. And you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's something that comes with it, like getting into APC. You have to be a special bridge to be an APC, to be an APC member. In term, especially for those that are already in power. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a different ballgame entirely. And the truth about it is this, like, for me, an APC, the reason it's a no-no for me, it's, it goes, um, it goes very emotional for me. I live in Abuja, right? And I relocated in 20, I relocated to Canada in 2016 after my wedding. But the truth about it is, be um, before I left, I was, um, I was very aware of, um, Buari's campaign and everything. I didn't support him then and everything, but, um, <laughs> my cousins and stuff, they kind of participated in the... <laughs> sorry. The, 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 yeah, I no, that's fine. Right. No, we okay, can hear sorry. you. If, if you that's need a moment... Yeah, go, go on. No, no we, we, yeah. we love it. So, like, we love the sound my of cousin, babies here. Yeah. <laughs> my cousin and everything kind of... um, I don't want to call some names. Like, they were part of the people who campaigned for Buari then. Because I used to show to Abuja and... um. And Lagos then. Although I was working in Abuja, I grew up in Abuja, primary school, secondary school, everything, before I traveled to the UK to further then and all. But um 2020, to be precise, my dad was kidnapped. I can never forget. He was in the bush for six good days. He was um he left from Abuja to um he was traveling to the west. I can't remember where precisely. And then along AKT address got kidnapped for six good days i couldn't eat i couldn't do anything i used to sit on the toilet seat i just sit there and pray and i was even pregnant so like the trauma and everything it's so so devastating that alone i can never when i mean never support any even if apc produces jesus christ of Nazareth, i can never support even if other parties are producing ants and cockroaches. I'd rather go for that than to go to the Jesus that APC will produce. Because the negligence was very crazy. Even though the then chief of army staff was my dad's very good friend. But trust me, I knew how much we parted away in terms of, um, what do they call it? Um, ransom that was paid. And even apart from that, the driver was killed on the spot. Five good bullets pierced into him. And his responsibility is not that of my family today. And he has kids as well. So you know what I'm talking about. So the trauma and everything. My dad just left um, Canada some two weeks ago. But he hasn't recovered from the, 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 the booting and the punching he, he got from um, the, this um, Fulani headsman. Because I, I still have the recording. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. Can you just keep quiet, please? Sorry. Yeah, but don't tell him to keep quiet. Now he wants to be part of the conversation. I, I think it's actually making more sense than you, and you are making excellent sense. Yes, I, know the I was, I was supposed Go to on. excuse myself. I was supposed to excuse myself, but unfortunately, I stayed in the room where he was, and then he woke up. That's it. Sorry about the discover. Oh, 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 so right. do, do, yeah. do, do you need a, do you need a moment to settle in, or are you alright? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. So that I don't um interrupt other people. Sorry oh, about right. the discover. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, no, all no, right, yeah, thank we, you. We've all been there. Oh, all right, no stay problem. with us. Uh, no all right, all right. Thank good you. to hear from you. So, 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 so that's for uh, uh, yet another gem discovered by the platform. So, uh, one of the biggest gems, though, uh, Prince Daddy. Hopefully, it's ready. Hey, Prince. Yeah. Hello, one man. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, uh, Alpha. I did. I think. Ah, you still know the response to Alpha. I thought you were too. I thought we'd lost you to America for good, eh? 
Uh, uh, no, I, I, my first language is speaking English. I told you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Prince, 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 the Trump is coming. Oh, Trump is coming. Oh, I support you. Trump is coming. Where's Trump? Okay, where's there you go. <laughs> where's he coming to? I can. Uh, I can never do what I do. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. Just, do you want to just free flow, or do you want to be laid in? Let's see. Okay, hello everyone again. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I was gonna, you know, rational mind. You know, one man, rational mind keeps saying, uh, what did he say? Um, he was using this term earlier. Uh, can't remember. But anyways, you've not only um, kept rational mind on on the show. You never kicked him out. Uh, in addition to that, you gave him a show of his own. That's quite impressive, one man. Uh, notwithstanding that rational mind is a, is a long-winded talker and that can talk for hours and it loves the attention anytime the mic is on. So, um, yeah, rational mind uh, is the last Yeah, so all the ball point. is in there just to leave him to his own. You, imagine, so he would just, you, he doesn't even need a panel. He would just, he would just <laughs> talk for 24 hours. You see, you see, you see, you see, dude, 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 you see this Tinobu, nothing will ever come out of him. It's just a do 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 that's rational man. You know, I never did. He said um, at the beginning of the year that we should um, choose our favorite um, uh, panelist uh, on the show. I never got to do that. But, oh, right. But I was, right. I, you know, I've always had my, my answer to that. And, and, and that winner or that person is rational mind. I've never seen anyone that could command an, a command an attention and, and, and demand for the mic. As, as does rational mind. Um, many times I've been like on the show and out of the show, maybe in a meeting or whatever, I come back and rational mind still has the mic, still talking, still dominating. So it has to be, it has a knack for attention. It, it needs to be the sense of attraction. So, she me, see me I mean, you know, she's a lady, but I think that is. You no, no, rational mind is not, mean, is not, you is mean, not you mean, my panelist. You mean if uh, if rational mind was a babe, it would be high maintenance? <laughs> I think so. So rational mind, you're you're uh, my, uh, my favorite uh, panelist uh, on the show. I mean, I've never seen any person with that much skills to to be able to command attention. Uh, you, you, yeah, you, you're the man. But anyways, in uh, how anyway, can I'm he be? The, how can he be the man? How can how can? Who are you talking about, uh, Prince Daddy? How can rational mind be your guy? It, it's rational mind. I mean, it, nobody can beat him. If it, it's if it's on the show, it commands. It knows how to navigate. It knows how to draw their no. It's the, it, and rational mind is a propagandist. I can tell. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's listening to me now. Are you listening, rational mind? You're a propaganda. No, no, propaganda. No, propagandist. I'm all ears. I'm here. So I'm a propagandist. Yeah. Like the yeah, but, 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 he, he mentioned my name. I don't know why these uh, uh, state people will be mentioning a kitty man's name. I don't know why. After they've corrupted everyone. I hope you can hear me. Go ahead, Prince Daddy. Don't let me do Even if you are a uh, state man, too. So when I'm talking about it, the same people. There's, anyway, go ahead. I, now I can understand. Yeah. Um... But I was going to give Rashima like a couple of minutes to, to explain. If he knows the answer, I don't think he does, that uh, a CBN governor has the leeway. I, of course, I agree with that duality. It has the leeway to, um, to finance or, or support a project in any part of the country by its own volition. I, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure if it's in the, it's in, in the law, or I'm not sure where you're I, 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 I think you're I think you're wrong. Okay. There's there's a there's a part within the CBN which is what they call social responsibility, which is quite a big part. And uh, and um, um, Lamido Sanusi he used that quite liberally when when he was a uh, CBN governor. So so yes, they have that they have that part of our uh, social responsibility. And what yeah. does that entail, woman? What does that social responsibility entail? What do they well, do? It's, a, it's, it's an ambiguous term, isn't it? It's, it's essentially a, an opportunity for them to have their inflection on the well, on the on, on the wider country. Yeah, uh, if you talk about corporate social responsibility, I agree. Mm -hmm. But but you're telling me they have a purse in order to to establish a, a big project like I don't know, uh, building schools, hospital somewhere across the country on on their own behalf. I don't think so.
but that would yes, make they can they can do it under that portal, though, can they? Well, they can they can do it. No, the what are we oh, hold on, about? Oh, oh, hold on, let the prince. Yeah, maybe I dwell knows better, but I think they can do more for maybe uh, um, communication or trying to social responsibility. It, just like the term, the 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 phrase or the or the term um, um, clearly states social responsibility. It doesn't talk about. I mean, you, you can stretch it. You can stretch it. That's where you're going with it. But at the same time, I don't think it goes that far to to the point of of that. I can thinking that Saludo should be held responsible or accountable for doing something the Southeast. I, I don't think I don't think it goes that far. I'm not talking Southeast. I'm talking his community. I'm talking about his community. <laughs> it's, it's, it's community in, in Abiyakuta, aware? In Anambra now. <laughs> okay. Yes, he has a community. Now that he, 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 uh, people in that community are saying that uh, even as a CBN governor, he didn't do anything for us you didn't build school you didn't uh, mold any block for us okay. but uh, you, you told us that when you become governor you will do all these things for us and that is why we voted you so I, nobody's saying that nobody's saying that he will build the whole anambra state he just like one man said i cannot believe that as a cbn governor you don't have any anything given to you by the federal to just say use this for your for your well, it may to, it may be able to influence it may be able to influence and yeah you can you can also even influence self yeah now you are coming you can influence you can even uh, uh maybe use your senator or your even he's close to obasanjo then nobody is more closer to, to obasanjo him and okonji wala they are more yeah, closer that is fine. To it, uh, can I, if you said that i would agree with you but but to hold him like uh personally accountable for doing such projects i don't think so but anyways to the binance um uh deal going on or whatever sorry uh, Rush, uh, uh prince daddy you see yeah. why our action breed corruption when we expect people someone who by virtue of his position, not supposed to have anything to do with influencing. You see, they where our action breed corruption. I don't know if it is. Uh, I wouldn't want to use the word ignorance, but I think uh, misinformation, miseducated about certain, you know, uh, things. Maybe we'll be able to help some of the way we think, you know, because someone like CBN governor does not have, doesn't have that. Um, key way to uh, direct or influence the way um, project is being done in its own original constituency. I mean, I'm talking about where it comes from. Now, his loyalty should be to the country, but when the community yeah. is expecting you to, you know, I mean, it, it's not just the way you can say it. I've seen it across. I've even heard even someone from my place, you know, at the time, uh, a local government chairman, was the one expected to, you know, donate a certain amount of money, which I, I, it kind of threw me off because I don't expect a local government chairman to have such amount of money in his own account, right? But when you we have that expectation that is not reasonable, where we have somebody who is in a position in the public, the support, we're expecting him to have certain amount of money or use his position to curry favor from, it, it, to me, it's just, that's where corruption is being, you know, uh, uh, breeding and, and and how it becomes endemic. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, he's now I, in the I position to, to make to make that transformation. So, I mean, if he doesn't do it now, now we can just his community can justify their 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 hatred or anger towards him. But when he was in as a governor of of a central bank it was not even supposed to be even be seen all the time it was supposed to be heard strictly on monetary policies and monetary issues and banking issues anything related to that other than that you should have, you know keep your mouth shut and just you know live like regular nigerian so to me it's some of our actions as a subject as a nigerians breed corruption i mean this is you can't escape every every angle you turn corruption is you know facing you thank you yeah yeah, I agree with you, Adwale. Um But anyway, uh, back to this Binance uh, deal going on. You know, it's um, so. Uh, do we have any um, like camera uh, camera footage or? 
Yeah, camera footage on, on this guy. Oh, 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 of the escape? Uh, no, I, 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 I doubt if they'll release that even if they had it. It would be too embarrassing and too compromising as well. Well, because again, never escaped. What are you talking about escape for? I mean, it is, this is a well thought out plan um, orchestration that, that occurred. What are you talking about um, escape? It didn't escape anything. How could he escape? <laughs> this is sort of a joke, man. I know you're spending time talking about it, but uh, there's no way this guy, wh why should you? I mean, what is, okay, he has to, I mean, the guy's not even, he hasn't been sentenced yet, and, and they granted him the, the, the opportunity or the chance to go pray and all these privileges. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense. This is well planned, orchestrated. And don't, and don't tell me, I don't want to believe that it's lower level um, people or officers that did this. It, it's way all the way to the top. Um, this guy must have dropped a lot of money because he knows he doesn't want to get caught up in, in a Nigerian you know, um, judicial system or, or, or prison system. Uh, that, that may be a life sentence for him. And if he has a lot of money to throw away, all the money they've stolen or by whichever means. Is Mona happy to even drop, I don't know, half a billion, maybe one billion dollars uh, for, for the boys to share uh, so they can find his way out of the country? So they don't tell us, I mean, they, they can arrest some, some low ranked people and fire them or put them in jail, and we're not going to know what happens at the end of the day. Um, so it, it's all shenanigans, it, it's nothing. Uh, to me, it doesn't say anything ill of the Nigerian state. Uh, just like I said earlier, it's business as usual. There's nothing to it. Uh, let's move on. I have to say I agree with you. It's, it's, it reads more like he was released rather than he escaped. Because yeah. somebody like, even if he goes to prayers, they will have somebody, they will have somebody. They, it's just, I'm not a security expert, and I know that somebody of that profile, you would have somebody on him, whether even if he's going to the toilet, you stand guard outside, you know. If he's going to prayers, you take a Muslim agent goes with him. So there's no way. Roma, you, I mean, Roma, yeah. Roma I, if, if, you wanna, if they want to find I'm out, a... Prince Ali, can let me say this real if, if they want to find out how he escaped, they should go check the bank account of everybody that was around, including all the guard, all of there them. You go. Just go look at their bank accounts. You see money that went there. Prince, Prince now, now, they trust, now, now they trust Nigeria now. This one, <laughs> once I see this news. You, you see somebody's what? bank account went from uh, 2000 to 20 million. <laughs> It has to be guy. It has to be guy. the money that helped <laughs> now, Once I saw the news, I just say, anyway, not only for Nigeria, this one will happen. I don't even get it. <laughs> I have confidence. Uh, uh, I have confidence. Uh, if if uh, Amatek was in charge of the security, if Amatek was in charge of security, I have 100% confidence that that guy would never escape. He would Train never, daddy. ever escape. What if you only did them only? Be on day. Train daddy. Yeah. If, if you will permit me, if actually the level of transparency we are attributing anything to go back. So what's tough that instead of wasting all this energy from asking the courts, you know, the same energy, the, a little bit of this energy, if actually this level of transparency is correct, to just ask the court to grant him pay or to grant them pay and allow them to go and say, okay, they have a case. When they want to come, then they come and answer it. If that level of conspiracy is that high up there, why did they have to go all through this drama of well, saying I that the man escaped? You know, I think if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the gentleman uh, or the person in question is, a, is from India, is an Indian. Uh, yeah. Right? So, okay. Uh, so the, the level of corruption in India also is, is not a child's play. And, and and for corrupt people and people that that always know how to back, just like Nigerians, it's actually a Kenyan breed. Okay, okay. some things you can do in a very simple way and, and and just resolve the issue. If you're a corrupt person or if you if you if you know the the African or Nigerian system, you always want to bribe. What you said, Bishop is right. They could have done that, but guess what? Why should he go through that when he can just drop down the money, you know, drop some money and, and find his way no, out? Which one is much easier? If the government is involved at this high level and they know this is going to cause an embarrassment, uh, other than that, okay, look for a court, a judge that is ready and willing to compromise and take the case to that judge. Look, I agree. I mean, I believe that there have been negligence. 
and that should be punished. And maybe it's, some it's level of compromise. But take it, hold on. Let, you know, that's your view now. Let me express my view too. Don't be killing or don't be shutting out that booze views. It's your view no, now. No, it's not I'm negligence. not shutting you down. I, yeah, you are, you are shutting down my I'm, views. I'm, I'm, Let I'm me express my view. You. As wrong no, as it could be. Express it, but I, I was disagreed, not shutting yeah, it Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But let me just express it. That you are disagreeing with something else. I agree. I, I know that there is some level of negligence, high level of negligence, maybe some level of compromise until it is proven. But if this high level of people are really involved, that government really wanted to let him go, they don't need to go through all this drama. All they need to do is just look for a compromising judge, just take the matter and the, the, the man will uh, institute a suit and the court will grant him a pay and they will give him his passport and he will go. We don't need to go all through this, uh, uh, you know, this dramatization, because I know there were negligence and maybe compromise until it is proven. But if we are now using Nigeria and we deride and believe that everybody, some people even almost insinuating to the level of the presidency, to, so as to cover up what? Why did they even have to? arrest that individual or those indiv uh, those people in the first instance, if the presidency at that high <laughs> level of are interested, how much are they going to bri bribe the national security advisor that will make it to compromise on this? So for me, I don't think that it is a compromise to that level. Maybe at some lower level. Uh -huh. But at that level, they don't need to waste all this time and this energy. It's something uh -huh. they could have done. B B Bishop, uh, nobody right. was suggesting that uh, it was a conspiracy either at the... Pre in fact, anybody that's suggesting that, I, I certainly not on this platform, I've not heard that, at the presidency level, uh, nobody is even suggesting that it's a conspiracy at the uh, national, at Ribadus uh, himself personally. Uh, but what people are talking about are subterranean machinations of a uh, compromise within the system and the, the shadowy hands of uh, corruption reaching into that system. So what, what we're talking about is embedding at the higher levels, if not almost towards the highest levels of that structure, and a system that is rotten to the core. And, and ultimately, the person that sits at the top of that seat takes responsibility, which is Ribadu. So nobody say well, the, the government cannot capture him and then conspire to... It, it, but it was released. There, there's no question about that. There's no way he could have made an escape. He was released. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on man. And, and also, it, it shows our, you know, uh, our security uh, architecture in a lot, of, in a lot of ways. Um, so let's say the guy escaped. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard one man said the guy boarded the plane. It didn't cross the the, the Benin uh, Lume border or anything like that. If you actually boarded the plane in Nigeria, in, in, Lag in Lagos or Abuja, um, are you telling me that this, by the time the guy left their, 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 um, their custody, right, and found his way out, how many hours, we, how much time, we, time are we talking about here? Were they able to send information to, to the airport security and, and ground the plane? They do any of that. Oh, the guy was gone for, how, how long was the guy gone for? Bishop, you may be absolutely right, but I, I, I hold my position to have proven otherwise because you know why? Because I think these people are smart. I'm talking about the Nigerian. So I'm talking from a point that these are smart people. Yes, they can make mistakes. And when you're greedy, you get blinded by greed. It's just natural. It's human nature. And, and, and if that happens, uh, and, and, you know, they could have taken out the way you described, Bishop. But again, the guy is dropping after a billion dollars, one billion dollars. Forget about all that. The, the, the more they can, you know, they can keep that money closer to, the, to their chest. If they have to divide it into different Prisoner. smaller portions, the better for Prisoner. them. Let me say something. Let me, say something. Yeah. Let me just say this. Let me address uh, somebody that, uh, I think that was Mike. I, I'll, I'll just give me your just um, one minute or two. Um, you see, uh, even though they, they're not so stupid to accept um, uh, cash or, or some kind of bank uh, payments, bank transfers, you would assume that kind of people like this, they will pay by crypto. Uh, you know, can't really trace their wallets. They might have um, wallets. So uh, they, they're not so stupid. They are also law enforcement agents. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect them to be stupid to us to accept um, a bank transfer. See that they collect it in, in hard uh, currency and in cash. 
and the stock is somewhere and um or they connect and they'll it. do it via the dark web yeah. so it, even the, yeah exactly. uh, so but then my, my point the general point i'm trying to make here is this is that um you see um uh, either way, whatever, however i want to spin it there's no way you will never hear this thing they will never come out telling us actually how this guy escaped because they don't want to put their 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 debt in, in in the public that would be a total disgrace to them so we only continue speculating here as to what really transpired, how this guy escaped. That we're going to expect them to release in details to us or tell us in details how we escaped. We're really, the brains behind it, forget it. Where have you ever had something like that ever, ever said in Nigeria? Even I went, Kanu was extradited uh, back to Nigeria. He didn't give us how exactly how it, how it was done. So you don't expect them to give us uh, anybody that is expecting them to, for us to wait until they will release in details. What happened now? This guy is forget it. That's that's just uh, we are, we are dreaming. If we expect, uh, expect. Uh, Prince, let me let me let me tell you exactly how this guy. Let me give you this a paragraph that explains how this guy exactly escaped. Before you carry on, it says uh, the federal government had in uh, the federal government had in recent months heightened its crackdown on suspected money launderers and currency speculators. A month ago. The Central Bank of Nigeria said over $26 billion was channeled through Binance without trades. So, so, th so that's how that's his escape right there. So we're talking about a port around $26 billion. Uh, uh, dollars. We are talking about a guy that can point fingers to where those monies are, 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 are were facilitated to disappear. And we're talking about the people who disappeared that money uh, facilitating the guy's escape. So <laughs> it, it says, uh, it's quite clear, Prince. Well, it, it is very clear. So, I mean, we, we talk about a lot of money here. So <laughs> please, uh, these guys, they, they're smart, man. Let's not talk down on them. That's the Nigerian security and the people. I mean, they do make mistakes again, but uh, they know what is going on. They know what's up. Anyways, uh, any other topic, one man. Oh, 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 all right. Do you, do you want to speak to the pot of soup guy who who more a victim than than a culprit from my by my reckoning? Well, yeah, I can understand. I mean, uh, uh, Kenneth's um, position uh, about somebody starving or needing needing to eat. But but um, how much noodles do you need? How, how many pots of soup and and this other stuff do you need? I mean, if the guy has stolen one or two loaves of bread, now we can understand that he needs one for today and tomorrow. But how do we justify the guy's greed? To, to what degree? Should, should, he be, should he satisfy himself and his family and, and let other people go, go hungry uh, uh, you know, after uh, the, their hard-earned money? Is that the way it works? No, yeah, I, I don't agree. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, crime is a crime. I, I agree with Bishop, but at the same time, uh, the level or the amount of, of goods that this guy stole uh, to me uh, stretches beyond uh, just a mere justification for, for being hungry. So I, I think, you know, whatever uh, punishment he deserves, I guess he should get it, you know, but um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Shegumi she invited uh, for questioning uh, or, or on bandit activities, even speculations that he may be, have been detained by the DSS. Would you say about time too? Um, where do we draw the line? Actually, you know, sometimes you know we, we know in an Nigerian state, you know, people can be arrested for for whatever reason. Okay, uh, sometimes it's it's not justified. But I what point in time have they questioned this guy? I don't know. I'm asking the question rather. Uh, have they questioned him? And and do they have a a, a record on, on this man uh, for being warned for making uh, maybe you know is inciting the uh, the people or his followers? I mean, so I, I don't know. I, I've heard a lot about Gumi, um, you know, being somehow connected connected to the to the to the banditry or terrorism or or kidnapping. Um, all hearsay or speculations, I, I don't know. Uh, but if the security uh, people thinks you know, it needs to be arrested, and, um, and, and I don't know, I came to jail because that would be inappropriate. I mean, what, we have to know his crime. We have to know his crime. What are they linked into? 
what, yeah, what, what real crimes are they linked into that it deserves to be arrested and perhaps sentenced? Of course, we're going through the court system first. So um, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say uh, about a guy. Um, yeah, you know, if, if it's justified, sure. But again, I, you know, if, he, if he's expressing himself, I, I don't want him to be abused because his, his expression is due. And he, he may have a soft spot for uh, for the kidnappers because the, most of them, or all of them, are, are northerners, especially from that region. Um, and he, maybe he, he understands their plight. Uh, but, but again, you know, ho hopefully they have real um, real evidence uh, against him. Uh, to arrest him and um, and bring him to justice, if that be, if that been the case, but but the Nigerian state should not be in, in such a a state of conundrum whereby you know they are afraid to arrest anyone, be it in Nambikanu, uh, Gumi, or Sunday Igbo for that matter. Anyone, it doesn't matter your ethnic background. If you are found guilty or culpable in any crime against the state, you should be arrested. You should be, they should be able to, uh, to go after you and, and not be afraid of any reprisal from the, the populace. Oh, 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 all right, Prince. Uh, I, I suspect you are probably too young to have ever, to have ever come across this phrase. Uh, if you tackle me, I will double you. It's, it used to be the Nigerian and uh, le lexicon for tit for tat. If you tackle me, I will double you. So, so just as early as yesterday, the um, defense headquarters declared Simon Ikpa and uh, the 96 others are wanted as our enemies of the state. So quick as flash, Simon Ikpa responds. Simon Ikpa declares Tinubu eight others wanted. So this is the prime minister of our Biafra land, uh, at least on uh, on the interweb. It says that uh, uh, Simon Ipa, a controversial Biafra agitator and separatist, has declared no fewer than nine people wanted for terrorism allegations in the Southeast. Uh, in the list, Ipa named President Bola Tinobu, Vice President Kashim Shetima, amongst others, who he claimed are behind insecurity uh, in the region. So what are you then making of this declaration, especially now seeing how not fit for purpose the security structures? Are we expecting an arrest uh, of us, uh, uh, Tenubu imminently? But then where would it be tried? Is it on the virtual nation that Simon Nipa has created? <laughs> this some of the Ekpa guy. Um, you know, uh, nowadays, you know, people like this normally should be ignored. And and you know and, and just be ignored into the abyss, uh, but you know, in, in today of of you know um, social media and, and the internet, uh, people like Samuel Eckhart cannot just be ignored really, uh, because he probably has like over one or two million followers. Who knows? Um, so whatever he says it seems to carry a lot of weight. But you know, after the guy, he's not the same guy dancing to Afro beat, you know, showing his video and his, his wealth or whatever. It's a young man having fun, um, and and I hope and I hope rather that he stays in in Finland. I think that's where he, he lives. He stays in Finland and he doesn't step into Nigeria because he may end up where he doesn't want to be. <laughs> so let him continue to have fun, and um, and, and uh, enjoy himself. But um, I know he's been he's, he's it's been reckless, but at the same time, I think we talked about this before. I'm not sure what his crime is. Uh, unlike in Nandi County that, that we talked about, that, that Mike always highlights, you know, he's ordered people to do destruction, to kill people, or to fight people and all the things. I, I know about that. I heard about that. But, but uh, Samuel Ekpar, has he done any of such um, crimes? I, I don't know. And he said some uh, incendiary words or, you know, some things not to be said against the state, but did they turn him out to, to his arrest? Uh, what is his crime actually? What, what are they charging him for? Charging him for? I think it's with treason, terrorism, the, the usual go to cyberbullying. They, they seem to have a list of 10, don't they? Uh, uh, treasonable felony, terrorism, cyberbullying, cyber stalking. That, that's what they usually accuse people of. To me, to yeah. me, that's a misplacement of priority. To be honest, like, come on, you got bigger problems to deal with now. I mean, somewhere, I mean, come on, 
Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I mean, if you can, I don't think Epa is anything worse than Igbo or anything. I mean, I, I, they, they are kind of like on the same. Igbo is probably even worse than Epa, to be honest. And if you can like Igbo to be in Nigeria, why are you going after Epa? Samuel Epa has no call for killing or anyone. I was just, or anything uh, that can be very bad or anything like that. Are so, you serious, Mike? Maybe I missed it. I don't know. The only person I know that did call for <laughs> I don't know. I no, never heard. It, it, uh, it, it, it. he doesn't even talk bad about other ethnic group and things like that. He just like he he they want that. Ah, uh, he did. Uh, yeah. Can you give an is that Bishop? Can you give an example? Because I met such just like Mike. I don't think I've really heard. I mean, I don't follow the guy. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah, think I mean, I've heard so. Yeah, you don't know if any like real examples that you can tell us, but you know. You mean Sama Epa? Yeah, Sama Epa. Have you, you listened to some of his broadcasts? Have you listened to some of his broadcasts before? I, I cannot live, I cannot listen to some of the Epa for what oh, okay. I don't Yes, he has says he has said some, some it's some. created his own cryptocurrency, you know. You are missing out, uh, Prince Daddy. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> yes, okay. it's unbelievable. <laughs> It's created its own <laughs> cryptocurrency. That's the new currency of Biafra. <laughs> and these people are buying it, which is the saddest part of it all. <laughs> I tell you, man, uh, this guy, you know, again, he's probably got a lot of followers. That's what I'm saying. A lot of followers. And um, I, I don't know. At this point in time, you know, you know, I think the our Nigerian, you know, you know, politicians, I guess the people in charge, you know, uh, they, they like to be sensational many times also, or sometimes, you know, uh, going after all these people. Um, yeah, you know, if, if the guy's guilty of no crime, sure, but let's not spend any time or, or resources trying to pursue some of the I, I just don't see it. If the guy wants to have his own country virtually, why not? And that's quite creative, if you ask me. If he, if he has no cryptocurrency, and if you can have people, you know, buy his passport or issue passport and do all kind of uh, entrepreneurial stuff, that is good stuff. I respect that, actually. <laughs> I do respect the guy. So, oh, 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 all right, all right, brother. L let me take you to one final space and then I'll bail out. Uh, I think I've got uh, my troops here. Uh, the new and improved Mighty Mike, and, and I think uh, Thomas just came in as well, so you'll be in good hands. Uh, but let me take you to this last space. Um, Ransom was not paid to secure release of Kurika uh, school children. So, do you believe that? That's that's those are the Kaduna children, uh, Prince. Well, I was watching this guy, uh, this prominent uh, Nigerian security um, um, consultant, and I think that's what he calls himself. He, he resides in, in, in England, uh, London, on uh, show, uh, Kimbali's show about a week or two ago, right about when this, the, the kids were, uh, the children were, were kidnapped. And, and it gave an account of the ordeal of, that, of their, uh, their travel, their journey from the point of capture through the terrain and uh, the, the bush all the way to, the, to wherever they were going. And um, it, it talked about how tired the, the kidnappers were and, and, their, and their abductees and, and this other stuff. So, it sounded like to me, if that was true, if that account is true, it sounded like they, they meant business. So they're going to go through all this uh, arduous um, journey, spend their time and resources, and, and perhaps I'm not risk their life too. <laughs> and, and risk their life. And at the end of the day, they're just going to hands off and, and, and allow the, the Nigerian state to come and, and pick up the children and for no reciprocity that's quite interesting you know? do, do, do you not think they were intimidated by Tenobo saying no shishi you know that you know they give shishi no shishi yeah uh, I, I don't know See, I, I don't believe that of course the, the crazy whatever trillion of dollars a narrative that they wanted uh, was a joke I heard they reduced it to like a, a billion or so but at the end of the day um yeah, I, I, they should give us an account of, I mean, I don't know if it says so in the article, uh, a more detailed account on how they were able to uh, recover the children uh, without paying any ransom. How did that come about? Uh, it, it sounds fishy. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. 
um, if you ask me, it doesn't make much sense because, you know, again, it, it, they have to go through a, a whole lot to abduct these children and turn around and give them back. To what end is the question. Well, certainly they did not give them the 40 trillion Naira that are, uh, otherwise the, the Naira would have taken a tank in as well. They fought, they, <laughs> remember they demanded 40 trillion. That's true. Yeah, oh, but, oh. you know, the, no, correct. Yeah, that's it, Mama. No, that's it. Thanks. Oh, oh, all right, but then, uh, uh, so please stay with us. Uh, the after hour starts now. Uh, 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 well, uh, acknowledging the super chatters, uh, are you came in or uh, uh, as he usually does with the might of it all? Uh, uh, Olato Boso was there as well. Uh, Kulata joined in that space. Jewel of Nashville, uh, poking at one person or the other. Uh, Lato Rich, uh, who, who now are uh, appearing with increasing frequency, uh, AB reached into his or her wallet or purse, and uh, one Nigeria uh, uh, brings it home. So, so there it is. Uh, I wonder if anybody will super chat Mike. Uh, the new and improved Mike now. Uh, Thomas is in the shadows as well. So, you are in good hands. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, and by the way, Folake is here as well. So, I expect gentlemen conducts from all. Uh, I have no concerns about that with uh, Prince Daddy and uh, Jan Le Coco, but the rest of you, uh, I'm a bit dubious of. So, Folaka is here, so gentlemen conduct all the way through. Uh, I say that in jest, of course. Uh, thank everyone. See you tomorrow. Is Mike there? I wonder why everybody is quiet. No, it's Mike now. I think they said Mike should take over. Uh, where is um? Well, uh, okay, Mike, you can continue, go continue. ahead. I cannot look away. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I for Lake now. For Lake, are you there? I don't know. I'm actually there. Really. You're still here. So go on. I mean, uh, Mike, over to you. For Lake is there. You guys carry on, man. You guys talk. I can't. I can't I just. You know, listen. Yeah. So, uh, okay, well, okay, what do you have to say about um, the uh, the the released um, children? Because I think uh, the nation, another propaganda machine of the APC, they've said is the two hundred and eighty something kids were released, but we had is one hundred and thirty something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Mike, if you can help us search for the nation, the nation reports on that, um, because I'm seeing a different figure from the nation. And then we're hearing from the other news outlets. They were saying something. Honor and something. So, what are we talking about here? What's going on? The actual story, the actual sorry, the actual for for because she has been here. Go on, for Sorry, Remy. Sorry, I'm just going to stay briefly and then um, I'll leave you guys to it. Um, the truth is, if you're familiar with Nigeria, like if you're familiar with um, most of these ordeals, um stuff like this will be strange to you and um, you kind of know the gimmick and sometimes I don't blame them they have to cover their tracks as well right so um, most of those convoluted, convoluted uh, stuff comes into play and so it's not strange to me and um, the truth is most of us like if you're open-minded you know some of those things even though you don't want to say it. You know what I mean? Like, because the truth about it is, there is too much corner, corner, waka, waka, on top of the matter. As in, you're not, you're not too strict, but you don't need anyone to tell you. But like, you know, if we want to be politically correct, then we can now be, you know, mutating and the thing. But the truth about it is this. We know as they go. So let me just leave it at it. Uh, Mikey, are you still there? Okay. All right. Well, well, I'm right. Right. You guys can do I have to be like one man and be telling you what to say. Hey, Roger, 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 no, I'm not feeding. You guys just talk. You guys know I don't do hey, oh my God. Roger, Roger, man. Okay, go on. Roger, Roger, man. Mike doesn't do that. Roger, man. Okay, Mike. Don't listen to Mike. You be in charge. Since Mike has decided to. Uh, is here to live in new people, I think General Thomas is You'll here. Be in charge. Thomas, do the let him do this because I'm busy. Uh, 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 rational mind, uh, they are asking you to continue. Are you are still dodging? Are you okay? Afraid? All right, so, um, the um, what's other topic? Um, 
the topic about the NSA, uh, what do you have to say about that? The, I mean, the man that ran the Binance guy that ran away to back to Kenya. What's your take on that? But by, by the way, China, you blame him. <laughs> by, by, by the way, yeah, it shouldn't be about topic. Anybody that has anything else, any thing you, you are interested you just talk about it you don't have to stick to topic but if you want to speak on topic and speak on topic <laughs> if you have other topic that interest you want to bring up you can bring it up so it's, it's a free flow it's not uh, uh, one man home like military it's not, stuff. A rigid, it's not a rigid no problem. Yeah, exactly exactly you go well, like now we do it now just, not like just, general yeah. no problems no problems i appreciate that it's not a problem at all i can adapt to anyone it's fine um Okay, well, I think we can adapt for like, I'm sorry, it's uh, no problem. Fola, right? Yes. Yeah, Fola. Yes, um, I was shocked that you said you're, you're in obedience. I, I almost fell out of a chair. Uh, how did that come about? <laughs> Trust me, I am, and I have no regrets or apologies for that. Trust me. Um, let me say, the thing is this, like, can I say it came from my... Sorry, Fola. Are you married yes. to an Igbo man? Yes. Not at all. Yes. I know you were going to go there. Check, that that is Janu, yeah? Check, check. Uh, 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 we, uh, I mentioned on my job. Uh, Fola, please. Uh, yeah. Fola, Fola is about to explain why she is obedient. Let her land. Can you hear what Ganyu said? Is it yeah, um, rational my don't worry. Well, let's not turn it to fight. Worry, let me just... So I'm not allowed to ask questions. No, you're allowed I'm not to allowed allowed to Hold on a sec. 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 I don't want anything rowdy. I can take care of it myself. Don't worry about it. Um, Ganyu, I kind of suspected you were going to go there when I saw you on the platform. But it's not new. I have no traces whatsoever to Igbo lineage. But I will tell you, I'm a proper Nigerian. My mom and my dad are from Ekiti State, right? Like, even though I don't know how to speak Ekiti, but trust me, like when I mean Ekiti, I mean Ekiti, in Toto. Then, coming to myself personally, I was born in Lagos, but I've, I've been in Abuja since I was, I think, three, three or four years old. I lived all my life in Abuja. I went to a UNITO school, federal government college. You know how that is. And I'm, I'm not talking about the recent federal government college now that is being rubbish. I went when federal government college was still federal government college. The likes of um, Abubakar Salami and the likes of them, their kids were in my school, like when we the same school and all. Bamshad, like, all the um, Vatsa and the likes of it, Oladipodi and the likes. So I'm not anything close to evil, but I at least I can speak Hausa. I understand. And in terms of evil, I kind of understand evil to an extent because I went to a unit to school. If you know where I'm coming from, you understand what I'm trying to say. So if there's no language you speak today, Nigerian language, I will not tell you what language it is. If you speak Igala, I can interpret it to you that, okay, you're talking about Igala. If you um, speak TV, the one you call TV, I will, I can dissect it. I know where you're coming from, right? If it comes to Wasi, we can go there. If you're speaking Edo, especially we need to be precise, I can also go within that route with you. But the truth about it is this, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not talking about tribe here. Put it aside. Nobody's talking about tribe. Tribe is very, very secondary. There are some things, if you go through some things, you will throw with tribe. Especially if you mingle, like, the truth is, if you um, mingle with all tribes, you, you will know that we're the same. We're the same. We are the same. I will tell you now firsthand. There's no difference between Yoruba, Igbo, and everything. Forget that, all those stories. All those ones are just um, personal, or whatever. Fola. There's I'm no sorry. difference. So I don't come on the tribal lens at all. So, for I have a question. Yeah, for Remy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Remy, before you go, uh, hold on. Uh, Thomas, Thomas, are you there? He's not there. Uh, uh, Rational Mind. I'm here, I'm here. 
Why do you want to put Ghana in the back? Or was it Thomas? No, I don't. I don't have the. Um, I don't have the assets for now. Um, okay. He did make me um, one of the. Uh, he's he's there now. I think okay. that maybe it could be. Uh, maybe he's dropping himself, or maybe he's. Sister okay, okay. Maybe he dropped. Okay. I'm no not problem. doing that. I didn't do that. No, no guys. Okay. 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 So my question. No, I, I never yeah. drop. Yeah, bro. Let me go ahead. I can hear Okay, you. let me go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> when rational mind was here, you are kind of talk about why you um, don't like APC and why you won't have anything to do with them. And from your yeah. own an analogy, you mentioned what happened to your dad about yeah. the kids being stopped. Is, yeah. that, is it personal to you that you uh, choose uh, the... You, you have a right to choose any party you want. Sure, is it definitely. Is a personal reason that you go for a Labour Party candidate? Mm -hmm. And then, second question, so that you can hide yeah. them together. So sure. because you don't have anything to... And you mentioned that even if they present any cockroach or anything... You don't mind uh -huh. with that person. So uh -huh. to give more clarity about your yeah. submission before. Thank you. Okay, no problem. You're welcome. I appreciate the question. And um, let me take it from the start. You asked if it was personal. I will tell you it is very, very personal. If there's any other thing that's a party personal, or personal go like go. Because um <clears throat> My dad was um, like um, two weeks to retirement. Then 2020, when it happened, when it happened, you know, like initially I thought it was a joke. I used to hear of kidnapping, kidnapping and all. There was a time our, one of our neighbors was even kidnapped. <clears throat> this one I'm telling you was just immediately after Buari came into power, right? But like, I didn't, um, it didn't really touch me per se. Yes, I felt for them and all. I I, I saw how um, everyone was running out of sketcher and, you know, but, like, I didn't see it coming close. Like, I couldn't imagine it at all. But <clears throat> I was already in Canada. That's at that time. And then my mom called me, and she was like, ah, your dad has been kidnapped. I thought she was kidding. I, I can remember you that I was baking meat by that day. And she goes, ah, she will bump a team with Sonny. I'm not to be that day. I'm like, how oh, long be? Oh, Jeremy, where are they going from? Like, from where? I'm like, my mom was like, ah. I said they kidnapped your dad. And I'm like, okay, hold on a sec. He's supposed to be in Abuja. Like, last to go see Bo, like. And my mom was like, no, he actually traveled today. And he was around um, ATT access. I think he was going to probably a Korea or something, right? And you know how those routes are. And um, before I knew it, she then told me that in Matiku, I'm like, hold on, I, are you now getting serious or something? She's like, yeah, they rushed him to Afe Babalala um, teaching hospital. Boy, he gave up. I was told he had five bullets pierced into him. Because they, if you see the vehicle, it was um his official vehicle right and trust me the car was the right off in terms of bullet piercing how the bullet didn't touch my dad though i don't understand i just don't understand like i can't really say that if i did even hear the, I, I, the, I just of the bullet. no 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 it's not that right it's not I, I just, or something just, what yeah. happened was this he actually was being stubborn too you know how you men are right because he, he said he wanted to travel. And we're like, ah, uh -uh. in this Nigeria of uh, wherever, where are you going to? You don't have to, right? And <clears throat> my younger sister actually said she dreamt that um, two people traveled and only one person came back. So at that point, he was to go with my mom. But my mom was like, no, she's not going. She's not traveling. And then my dad said he was going to go alone with the driver, right? And when... I, I guess the warning and everything, they actually prayed out as well. But he didn't listen. He was in that bush for six good days. I did not lie on my bed for six days. I used to sit on the toilet seat. I would pray. I couldn't eat, nothing, nothing. Because one thing is, I'm very, very close to my dad. Like when you hear Abiyamoto, that's my dad for you. Like we're very, I'm from a very closely knitted family. So... Like, I'm coming from that angle right now. 
So like, it was very, very traumatic for me. I couldn't do anything for those six days. And it still, even when he came to Canada recently, um, he still showed me where he was booted by those guys. And they were actually Sunani Etman. Because I got the, there was this recording of the conversation, one of the conversations that my younger brother mistakenly sent to me, which traumatized me even more. Especially the fact that you're not even there. It, was, it came from their negotiation and everything. And you could hear the guy, like, the way he was speaking, the, the, the Fulani accent, and even adding some Fulani, um, like, you know, like, talking, and when, when they finish talking, and they'll be like, Sajiko, do you understand that kind of thing? Like, by the time they put all those forever, you know where they're coming from. These people are not Yorubas. It, it was kidnapping in Nekiti. But trust me, they were not Yorubas. They were pure Fulani guys. Right? So that's to show you the level of insecurity I'm talking about here. Ah, uh, Fala, uh, Fala yeah? uh, just to ask a question. Uh, do, do you remember the axis? Uh, the axis yes, I that, remember. Uh, I remember. I think it was uh, towards, um, towards, um, is it, um, where's this place? <laughs> uh, you know, it has so many nyama 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 places like that. But like, this, it's it's um after the Kogi one, the one that is close to Kogi, there is one Omo. I know there is just Omo. Ah, okay, Omo. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay, is it, when is it like to... Osi? Osi? Osi. Okay, no, 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 no. I think it's um there was it's close to Adoekiti for them to have taken him to what's the place called to this um Afe Babalala Chicken Hospital because I heard that hospital is in Adoekiti. Oh, 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 okay, you know, that, that's, you know, that's Ekiti North area when you are moving from Ifaki, upward, Iwuroko, um, Ifaki, or yeah. Uh, I don't really know the geography of it. <laughs> I don't really know the geography of it, but well, I, 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 I just, continue just of time, another factor. Can you quickly go to the second question where you say, even they present any cockroach, so far it's not from yeah. it. <laughs> That's a particular one. I understand for part time, you might not like the particular one, but the second one really takes me apart. You, you can go ahead. Oh, uh, okay. Why I said that is this, is if for any reason, the truth is this, I'm not being um, cheeky here or something, right? Well, I don't want to be controversial. But I'll tell you, I don't have any um, any faith or any... Um, yeah, let me just use the word faith. I don't have any faith in APC, tackling insecurity. Trust me. I don't have... What about Tinubu? Not even 2%. What about Tinubu as a leader? In it, you know, book in APC into real law, right? So, what about uh, Wait, you know, who is yeah, APC? the party you supported? And there were so many fraud allegations between OB and Abu and the rice. How do you take it? You as a brush mine, and as brush mine, brushy, brushy. Is this the Are we now back in the make? I talk her like this, brush, not talk, not talk her like this. You see, eh, there is this thing that, eh. Uh, and it only uh, and it only ba moba like only parao or something like I don't know if you kind of have a light. Right. Yes. Um. So see, there's no body. Yes. So nobody will no go. Um. You know. I'm not saying anybody is a saint. I'm not saying anybody is a saint. And the truth about well, it, you I see think that you're thing. saying that you're saying that Peter B is a saint because one minute. I, 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 I don't let you say that. Let me ask a question. That question. Prince Daddy, 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 but I guess all kinds of things go rubber for you will be saying you know go fear escaper. And that thing that um a friend of a chief is also a chief, that being a story, you know, they work like that. Not be everybody will follow dog. Dog work and then go chalk sheets. You get the gist. And the truth is, you see all this um one person a chief, one person they rub off on the other. So you all tell me now, say if I get family member, will be chief. The first thing that my family member chief, we meet any third that chief. 
And I'm not even saying no be no free still, oh. Forget to. Oh. Ah, I'll like, oh, 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 you get the gist. But like, I'm not here to um put a hand on one who is um a chief or who is not a chief. Uh -uh, it's not my okay, job. Okay, okay. I'll not be so you, were, you, get. you were captivated by Obi's brilliance and intelligence and, and, and his background, his education and whatnot. And it's great. Uh, no, no, education is secondary. Education, uh, uh, education and it's, well, it's great You cannot done it and state. you'll be able to interact, interpret it. You get. You feel no sunshine, you know, for inter, inter, interpret it. Well, you I'm, get I'm the trying gist. to gather how Peter B became your saint. I'm just trying to, I'm thinking about it. So it's it, not saint. It, 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 okay, I have this um, spirit of discernment. That's on, on a personal level now. I have a spirit of discernment. If you come to okay. me today, you know, get your mouth is sweet. I'll know if you are telling the truth or your life. They know me that with that one in my family. If I tell you this is blue, take it from me, it is blue. Okay. If so, I tell you, so even you, if you are saying the daylight outside, if I tell you it's in a darkness, just go inside, go sleep. No say in a dark, darkness. Another one. Okay. So, so like, there are some you people like that. So that one is different. I'm not saying it's perfect. Hey, right? it but now. you can't tell. You can't tell. Like, right, it's just the spirit of discernment. It has nothing to do with politics, right? It has nothing to do with politics. Oh, oh, okay. Can, can, can and the truth is this: before now, right? I've had an inclination of politics, so it's not. Don't say I'm an emergency analyst. I'm not thinking of anything. Come and be thinking of anything. As in my days, I'm not a politician, right? But like, no, be true. Right. So, what can I ask you another question? Yeah. Okay. Sure, please. Okay. Look at it this way. Jonathan was not an APC member. Uh -huh. but, but here within the country, some people made his government, uh, they, they made sure that his government was going to fail. Or let's say they made sure. Uh, they made sure I don't know the ones here. If you can Bumbo. flash back. Bumbo, Bumbo, sister. Now the question is this. OB will not be the only person that is going to govern. And sure. Southeastern Nigeria uh, 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 number uh, is not Nigeria. Uh -huh. So, how do you think Obi is going to undo the North, undo uh -huh. the same Southwest, undo uh -huh. those parts? You know, all those people that contributed to Jonathan's failure. How do you think uh -huh. he's going to do that? So, I uh, do so much believe in him that, okay. Yeah. Uh, he's a better candidate. Okay, this is it. I know that um last election, the fact that he might not get a lot of people in the house and everything, right? That yeah. might play a part and stuff like that. Yes, I know that. But talking about um Jonathan's or uh, wherever, only two give you a It depends on the individual. Who don't know what to use power do? Now you go see, now you go hold power. Allow people, allow cockroach this the picture now. The truth, people understand the hand handwriting. If they see your hand, if you notice when Tinubu first entered, they gave him some kind of time. They gave him a little time to watch him, to know as in what they are. They are they are, they kind of size him up to see if he's heavy or he's light, right? I'm sure if you notice that, um, I don't know if you guys. Kind, kind of noticed that there was a little bit of calm. There was no insurgency and stuff like that. Like there was a bit of calm. So people kind of read and write it. No chief come up for in house, just go outside like that without doing some kind of analysis before he go, he, he go chief. Even though say no, say not chief, and any day when they catch up, now that day he go die. You know, go just come up for in house like that, begin the work for go, go, go chief. Say, oh, yeah, maybe they can't kill me. No. He said, go one place safe. You go one calculate, make you see your move. You, where you the, you, where you the monitor. You go one calculate, see where you go enter you. So that is the thing. People kind of know, like, if, and the truth is this, forget that, um, will be that is going like Paramole. People like that, forget it. You will be shocked. And you know, they need to say something like, Okuta, Timo, they cost because, because, you know, they didn't take up that thing. Now you come to the chief corner. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't let see, us make just a possibility. See, just the truth worry. about it is this. I know that Nigeria is kind of um, complicated and everything. And I remember during the um, Jonathan, I was in Abuja all through now. 
all those uh, demo, all those casket carrying and everything. Like all those periods, I felt that was a very, very that was politics to another level. And that's what APC is reaping today. They sowed the seed of the hatred. And that's why they are reaping it today. Because all the gimmicks they did that period, ah, it was too extreme. I must tell you the truth. It was very, very extreme. So most of those things, there is no you cannot you cannot plant um onions and expect to to, to harvest okra like lino. Like it's not so possible. For, so for that in your submission, I can clearly see that you also classify as to be as part of Barao, one way or the other. Uh, tell them call who is looking for things. So nobody's looking for things. You are saying someone that is can, that is different. That will be able so to look at these me, people and tell them to their face. Not the ones that they did it together. You cannot you cannot me, do what you did now. Do you understand? If me and you now cooperate to do something, I don't want to take or uh, undo the same thing. That question to you quickly. Uh, so so you are assuming that Obi didn't join in destroying and push, pushing Nigeria to the level we are now. See, the, the destruction. Talking. The destruction of Polish there are, there are two different ways to it. The destruction so gets it gets the only part in the destruction, but it's not as heavy as the others, right? Ah, uh, how you compare that kind of did they did they compare uh, sleep with uh, death? Now, because of what it got access to now, if it got access to something big, so so no, like, no, like, no, 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 let me, let me ask a question. No, I mean, you've been bombarding now with question. Now, for like, now what really yes, changed, Jerry. Knowing, knowing that you said that, um, uh, what's his name? That Obi Barao, Obi For now, what, what changed? What make you consider Obi as somebody uh, who could lead that country? What what changed for you? What um, yeah? He uh, can as a leader. Are you a leader at all? There's different between leader and there's different between um, this thing. The leadership comes separately. You get that you want to chop out of what you did is a different ball game entirely. You get the gist. Nobody say make even as a caterer, if they contract you as a caterer, you not go test the meat where they fire where they cook. You know, test them now. But the thing we say, make you no know, call chop and where we say. The we owner of the Patino will see me stay seven guests. Now that one might be the same for them. So you what, you, what you're saying now is that um obesity, I mean you only any but only in la uh, is that what you won't compare sleep and death. Okay, so I think they are big thief. Is that what uh, you're saying? See, the truth about was, it is. See, no, wait, wait, no put no no put words from my mouth. You get the truth about it is even who, even those of you went there on top of that platform now they talk. It's not as if you're saints, you understand. That one ah, but I'm not going to the moral side. Uh, a saint. Uh, man is not a saint. Uh, no, 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 Priority in Ibogwe, like you put things in Naira, um, in order of priority first. You get everybody yeah. now you get waiting, waiting, waiting you want. Right. In leadership, right. right. you get one thing. So if you put it, or you go here, put Ibogwe will be there until we are more Ah, forget. See, come on, that your mentality, oh, say na mo mo zina ibogwe. Because I noticed something. You are Bandorians, you to feel you are the most, um, you are the most intelligent, and I will fake it. Na lie. After the election, after the election, we saw what happened. So now, after after the the dust settled, right? Oh. Uh, still a, a big supporter of a uh, of a uh, religious and an ethnic bigot like like. Eh, like, uh, you see what thing? You know and, when you tell also, lies, you wait first and you print that the wait first. You get some kind of question, what I don't expect from you. Well, let me reply you. You know when you repeat something over and over again, it starts you start believing your lies by yourself. You see how immediately, because of that winning gap you guys have, immediately after the election, that winning gap that made you now pump the whole place with some propaganda, with some lies, and then change the whole rhetoric to suit your thoughts. It was a different ball game entirely. I, I could see behind all those shenanigans. Like Obi was the one that started religious politics. Gee, 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 gee. Meanwhile, the root cause of itself. 
You guys the know. Yes, Daddy table. Put it aside. Yes, Daddy. Table, yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. You want to compare Yes, Daddy with someone that did Muslim Muslim ticket because of his own selfish oh. reason. So if oh. Obina oh. did Yes, Daddy for his own selfish reason, oh. tell me oh. what don't make the difference. Double standard now. You hypocrisy, no one. What makes the difference? They say that we will not play the ball. Everybody won't play to win to score goal. Like he doesn't like Nigeria. He doesn't like Nigeria. He doesn't. Sezu now. Jare Sezu. Uncle, uncle, for a problem with PDD. Sezu. Hold on. Let me. For that, can I ask you? The Lagos State election. Which did you? Who did you support between someone low and the other guy? No, I was neutral in that one. Which one can sign me? I they leave for Lagos. No, no, that will not concern me now. I don't follow. See, I know they do here. Yeah, what happened? What happened? Your Labour Party president. Any corporation. We are talking about presidential. I feel like I'm making a lecture on Lagos speech. That will not concern me now. You think it was that time that they were doing Ambo, Ambo? The coaches were there. They knew Ambo. We go all the way. I don't story. I'm not doing all the songs. I was neutral. I live in a, I was living in Abuja before I relocated. So Lagos politics is not concerning. Now the one we concern me now the presidency. If the presidency is okay, forget every other thing will fall in shape. That's the truth. Oh, Fola, I want to ask you. Nigeria is run by is ruled by constitution, and uh -huh. as we have here we have a uh, House of Rep and House of Senate. And they they follow the constitution. No, there's a checks and balances, and the uh, powers of the president is well spelled out. So now that you are talking that if the president is good, are you telling me that a president can tell a governor of uh, Ogun State, I mean the way the way we have today now, or the, or the governor of Anambra or the governor of uh, uh, Bonu to, to to tell him that this is what you are going to use your allocation all about? It, it doesn't have power. Brian, me. You say if the president is right, even if you'll be. Is the winner of today? I bet you they would have been. Oh, God, am I? How you do? You go. You guys don't have the Senate, and you don't have. Oh, God, am I? Just call me Remy. It's okay. No problem. Uh -huh. uh, uh. Oh, John. See, eh? you see that aspect of this thing. There's something your body used to say, "Pelela labo," right? There's a way you talk to somebody. Oh no, everything will be commando. Everything will be command. That's the truth. You can even call my little brother if you know you want to chop meat. It's not command. There's a way you do these things. This diplomatic is um diplomacy. Let me know. I'm, not sure, I'm sure you can agree with me. If it was Obi that was there as the president, trust me. I'm not sure if any house of rep member go get that man carry one sixty million. As God has said, one by a Are you kidding me? Are you yes, kidding? I'm kidding and I'm even charging you, John. Oh Not the only kid. I do charge you, John. Relax now. See, see, see. People know the truth. They know the truth. What many come and bank on, they know who will accept something and who will not accept something. Even within your family, you know what you take to your mom that she will accept. And you know what you take to your dad that she will accept. And you will accept. For life, Forget it. Bring to your memory, when Obi was governor, he bought a lot of vehicle for traditional ruler for senator. Do you know the make of the who? Do you know the make of those vehicles? How many make? make. Do, I don't Wait, tell me the make of that vehicle. Wait, fair. Tell me the make of that. Can you let me ask you a question? You say answer now. Aaron, relax, relax. We know the fight. We on the plan. We don't need. Just tell me the make of the vehicle. A lot of people want. How come I'm talking about running? No, that's not my. No worry, relax. We are being conversational here. Just tell me the make. That would be enough. Eki ni make tora, make olora. Run it down now. What from the what? What I'm trying to justify here is very simple. You are trying to say that if he happened to be the president of Nigeria today, he will not give them that money. That is capital no. Because as a governor of the state, he bought money. You're not saying you're not God when you say no, saying that is capital. Let, 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 at least whether he bought innocent or innocent, it's not buying innocent with one cover. It's also millions of, millions of billions of naira at the end of the day. So that, yeah. yeah. Do you, do you, do you, you get, you get the idea? Do you, do you get the concept of a local economy, developing your local economy? Uh, uh, okay. uh, no, uh, no. Uh, the billions, the billions. Eh, but wait, wait. The billions. Uh, wait, man. What economy did you contribute to? The one See, um, do you know where I was even asking that question from? 
there was a specific um, amount that was allocated. And then he now used that uh, money that was supposed to be for him, himself, and um, like the top echelon of his um, cabinet, right? And then the same amount of money, he then realized that the judiciary, not the only traditional rule itself, he even gave it to. If you want to, if you want to say it, you put it all together in context. You get not the commons half, they put half. Carry everything together in bulk. Not only the traditional rule he gave it to, he gave it to the judiciary. He gave it to the palm sex of the state ministry as well. Yes, you can go and check that out as well. It's not just traditional rule. Wait, no, no, I'm just telling, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you that he bought more than you were you are alluding to. Let me help you to compound it. So that uh, wait of, now, wait now. That kind of blood in him. Like that, 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 you that wait. Oh, wait. You go wait. You go wait now. In Nigeria or made in abroad, we gladly accept 160 million for your rent. I tell you, you know, go accept her. You know, go accept her. You will not someone now buy you. you get some kind of things. If they tell you, say, proceed, do some kind of things, you'll say, they'll say, where you're this thing? Hello, where were you? Ah, if you say, no, don't know your you say, go and bring your evidence. He gets all kinds of things where he say you will know that's the truth. Someone that now use that same money that was meant to be for like I think four people there about. He now use it to buy how many? Wait now. It's a pity. You'll be brainwashed. It's a pity. Eh, see your uncle. Yeah, Daniel, don't blackmail me. Please let me have conversation with people that are diplomatic. Please, I beg your pardon. Please, please. I don't want any personal insults. And I don't want you to come at me like brainwash or something. Forget, I'll not be pity. pity. You understand? It's a real no, no, pity. relax, I'm relax. Crying. Don't come for me. This is, not natural. this is not rational mind. You get. Just put your temper. <laughs> this is not rational mind. Don't come for me at all. I'm not going to that water with you. You get. <laughs> I beg. Definitely, I know. No, definitely, I know you are. Definitely, I know you are. I'm a man. No, even if you say I'm a papa. No, you are entitled to your opinion. No, you are entitled to your opinion. That's why I'm trying for you. That one, you are entitled to your opinion. That's why I'm trying for you. You wait, you wait a You, um, Daniel, you cannot cry for my generation. If you know where I'm coming from, you will not say that. You get the gist. Ah, look at this one. If you know where you're coming, where I'm coming from, you will not say that. Ah, ah, oh, you do. I don't care. Your your parents are the ones that spoil Nigeria. If you don't know. Ah, no, no, my parents, it's my parents, yeah. Look at this one talking. Forget to don't call for me, uncle. I just told you now. Don't call for me. Don't call for me. Don't call for you. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, not everybody that is food. See, nobody is being brainwashed. Yeah. You are having yeah. yesterday, you Daniel. I heard you. Relax, relax. You have been See, not everything we fight. Time. Not everybody live for Italian. You get. It's not everybody that live for Italian. Not everybody. Of course, definitely. Who knows? No, say you be Yoruba. How best you go and see and they will not go recognize her. Who knows? No, say you be Yoruba. You are so stupid. You are so useless. Who knows? No, say you be Yoruba. Obviously, you are Yoruba now. You are so useless. See me with your identity like this. You can't even. You are so useless. Uh, you know the truth about it. I'm not Yoruba. I'm not Yoruba. For any reason, you don't know me. Come here. I'm yeah, not for money, for no reason, I for any reason. Uh, for See, that, I, uh, now, Remy, Remy, one minute, please. Just um, give me a moment, please. I, I need to say something. Uh, you see that I didn't even exchange back. Remy? Yeah, right. Remy? Yeah, go ahead, please. Remy, please, let me say something. Let me say something. You see this um stupid notion of the fact that if someone doesn't um, support Shinobu, he makes the person normally. It's a very derogatory one. It's a very stupid idea. And that comes from the lowest of the low. Take it from me. That comes from the lowest of the low. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. You get the gist. And that's why you to say that Nigerians are normal. Just wait. Just wait. But you are acting like one now. Uh -uh. Uh, so See, just you, wait. Relax. 
Follow. Relax. 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 You told me. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Remy, just one minute. Let me just let me put it out straight. Okay? Let me put it out straight. The truth is this. Personally, I don't do all this. Um, if that was why I came from the background, like I'm a proper Nigerian to the core. You get the gist. Not the only Yoruba I understand. Not the only Yoruba I understand. Kanjiko, not the only Yoruba I understand. So you cannot come and bamboozle me with a Omwale, Omwale, Kanjiko, I know my father and I know my mom. Like very well. Reputable words are that. So you, you will not come and, you will not sit there and call me Omwale for no reason. For what now? On to which level now? From where to where now? From where to where? He like me, he like you. On to what? Okay, just move on, please. Just forget it and move on. That is sometimes it ah, gets... every time I'm on your money. What what out Sarovish? What can Sarah da da da? Ah, what is your money? Your money everywhere. On top of okay. it now. Sorry, about on top of another person, uh, not another person ambition. Person where you know you know. People, yeah. Uh, for now, my apologies. Like, I want to, like, one man said, uh, apologies to you. Um, you know, uh, yeah. some, people, some people can't just stand a debate, rational debate here. Um, they just, sure. you know, what low. did we talk now? For that, for that, when they go low, we go high, right? Isn't it? Don't, yeah, because, of don't put more <laughs> fire into me, rational man. No, that's fine. That's fine. Like, uh, play, play, play play. Play. You are an elderly person. Don't put uh, don't put page, 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 page. Page. Don't, 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 Let's right. leave the page. Please let's talk to you. Oh yeah, now better people more than talk about more young. I beg. Ah, talk better thing. I was I was trying to engage you. And I'm I don't know you got your boss. I, I'm trying to tell you that there is first oh. line of charge when you receive your allocation for the federal allocation. Did you decide yeah. the money? The legislative arm also get that money. And the executive yeah. also get that money. So sometimes yeah. you can see what they deliberate in the Senate. Sometimes um, they can do whatever they want. The president cannot say, I right. don't have you, or the principal, uh, don't sure, buy no. or something like that. So it's uh -huh. not yes, what it is. Because when you practice a representative government, uh, like done by our 1999 constitution, everybody does have powers and limits. So yeah. the president cannot just do whatever he likes and tell anybody whatever he likes. This is not sure. the government. So I'm going to tell you that even if it be, I happen to be the president of Nigeria today, if, uh -huh. the, house, if the house want to buy their vehicle and they uh -huh. want to use their cradle, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. That, I'm telling you the truth. Because first of all, yeah, that was why I used the word. When, that was why I used the word earlier. By Lena Bo Olako. For the purpose of those that don't understand Yoruba, I was trying to say there is a way you say sorry and someone will take offense. And there's also a way you say sorry. And someone will agree with you and just, you know, there are some kind of insult you insult people and they wouldn't take it as insult. You know what I mean? It depends on how you communicate it. Yeah, I right? Agree. So, like, you can actually um, cajole them. And apart from even cajoling or not cajoling, if you have the support of the people, right? Trust me, you will, uh, you will get good. Yeah, yeah, Another yeah. thing is this. I'm coming. I'm not saying maybe OB would have won the election or not. That's not where I'm coming from. You get the gist. Election is um um it's over. has come and gone. But what I'm saying is, if OB comes out tomorrow, I will still vote for him on yeah, my own personal right, right? right yes. Anybody. So that that's that's where I'm trying to um um kind of communicate with you. And the truth is this: you see one thing. I don't like to assume God. I'm not God because there are so many things that have happened in my life that I've actually seen some kind of you know things that you feel is impossible. And the way it will come across, like you won't, you won't be able to explain it. Simplicity, like okay, this is how it happened. This is what I did, and stuff like that, right? I'm not saying I'm being religious here, right? But there are some kind of um, things that you would think tomorrow will be like this, and it won't be like that, right? So, like that's why I don't, I don't speak in the affirmative, like uh, na like this, na like that. It must be I like this, it must be like that. You get the gist. So, like, I'm just saying. Have, uh, an inclination of what right. happened to them. Maybe when they right. sleep or when they are thinking about something. And they might right. be okay that they can say something. But uh, sure. to me, generally, I, uh -huh. I say politics is about interest. And people oh, will sure. 
uh, like Obi is an opportunist, he used that opportunity and he <laughs> See, yeah. see, you see all those kind of um, English words that you guys now coined around Obi. Eh? I that's what I'm trying to say is this: everybody sees opportunities and, and use it. Opportunity will not come your way, Remy, and you go and sleep now. You no, I, I'm not, I'm you not grab it you. now for what I say, right? <laughs> so what I'm saying is this: if Obi is an opportunist, we can let him be an opportunity. Yeah, 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 an yeah. opportunist yeah. in his own way. Yeah. If opportunism is what will get him there, let him play it. Everybody, know? see, this is it. If all of us want to go, give me one minute. If all of us want to go from, let's say, we want to go from uh, Abuja to Abuja to Ibadan, you know, concern how I say go. I should go by flight. I should go by road. If I like, I stay for Lokoja, pass some night before I begin go. I reach Kogi, I pass another night and stuff. And someone is coming straight. So any which way, the most important thing is for us to get to our destination. So, if the way OB wants to get to his destination, is the way he's going about it. So be it. I think what you have done his own to get his own destination. Nobody's so disputing it. Uh, for la the beauty of yeah. everything from that last election that I like, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. The beauty of it is now is that religion will not play a big role in Nigerian politics in the future. Even if you like, if you are a presidential candidate from the from the south as a Christian, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. go and be. Uh, a, a VP Christian from the north. If it works for you, fine. If it does not work for you, I say politics are just a game. You can there are two results. Right. Either right. win or lose. If you right. lose, you come again. But the problem we have in our country, because when you are in Canada, the climate yeah. is so like if you lose today, you can come back and, and contest the game. But if you don't want to contest anymore, that's your ball game. But you do want yeah. to also contest and also bring a kind of um Tribe, too much tribal sentiment because right. the problem of Nigeria, when you look at it, we've around so many things, but the four major ones are insecurity, electricity, religion, and tribalism. Yeah, so if we can dance around or find a way to solve that kind of issue, mm -hmm. Nigeria does not, um, Nigeria as a country, as a country, I mean, as a country itself, the name Nigeria, it does not yeah. offend any Nigerians, it is we, the people that are Nigerians. What is the essence of because you lose an election and then you went online all over the world to backmark your country? The same country you want to rule, the same country you are using a passport. Are you also like uh, shooting yourself on the foot doing this kind of uh, of, mm -hmm. of, of That is one thing that a lot of people find a little bit uh, unbearable. Even if we happen to want to win the election, don't you right. think it's not going to be easy like that? Because you just oh, like definitely you said, no. Agent, if he has won. <laughs> You also want to partake in the government, one way or the other. You can buy for position. You can do this. And so many yeah. people also... One thing that about me that I don't really like is that the leadership, uh, how to say, uh, how to bring people together, how to find solutions. Like, for example, look at the Labour Party. They, they are just yeah. The truth it's is, nobody is perfect, right? Yeah. Nobody is perfect. Yeah. That one is. See, you, we have our strengths and we have our weaknesses, right? So, like, by the time you substitute strength um, for the weaknesses, like, you can, there's no person that is 100% um, good in all ways, right? We all have our lapses and all. So, definitely, he's out there as a public figure. So, definitely, your opportunity to see is um weakness and your opportunity to see strength definitely um so i'm it, very it, much into it, 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 that he has another yeah. chance and before we know it 2027 will come let him try again so of course yeah, of so course so, so the only problem i have so and the only problem i have is the way people yeah so are you saying mm. that we should wait in 2027 before you start campaign we start we start reaching i will only wait in 2027 no no he doesn't See, have to wait till 2027 now. The truth is now, he did not even, he did, did he go with any placard or did he, did you see well, anything? He, he didn't go know. like this campaigning, right? But we know on that one, indirectly, he's trying, he's trying to make himself known. And like, like I said earlier, any way a person won't take Richie Bando, make you, make you, make you go by that route. You so get you what know, I'm trying to say? So you don't, you don't mind the way he's playing his politics, uh, this tribe, uh, whatever you don't yeah, care. Yeah. Hey, Ogade, Ogade, just like I said earlier. Yeah, 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 ye
it not be he's not doing any religious whatever the truth is it was you guys that said he didn't permutate very well to the notch he didn't build bridges and now he's building bridges I love the bridge. Oh, I like it. I like it. To... Then we are going to see the result in 2027. Uh-huh. I like him to build the bridge. If the bridge can't collapse, no, then no. These are just naysayers. If, if the bridge... No, um, um, rational marriage. I know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, this but is the thing is this. For a long time. You understand see, everybody. See, so, uh, uh, the truth is this. Uh, let me build that bridge. At least here we will see the beauty of the bridge before we start condemning. If you carry left leg, you say no, yeah, he's supposed to carry like right leg. He carry right leg, you say no, he's supposed to carry left leg. He raise one arm, you say no, now the two hands is supposed to raise. They should do, like just give him some some breathing space. I know the A thread and everything comes around it, like oh okay, I, and especially with um most Tinubu supporters, like, okay, he's trying to, same, you know, it's similar wait, to you now. It's oh, wait, you hold on a sec, like, hold on a sec, like, hold on a sec, like, yeah, just, like, I don't like it, it's as a party, not as I need to be job. Get me, get me, get me, get me, um, Remy, I don't like APC as a party. There's nobody that is bearing APC now. If I check now, your name is APC, oh, now, so I think it's a platform now. now. So if I were to that you don't like me, so that doesn't. I didn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't rub me. Don't rub me. In. Don't rub me. In. I didn't say I don't like Tinubu supporters. Though. I was trying to. You didn't allow me to learn, right? It's I was right. trying to say right. something in regards to that. Like the I, I which one? How would I be saying I don't like somebody for what now? If my dad, even if my dad is contesting, will I not say I dislike someone that that doesn't support my dad because? The person is um, supporting someone else. I don't have any personal grudge with anybody. I said APC as a party, like collabo as a party. So like I'm not throwing stone at one individual. I remember the very um, beginning when I came on the platform and um, one man asked me a question. He said, what do I think about Tinubu? And I said, he's suffering from transfer of aggression, right? So, like, I don't have any issues with uh, Tinubu or no Tinubu. No. Tinubu is a man on his own. Like, he's, he's Tinubu. That's why we all have names. And I didn't call the individual. I called APC as a party, which is a platform. Just like I can, as I'm telling you now, I don't like the crops of people in Labour Party. Take it from me. Yes. There are some people that, is there everybody if in a group? You cannot like everybody in the group. You can um, counteract me on that. Like, you can't, you can't like everybody in a group. You get what I'm trying to say? So, but like, if you have issues with a group, it doesn't mean you have issues with everybody. No. But as a group, it has tainted it. Now, the um, Labour Party is suffering from the misdeed of Julius, Julius Aburi. But it's, it's now a collective Labour Party because it's a platform. So uh, that's no, where can, I'm I inter- from. can I interject? So don't please? don't say I I don't like Tinubu or I don't like Tinubu supporters. No, Pala, Tinubu supporters Pala, are just can normal I human beings. Sure, definitely. Go ahead. Um, you said you don't like um some certain uh, people in the Labour Party. Yeah. When sure. when when did you when uh, when did that uh, start? Is it before the election or after the election? The truth is, right from day one, you know now. You know now the crux of people. Like you, you know the, even before the election. But the, okay. there is one thing that Yoruba says. Let me okay, let me know. There's something that Yoruba says that when you when you're in the market, is the person you don't look at the noise in the market, right? You face the person you're dealing with. So definitely, everybody around someone might not. But that's 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 the good thing about it. Like for you to be able to um, deal with the dry balls and the wet ones and everything. Different people will come together. It's just management of the people. And that's what we call interpersonal relationship, right? So every party everywhere has their own cross of people. But out of APC, I can't just bear. That's the truth. Okay. Don't you think um, those, um, those uh, certain people that yeah. if, for example, now, maybe Labour Party had won the election, that they were... Yeah. 
impact that will impact the administration negatively? This is it. If someone shows their hand, the, the truth is even all these things are exactly nobody is saying a system will be perfect. Nobody is saying everything should be perfect. But the ability for you to, to take some decisive decision is what matters. People want to see um uh what's this um, word that they use like the the word just escaped me now. But like it's the intention that matters. People want to see the handwriting. People want to see the decisiveness. You know what I like? The repercussion, what comes after. Like, if this is done, what happens? Those are the things that people want to see. You get what I'm trying to say? There is always, there will definitely be people that will not do well. But your ability to weed them out is the most important thing. And that's what I'm waiting for in Labour Party. Okay, thank you. If you try someone and the person is not giving you what you want, you discard the person, even if the person is your sibling. Those are the leadership traits. Those are what, what matters. And I know Nigeria is lacking it on all fronts right now. I must tell you the truth. And the truth is, the one that even pisses me the most is we're losing our moral grounds in that country. Everything passes. It now feels like everybody is you know, partisan. Everybody is aligned to a religion. Everybody is aligned to a tribe. You can't be objective anymore. Like, it's very rare before you find people that are objective. It's very rare before you see people that are talking from a neutral stand. Everybody is talking from one window or the other. Just like you say something and someone will call you a money. You say another thing, someone will tell you, oh, maybe you're Igbo, maybe you're Yoruba, maybe you're Alsa. The division is like, it's, it's, it's too visible. And I think people should cut down on that. The earlier we, we, we realize that, the better for us. Like we should cut down on those um, dirty sentiments. And just say things according to, you know, as it is. Not because I'm supporting somebody, then everything must be perfect from that, that angle. And but, if someone is doing wrong, you can't call it out because, okay, you're a Christian or because you're a Muslim or because you're supporting somebody. That's what is, that is what is being, like, that is what is being sought right now. And it didn't start from 2023 election, by the way. No, it didn't start from 2023 election. It was brewing. But it just manifested into blown, you know, this blown glare in 2023. But it was brewing from the scratch. You can feel it. You can feel it. The whole of Eagle Square and everything, you could feel it from 2015. Okay, 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 okay. I was about to ask the same thing. Uh, anyway, well, thank, you. thank you guys. We thank you guys for having me. They, they yeah. had the My sister. sister. Yes, yeah, so. My sister, it's good to have you. Is that Adewale? Yes, it's good to have you around. Adewale or Anola, my people. Yes. I hear you. Uh, even I though. You, I hear you, you, but I can't do You belong to obedience. Yeah, I know. I know. It's uh, it's good to have you around. Um, I, I enjoyed your your stand, but I would when when uh, we have area to criticize, we'll criticize. But at least oh, for the first time, we have it's a allowed, feeling. No? It's allowed. It's allowed. Criticism is not the same, right? You. It's when people take it personal that makes uh, it not good. The whole thing. Sometimes you get what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you know, people get you passionate know, about. Like, uh, no, passionate it, it, is different. No, be to yeah. call it a uh, No, people have because of another person. Uh, hard time to to separate the personal and uh, you know when we talk about you know politics generally in Nigeria, people have hard time sometimes to separate. But I guess it comes from the place of passion, and and I always say that rigid people are always the most difficult people in life. You have to be flexible to some extent. And sometimes, some of us play devil's advocate on this show, even though we know we just want to be, let's just probe. And that is one good thing because most of the thing we do on this show is more purely academics. We, you know, we learn from each other. Sometimes people have in-depth knowledge about subject matters, and we share that idea. And sometimes opinions sometimes do uh, clash. And, and in that case, you know, I always wish that we have 
uh, time to, you know, just uh, listen to each other and all that. But sometimes we get the goals and some people enjoy it. I don't enjoy basketball because when you have too much noise, uh, uh, you know, I think my own get is different. Yeah, yeah no, we do exactly. So, you know, in the course of, I think one person that will always, you know, circle around on this show most uh the most is a uh, russian mind we like to attack him every now and then and trust he give it to and us I, I, funny enough i like the fact that he has the balls to take it like you, it's, you get it's what not he's like he's not a good boss <laughs> he, 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 he use the word he's saying i mean i want to use it no 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 really you see you see russian mind uh, you don't know the worth of something until you no longer have that thing. And that's one beautiful thing about you getting involved in a, in a show like this and contribute. To be, to be honest, it's not that I'm pressing, you know, I don't even like your opinion anyway, but it's, it's, it's something <laughs> I appreciate it because, you know, you say it the way you feel, you know, and just like, look, I would say on this show, I've have different views. Sometimes I will say things that people just like, why is this guy saying things? Sometimes yeah. you just say just to throw out there, you know, people will, right. um, you know, want yeah. to sample how other people feel that way and all that. And that's one good sorry, thing about though. it. Hey. Uh, one thing, one thing too, I want to, I want, I, sorry, just let me say one thing. Another thing is this, I didn't know Obi from 2023 election, so I knew, was, actually, I knew him when he was the governor. That one is a fact. Is like, you so, mean Obi? Yes, yes, yes. I knew him right from when he was a governor, right? Like, he's not as if I just accidentally stumbled onto him or something. No, not at all. And I've even met him before at the airport, right? Like, so, like, <clears throat> it comes from a different, um, wherever entirely. Apart from, say, I've met him before, and um, it's not as if um, someone just met me on the road and started preaching a bit to me. You understand what I'm saying? Or it's not as if I went online and started digging some kind of a uh, just to want to know him. No. And actually I do a question too. Like I know so much I know like <laughs> I know to an extent about him as well. Because I usually used to travel to Lagos. So I used to go on holidays for me to Lagos and all. Like and I like I said vividly, twenty fifteen election was under my nose, right? I remember all those periods that they were trying to campaign for Buari and all. So, like, it's not something that I just woke up to. I remember my cousin's house then used to be where they come and meet and you understand that kind of thing. So, it's it's not as if I just stumbled into it. Like, like someone said, I, I've been brainwashed. No, no. Okay. Uh, uh, for, that, for that, on that, Obi, if I told you that Obi knew he was going to contest one day, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he decided to be a Cordinius. <laughs> and a what? Decided, and decided to be a narcissist to the point that at every point in time when he made presentation, people, uh -huh. uh, you know, those people that were better than him were uh -huh. practically correcting him. For example, Kemi uh -huh. Oshun. You know, mm -hmm. when OB was presenting his uh, false data, mm -hmm. Kemi Oshun said, hey, where is uh, His Excellency Le Peter OB? Please don't let him go. That mm -hmm. he needed to explain something that because those things were not accurate. See, look, look, look at this from this from this angle. You know, you know, in Nigeria, over time, I've noticed that we fall for those people that are well versed in the way they talk, you know, that yeah. they are a, a good narcissist that they can present things. Yeah. An example of a narcissist in that Nigerian space, the personally, this is my personal opinion, right. Islam, Islamido Sanusi. Yeah. You know, for those of us that work in the bank, we know that since I can recall, since I can remember, since I can remember, Soludo has yeah. been the best CBN government that Nigeria has ever produced. Mm -hmm. Joseph Sanusi was a Yoruba man. He was there up to Sali, up to up to the time Sali, Sali Bek, uh, arrived. What did he do? You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, one of my best, one of my best finance uh, finance, uh, finance ministers so far has been Okonjo Weala. Now, yeah. look at those two people. When they say fact, when they make their presentation, 
Mm -hmm. You cannot argue. Just tell me a day that Okunjowala mm -hmm. will make a data and it will become a point of controversy. Okay. Um, uh, to... Yes, ma. Ah, Biko, no use ma for me, Biko. No, no, no. Um, I, well, yeah, every woman is my so <laughs> You don't talk to my daddy. <laughs> it's my dad that calls every married woman ma. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, so like, uh, like I was saying, right? Okay. Like, um, I, I, I don't know if you noticed something. Obi is not good with words. Like, he's, he's not, he's not, um, he's not an orator. And that is, you know, I know that is right, really, really, um, affecting him to an extent. He really completes his words. You know how you will be going on, uh, on a transit and just end it in the middle of nowhere. So like some people, that's why I said everybody has their own shortcomings. You get uh, all those that are on a secondary in terms of uh, leadership no, right no, now. So, sorry to cut you short. That one cannot now asking. make him to. We cannot use the fact that maybe he makes mistake in data. Let not be saying that exam no, won't go right. Not be jam in one right now. You you may not be a narrator. Yeah, you understand, but you still present your facts, not lies. When you present lies or you misrepresent data, then mm -hmm. you have some kind of intention. You have a purpose. Or probably you assume that people will not fact check you. So when, the, when, when this misrepresentation is becoming consistent, mm -hmm. then there's a problem somewhere. So there's a thing, you have an intention to mislead people. You understand? Okay, look at this drama now. Mm. We went to Egypt to understudy our electricity vigil. That's rubbish. In mm. a global village, you, you, you don't need that. You just need some people to bid and make presentation, okay, and come to you, make presentation, this is how you are going to do things. You went to Egypt to create attention, to wait, to, to create some kind of emotion, to whip up emotion. Uh, now, we're trying to try to talk now. Everybody gets your own style. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The old to galvanize people, to make people yes. to notice me, notice me or I die. Uh -huh. wait, wait. Some wait, people don't like that. I will still go back to that 2015 because I did for now that Facebook with it. With, I did enough bad boost on when people were talking of worry. This man is honest, mm -hmm. and some people. I'm lie. honest, you know. Which worry honest? That's what they were presenting in 2015 now, where and he, uh, I know now, I remember all this time. Right. And they were the same people that told us that the the grasses in the bush he will suffer during his uh, 1984. Just 1985. like you are presenting, just like you obedient are presenting OB. No, not be so. Okay, okay. In, in not 2015, so. in, in 2015, mm. were you going to say that there were no how many cows? How many cows body gets? If, if, How many cows body gets since all these years? You cow multiply. Even the cow says to burn, so the cow to burn. Now what? In so cow let's multiply. Even, let's even start it from there. Ah, uh, so that's even of it. You you don't fit tall two to four. You you can't express to make you can't double your economy. That's possible. Uh, How uh, now? Uh, but 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 for now, but for now. There are two different now. things. Was there no? Were, were there? Was okay. It the the fact that Buari did some projects as an administrator, what he did in the in past, in past was speaking for it. They were speaking for him in 2015. Don't factor it. What I'm trying to okay, say but, is that... Alan, one minute before you go, just one interjection, sorry. But, you know, the, the, flip the coin now. They were talking for Buari, but Obi, he brings himself out. Namibi, he asked me a question. He talked by himself. Nobody you do much peace for him. Like he, you could vividly say, okay, he said this, he said that. Even if he's lying, you have something to hold on to. So that's where the difference is. In, in, you know one thing, my sister. Can I just? Is that not why some of some of the spokesperson of uh, Buari was no, saying no, that? No, when no, they no, did I did want to your mabi. One dollar two. Let me just add this thing to Fola. What I was saying is this, Fola. Even in 2015, the facts were there that. Buari did well in some certain aspects. Facts. Not uh -huh. that he was totally poor in some certain uh -huh. aspects. 
the fact is on ground truth that Obi did well in some certain aspects. But when mm -hmm. you now want to enlarge, you want to go on large scale now. But they did it for everybody now. At the weaknesses. So the weakness, see, Obi and uh, and Tino and uh, Obi and uh, Abuari, they are limited. That's that's my that, that, that's my hypothesis. Uh, uh, Ola, uh, let's they be limited. Limited. You won't come tell me, say, Ashiwa, you know they limited. Who not they limited? Even you when they speak, you they limited now, uncle. You get some kind of limitations too now. Why I'm saying no because uh, uh, because 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 uh, uh, because approach of Tinobu as 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 we proving over time that his approach is more innovative. It's, it's a higher risk. Go and it, it, because if, if you draw some kind, some kind of fast chart now, you will see that his approach over time has been more successful on large scale than the type of approach. That the like of uh, Obi and Buari want to use because all you uh -oh. want to do, uh -oh. do uh -oh. not the uh -oh. uh, no verse, not the non bam, not the non bam which that Buari narrative they say approach uh -oh. Buari, Buari, Buari uh -oh. and Obi want to use. She be, Buari has already ruled his own, as Obi has Obi done his own. Uh, separate us. So, are we going to wait for Obi to now break to now do us Buari again? That's the point. So I don't know. Say you don't. I don't know. Say you don't feel the. You don't savvy read people no, tomorrow. No, there, there, there's a pattern. There, 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 there is a pattern. Ask mathematicians like maybe maybe are they well yeah. mathematician? I don't know. What, what, what yeah. pattern are you talking about? Pattern. See, like, see, like, the truth is this. The truth is this. Uh, let me be candid with you. You know one thing. I just felt that um um this whole thing. The way the election was right. If there was a room. That the Nigerian people by themselves were able to elect somebody. Nobody is saying the person must be the must be this, must be that, or something. Like if you don't do well, they that goes you out of the whole place. You get the ability of the fact that you can hire and fire. That one would have just set Nigeria straight. Okay. See the, the fact the, the, that people, the day the day our election starts to come. Nigeria well, will let, go forward. Let, Take it let, from let me. me. Let me give you a dangerous pattern from Obi. And, huh? uh, let me give you a dangerous pattern from Obi and uh Oh, I can't hear you. You're breaking. Abi, am I the one? Can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, it's better now. Now, I said, let us look at a dangerous pattern from Obi and Buari. All the approach is more of court costing. You're breaking. Court Cut cutting, uh, cost cutting. For well, I think it's from your side. Am I the one? Okay, it's from my side. Yes. Okay. So, 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 so the, the approach is more of cost cutting. Then, when all you live for is cost costing, and you are not even looking looking at expansion, where a country is is increasing in population. Hey, sorry. And the dynamics. In the Am I the one breaking or is all Someone said it's from your side. For lies is from your end. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. So so we're, How about we're, now? We're, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So when the world is expanding at an aggressive rate and our population too is increasing, all you want to do is the, the, the fixed asset we have, all you want to think about is I want to cut cost, but you are not even looking at how to expand <laughs> to accommodate the growth. <laughs> It's a dangerous train. So, okay, okay. No, it's not you. It's not you. I'm not laughing. So, so I saw something there. That's why. So, so as an investor, if you're an investor now, you look at expansion than those people that are trying to restrict. So that's why I said when you look at Buari and 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 this guy and Obi, they both have the they both have common pattern, and so common pattern like that is not. I don't know why it's breaking. I can barely hear you. Oh my goodness! So I'm aware. I'm, I'm enjoying this discussion. Okay, maybe may, maybe my side is contributing to the break. Here. So yeah, I what, kind of change position now, and it's let, still let, let the Wally talk. The Wally has been trying. I don't to know if it's me. I was just trying to. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, the, yeah, the, very, the right network here. was. I don't know. Somebody's network Everybody. is uh, affecting what? everyone. What was affecting everyone? Yeah, I saw someone's um yeah, comment here. From someone said, side. according I to Paula, one idea you. He said the only reason she became obedient is because her dad was kidnapped despite campaigning for APC. I never said I campaigned for APC in 2015. Never. Like, 
I never campaigned for APC. I never voted for APC. Not even, not once in my life. So he said, please book a therapy and heal your trauma. I never said I had any trauma, man. Plus, okay? Plus. Please. But, I mean, it's, Let's it's, do it's a little. Trauma, little. Being in trauma if you go through that kind of experience. I mean, you see, what I'm saying is, this is what we're always saying about this APC, mm. Abado people, and their and their lack of uh, their lack of empathy and emotional intelligence sometimes. Mm. I mean, like somebody like Daniel here. Oh, right right no, Jackie, Sorrow, Jackie, Sorrow, Jackie, Sorrow, no. right mm. I have to repeat the same right. crap that he always repeat here. You know, you are on your way, you are idiot, you are kineko, you are moali. You I mean, I don't get it. So, I mean, hear this guy talking in the comment section because somebody's expressing how she feels and she has said why she believes Obi is the... Just because she doesn't support uh, APC or your Chinubu, now you have to tell her to go and do therapy. I mean, who does not have trauma in that country? That country called Nigeria. Who will be dead that will not be traumatized? Some of us we see here, we're still reeling from the trauma we, we suffered when, while we were there. We're still trying to heal ourselves from there. You see, when these APC people, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't I mean, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, what is wrong? What is wrong with some of these APC and Badu people? I mean, not my Badu. I don't mean not Badu. Sorry, Rashad. This is do man. This is do man. We need to do something Hello, about this. Hello, Hello, that's what they call. That's what they call you on this show. So you are you sounded more like a dude than you were. But you know, let's let let's do let let's do some revision. Okay, it is easier to just um you know get to this assumption stage and conclude that look um. We are all everything is all gloom and doomed, but you see, we have to understand the peculiarity and of our society called you know Africa generally. It's same disease ravaging Nigeria, ravaging the entire continent in terms of uh, you know political uh, instability and you know um, embezzlement and all those. It's same whether we are from the south or the eastern part of the Africa is the same thing. But you see. The moment we have a grasp of that, you know, the kind of society that we have, it, the, the picture becomes more clear. You know, yes, APC has been in government now for the past, uh, you know, nine months, nine years. But you see, when we get to this, uh, when we arrive at this uh, fourth republic, there were a high, lot of expectation, high expectation, actually, you know, but the government we've had since the inception of this fourth republic has proven to be, um, you know, incapable. And it's not their fault. It is a collective fault. It's the collective problem. Why do I say this? Before we arrive at this fourth republic, the constitution that we operate upon was imposed on the country. And... Uh, and actually, I'm not. I wasn't surprised when I heard that uh, the governor of Lagos State, you know, was in an, uh, agreeing with uh, Shiv Labode Judge that the constitution has to be revisited and uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, revisionist keep on my was not revisionist. Uh, what do you call it, woman? Uh, this agitation of uh, uh, referendum. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, restructuring referendum or, or restructuring. You... Thank you. Exactly. You know, when I heard that the, you know, one of the most richest state in the southwestern part of the country, uh, executive is agreeing with the opposition on restructuring. That's when I knew that. Look, I think Otidojue. But you see, why are we not operating at a full lane, full capacity, our capacity, or utilizing the best brain that we have in our society? I think it comes from, it stems from cultural deficiency. Uh, earlier today, I heard a kind of which I actually, you know, question is rational behind that thinking that, you know, we expect somebody who is occupying a public position to utilize it for the purpose of his kinsmen. And that is a problem because we don't have loyalty to the country. Our patriotic stand is questioned. Now, when you have somebody who occupied a position in the public sphere that is supposed to be a political, right? Because you're supposed to be seen but not or heard but not seen. 
you know, your policies, the monetary policy is supposed to be working behind the closed door. It's supposed to be the watchdog to the financial institutions and helping to strengthen the, uh, the, the, the currency. But when you are now being seen for looking with the politicians and carrying out their dirty works and becoming the lender to private and, you know, and that is where the problem lies. And we've come to that point where that is the norm now. Now, so we should look inward and question the level of our patriotism. Now, yes, we've had unrest, we've had kidnappings. I don't expect somebody going through, you know, such a uh, horrendous uh, scenario of uh, having a family member being kidnapped to even have, uh, you know, staying that the country, you know, or believe in that country. I don't expect that. But you see, I, I always look at things with the hope and with the belief there's always a, you know, a, a silver lining. All right. On a daily basis in the countries of, uh, that we adopted as our own country mm -hmm. now, on a daily basis, we have crime being committed at every corner in America or in Europe or wherever we are. And we have media reporting it, but it has not become the norm that, okay, this is where society is. But you see, we are not that big. So we expect that by now we will have transformed. How do you transform in the means of poverty, in the means of, because you look at it. I do uh, our neighboring countries, hold on one second. Let me, let me, mm -hmm. let me. Yeah. Our neighboring countries are going through the same things, right? And you expect, you know, in in, in, in the local parlance, there's something called about Fagburu, Guru Fagbo. I used to support Obi. I used to believe, and the reason why I supported Obi was one thing only that at least. When, when was that? Time, when, when was that? When did you support? Oh, no, I don't know. I remember when. Way before I even joined this platform, not that I supported him by being, you know. Uh, but you, you know. were kind of diplomatic. You were in between. You it, don't it, know if when you go right no, or no, when no, you go left. No, no, no. So I, you were kind I, of diplomatic I, in between. I, 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 I remember vividly. Okay, maybe you follow that. Uh, that. <laughs> but I, I wanted it, to say something though. We can start from somewhere. Is my take. Right? Yeah, we of course we can. We can start from somewhere. Of that course, people are of... sleeping doesn't mean you should join them and sleep. You get the gist. No. Oh, you see, this is okay. Let me let me go back again. Now, why do I support him? It's not because of himself. It's not because I believe he has the I mean, the capacity to lead the country. I just wish and I wanted that an evil man would become the president in my lifetime. Maybe that would have quite a lot of agitations that we have in the land now. That was the main reason I supported. But you see, the reason why it seems that I was not fully embracing publicly was because I could see that some of his stands were shallow, just like you have the rest of them. And I, I look at his antecedent. He came from uh, APGA to PDP, you know, junketing around political platforms like that she tells me about who you are. If yeah, but I don't actually, get ideology for no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, look at she already created a party and stuck with it. He's, I mean, he, he neck and everything. He's not moving. It's not yielding ground. We know him for he that, right? Now, it would take somebody like that to convince me. I'm not talking about him being uh, you know, rambushers like a uh, but somebody yeah individual differences right level-headed yeah. you know you see mm -hmm. our society is complex mm -hmm. i understand that you grew up in abuja for like a, you you live in that hybrid nigeria kind of you know society that's supposed to be the uh uh example of how nigeria should be you know cohes cohesive and all that but deep down deep down we have our differences that are so huge, but we're trying to, you know, make it look as if it's not there. And honestly, you're not the first person that will say, look, you know, if you look at the way things were in Abuja, I mean, you could see everybody, people from different corners of the country coming to live there and all that. The same thing in Lagos. But by the time you started going deeper, you now started seeing the difference that we are not talking about. Right, I can't go to local journal and say, "Look, I want to consider this." But maybe my family has lived there for twenty or fifty years. I will not. They will, I will not be allowed to. Right, and in the constitution that we operate, it guaranteed everybody 
freedom to life and also you can contest where you are there's nothing that say you are bad not to contest for this public office but because of our differences that is why someone like me will not be able to contest election in local jail or in uh in uh, okine or anywhere in the north right but you see it's it starts from us the reason why some of us seems to be you know supporting tinumbu it's not because he doesn't have his own uh blemish okay we've seen what he could do as an administrator the moment when we when we came from the authoritarian regime and went to civilian there were a lot of things that were supposed to have Assuming we were just moving from one civil and you know from one civilian to another civilian, you will have been operated operating on an autopilot. But it was like a um a, a test run uh, where you are now sampling things where we don't we don't we didn't have any template. And the president at that time that's supposed to have done something, perhaps you know, uh maybe uh introduce the uh the uh the uh um uh, uh or, or facilitating a negotiation uh, uh public hearing about the uh the confab and constitutional amendment and all that he did it he was operating with a high-handed and i'm talking about he was using the military mentality to rule the country that was when he was declaring emergency in some states including anambra yeah. So we we had those anomalies playing out, and it was taking. That was when we were changing president president virtually every month, right? This same regional that's now you know uh, 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 agitating and clamoring for their own shot at the presidency or the national level, were more or less like that president the president has been zoned to that era. This is your this is your right. So this is what you take. Virtually everyone coming up until. It, gets to david mack and and if you look at that trend was going back to the north simply because southerner became a president so some of the leaders we've had since this fourth republic has been operating you know on their own um uh what do you call it fakety you make it kind of platform or, or, or settings right and we also have some people with interest i won't call them stakeholders because <coughs> You remember when uh, our sister uh, Betty Edu, Edu yeah. was uh, found to be, you know, compromising our position? What yeah. did you see? You see people from our place carrying playing cards, saying the government should be magnanimous and should have tempered measures. You know, all these things. And I look at it this way: it is our mentality. It is us that is the problem, not the people that we elected, not the likes of Tinubu, not the obese. And I tell you what. I don't care how people support that man, okay? Every single candidate from the day one of the existence of that country, they've been coming from the point of populism. I will speak to what is affecting you, what is your problem is. But the solution, the roadmap to that solution, they never present it. And that is how every single one of them has been coming out, including the incumbent. They did that the same 2015 we're talking about. So every single one of them are become. That's why I never believe in his own ability to govern us because that country is so complex. It's so complex. I mean, if you have ever had anybody in a national assembly to tell you their story, they will tell you, "Look, this country is the most complex society ever, 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 you know, elected into." Because some yeah, of the nobody is disputing that, right? I mean, look like, at look, nobody look is at, disputing that. Look at the, the truth that, is, there's nothing that is actually simple, anyways. If you look at it from, there's no level you get to in life that is kind of easy. Then please, um, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. My dad is not a politician, like he has no incline with politics at all. He has never one one day campaigned for anybody or done anything regarding um um elections. He only voted once in his life. And that was during Obasanjo. So my dad is not because I saw the um a dear year somebody saying probably because um, my dad campaigned for APC and then he didn't get his his share. That's why I'm kind of uh, that's the problem. There's nobody that now comes out like you can't say anything out of objectivity. People must read so many meanings and innuendos to what you're saying. Like try to rationalize what you're saying. It's not so. I don't have any issue with um, if you voted for um, APC or you support. No, 
there are two different like everybody within you, right? So my dad doesn't have to be a politician before I I I'm not a kid now. Abba, go ahead, Adewale. Okay, like I was saying, you know, uh, sometimes you want to do the right thing. You want to do just by your people. You want to do the right thing. But you know, that's when you now started having people coming up to um, influence your decision. And I've heard people say, well, most of our leaders are incompetent. Not really. It is us. You see, this moment society sees that, look, I, look, even sometimes uh, last week, I was uh, arguing with my own biological brother. Uh, we have a family member who was elected as uh, a state house of assembly members. And uh, I, I was trying to defend, you know, uh, him because the expectation was just too much. I'm not talking about in terms of legislating. I'm talking about monetary expectation, right? But he couldn't bear it anymore because his job was just to make law. But people misconstrued that as some, of course, he will have a deep pocket. My own brother was telling me that, look, what about the constituency allowance or whatever that's been given to them? I was like, Jesus Christ. You see, when we have elected, that's why I always, I, I, I know for a fact, uh, we, we were all alive when all these people, all these actors who were, you know, occupying one position or the other, you know, in the past. We knew the antecedent. We know what they've done. Nobody can, me especially, nobody can bubble me, all right? But you see, sometimes you have to compare the devils that you have. Which one do you think will favor you? The current administration that we have, and I can tell you this, they meant well, even the same uh, Buhari meant well. But, you know, when it was coming in, there were a lot of expectations. You remember his own wife even cried out that his administration has been hijacked. Hijacked by who? Hijacked by party member and yeah. anger and people with interest, right? What they do is this. What they do is this. For every single money voted for certain project is always hijacked from the party line downward if there's anything that's supposed to go to the public because this is the way they maintain party since 1960 that is how it's always be if you ever be a party member in nigeria you will understand especially when you are at the top level okay because on the monthly basis when allocation is given to the state certain part of portion of that allocation goes to the party secretariat so they get this boss all the way down to the local level, to the unit level, okay? That is how they maintain party. Now, yeah. and in such a way, when you have people coming with good intention, but for them to be able to hold that position, to even do good by their own people, they are already being compromised because they have no choice than to saw their hand. So it that is why it seems that most of the people we have elected to the public office are not doing right. Every single day, somebody will send email. So somebody will come. What do you think should be the solution to that? This, uh, okay. I, I, now, I, I, you see, sorry, so, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but like, um, I need to go now. I didn't want to leave rudely, so I just wanted to say thank you for having me. And uh, it's nice having you, Fola. Um, you, yeah, you've no been really thank awesome. I, I, I hope you'll be joining us from time to time. We, <laughs> we the one man welcome, you know, diverse opinion. That's why you could have some crazy, crazy people on yeah, the show, sure, and you yeah. also have some cool ladies person like me on the show. I know. Uh, you know, who doesn't? I was just anybody. in the mood today, yeah. and I said, um, please, Pobo, let please. me see if I can, let me see if I can, you know. <laughs> Please, come up always, to the platform because I usually I have this fear like okay I don't think I can no, survive in this kind of look, environment look, but like when, you guys have been come, very good and accommodating I can say like it's been kind of relaxing apart yeah. from one or two you know but it's it's one of those things you oh. like you can't say something and everybody will agree with you uh, mm -hmm. it's not possible yeah. now, you know so, uh, but like, I can tell you uh, when you come I can tell you that even my man will protect you even though <laughs> if you have a different view or opinion you're still going to be protected and look we, <laughs> I think one man welcome you know different views and especially from women he, he loves that that uh, uh, you know different version of because when men talk men talk from the I don't know maybe we call it misogynist point of view yeah Remy 
yeah, because I, you, I asked you a question. You yeah. Said, uh, you are also thinking about vying for political posts in future. Okay? Amy, K. Amy, lie, lie. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I can't do. I don't have that lever. Funny want, enough, you want more women. That's the. Ah problem. no no no. I'm not. Um, I'm not in that space at all. Like I can't you be. A why, anyway. why not? Why not? No 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 no. no, no, no. When it comes when it comes to public speaking and all, right? I can talk. I can you know. I can socialize. I can mingle with people and stuff. That's what it is. But That's no, what no, it no, is. no, 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 not politics. Not politics. I'm not wired. Did I? Then I, I'm not what a crooked you person. Think? Like what before you can before you can be successful in Nigerian politics, you have to be crooked. Like you have to, you can't be straight. Do you think uh, that's no, what I'm saying. Like you, you can't be you straight. So like you don't have to be crooked. You have to be nah. living with the devil. Like you becoming <laughs> yeah, the, like, the real <laughs> devil. Well, they <laughs> see, I'm not fit. I'm not fit. I'm not gonna lie you. Hear me? I'm not fit though. You want people like Ghani to be attacking her, right? <laughs> but you see, you see, you see, you see, you see what happened. You see what happened for Lara. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, during the 2023 election, a lot of opportunists attacked that opportunity by yeah. belonging to Labour Party and get elected mm -hmm. to public office for them to embezzle money. Yeah. Because they have no affinity to nobody other than their political part. So nobody mm -hmm. is demanding anything. They know they are probably not coming back in the next election, but they want to mm -hmm. utilize that opportunity for themselves. So no, maybe if this opportunity will, comes like that. Nah, I can't. I can't. They, they may I'm, not I'm, 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 the thing is, I'm not a politician at all. Like, at all, at all, at all. I'm not. I'm not. Funny enough, like, in my family, they don't even talk about politics and all like my dad was surprised when he when he came the last time and he saw me talking about even my mom was like ah, uh -uh you won't know do you understand like on a good day i'm not um i'm not really into politics like i know what i know but yeah, i don't talk to myself like that. so yeah. let me yeah, ask, no, let me no, ask no, you no, for that. you live in the united yes, states sir. right i live in what you live in the united states right no 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 i'm in canada Oh, okay. I thought you were in the United States. I wanted yeah. to ask you who you are supporting, Trump or Biden. Nah, it, it, that's okay. the thing. Even that one said no concern me. Okay. Even my Trudeau, where they yes, I just know say Trudeau did yeah. I don't know any Good. other thing. Like Good. I'm not Good. really Good. a political because that is where person. I fight with everybody that opposes my own kind. So that nah, they nah. own you can keep that but US too rough now. Nah. I'm not feeling for US now. US too rough. My party is also not here. So you are good to go at the Wale. No, yeah. it's not about Biden. Where, where do you lean? Where do you lean? Are you Biden? Who me? I'm a, I, I'm no, a card no, carry no. member of Democratic Party. Democratic oh yeah. Party. Good okay. So uh, every not just election. As a matter of fact, there's a by election coming in May in my uh, in my uh, what do you call it in my uh, uh, city. In the my my the mayor of my city. Uh, resigned because he became mayor so uh this is a state at the state level but that is how 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 i you know the dedicated i am when it comes to uh participating in the election you see that is one thing i wish every single nigerians will you know uh, uh do by participating in an electoral election or electoral process it's it creates awareness because sometimes it brings the candidate close to people but mm -hmm. a lot of time the Nigerians don't even have ideas of who is representing them, what they stand for, what is what is their motive. What they have no idea of that. Where is the light? Where is it? Why is the light that they're going to know? They're going to know what is going on in on the TV. And but because people don't participate. No, no, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't blame the Nigerian people. You blame All right, the... guys. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Now thank go you so much. Mm. Catch you for okay. good night. Good night. Bye. 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 You, you won't mind. Yeah. See? So um, you, hold on, hold on. You see, the thing is, you 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 can't you cannot blame our people back home. It's the system. The system is designed to put our people in perpetual ignorance. You but know? you'll be surprised too. Yeah. You'll be yeah, surprised too that even here in America, okay, you know what, you know what? there is uh there is a orchestrated plan. All right, not just to disenfranchise people, but to actually um how do I put this now? um make them not to in, be interested in politics or participating in an election that's the one you know every year in year out 
we have people in this country, whether you want to agree with me or not, it's not because I'm a, a Democrat, that have, they do not have ID card. Someone like you and I, that takes years to become part of this society, to pleasure in you know having an ID card and all that. But you see, for the fact that they belong to this society, they, they're retired, they're old, right? It's only during the election they don't even have the desire to go out because maybe they don't have means of transportation. These are older people, right? But because they are uh, at the vulnerable stage or they are old and they are seniors, and the, the the society, I mean, the the the, the political uh, class wanted to, you know, uh, uh, kind of like. Uh, Put them at a disadvantage so and these people have no reason to have an idea other than just maybe some of them that draw a pension or i mean sorry the retirement or social security stuff that they have to go and identify themselves so some of them do not even have their uh, birth certificate they don't even keep it okay because they don't have reason to be you know doing all that they've done that all the years so those, uh, can I come this, in here, Diwali, this class of people okay go ahead uh, i'm sorry uh, I will only talk about the Nigerian context. People are politically aware in Nigeria because I've seen so many people go to... No. No, 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 let me finish. No, let me finish. Uh, the point is this in Nigeria. The elite or people that are highly educated or educated one way or the other, sometimes they see politics as dirty, something not to be touched. If you want to join politics in Nigeria, do you have the, do you have the voodoo? Do you have the money? Do you have the time? So many things. It's totally cut truth. And some people, they cannot bear that. They will prefer to go their own business. Sometimes, from the Southwest, they will think that, oh, because you don't have a job, that's why you go and join party. Every time, meeting, 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 meeting. But I've seen somebody that started from a counselor. Today, he's in the House of Red in Abuja. And when he started, we are made. I would just used to laugh at him. Come on, you don't have nothing to do. So the point is this, the politics of Nigeria might be totally different from the one in America. People are, but now, because Nigeria is in big trouble, that is why people are now having more, polit they are now politically aware. They are now thinking that, oh, we should hold our governors uh, accountable. Before, nobody cares. But now, because if to say Nigeria is not in a deep shit now, do you think, sorry for my language, do you think people will be saying, our government is not doing this, our government is not doing that? It's because of the trouble we find ourselves. So that people are, so the beauty of it is that in the next four years, we can see that people will now be saying, what did you do for the last four years before we can vote you in? More and more people are now becoming more politically aware. It's totally different from the insinuation you have that uh, an average majority. Everybody knows what is going on except they don't want to join. I have the opportunity to join. I was a member of a youth team, but I decided to go through the educational route and continue to work, 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 work. But those who put themselves there, toying day and night, meetings upon meetings, supporting this leader, that leader, they, at the end of the day, they also get position. And some of them climb up the ladder, and some of them find death along the way. Some of them find being incapacitated, they can't do nothing. So it's like a, it's like a journey. If you are lucky, you get there. If you are lucky, you just, so. You'll be surprised that the level of political awareness in Nigeria is very low. Look, um, if thank God for social media, social media is the only reason why some people even have an idea who is their governor. They don't. Well, well, well you, you might be right. I totally agree. And you know this. Yeah. And you know the funniest thing, Remy? Yeah. What I've seen happening in this democratic dispensation, I'm talking about this current one that we have, uh -huh. is that social media influencers are, be are being used yes, yes. to shape yes. people's view and opinion. Yes. They are being paid in such a way that continuously churning out misinformation, yes. untrue stories, yeah. Or uh, sometimes have some soundbite or headlines that are captivating enough to shift people's views. Yeah. And that is what you have. And it has played out in the United States, in the North America, and also 
in Europe, especially in France. And so I also I believe you can see that the last kidnapping in Kaduna, it was only 137 students, but they had nine red 287. Mm -hmm. You see that? Hold on, hold on. Tinobos, Tinobos, uh, paper, uh, the nation said to something that you said that. That's what is on the paper today. That was no, released. No, 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 no. The defense, no, 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 no. listen, let me also say, they handed over 137 people to the Kaduna state governor. That's the total number of people abducted, not 287. Come on, come on. I mean, I don't, I don't even understand. Am I, am I, am I speaking? Yeah, but what are 200 or 100? I'm saying, one man. One man. You're talking about I'm this sorry, I said one man. <laughs> you're talking about the this. The kids are back now. Right, I, look, no, I haven't heard of you know one rational man. I haven't heard some conspiracy uh being written on those social media uh, platforms. Sometimes I will shake my hand, I go, oh, My goodness, what is all this nonsense? Whether they are 200 or 100, all this still was deliberate to misinform the public. I haven't heard people saying, How is it possible to match 100 and something people uh, out of the school and they will have an idea where they are, that the public is government doing government, the government is the one you know, claiming there is a kidnapping and they are the one releasing just for them to be able to embezzle money or siphon money. And I said, look, except maybe we live under the rock. Some people think Nigeria start and end in Lagos or Nigeria start in Abuja and end in Abuja. Or Nigeria start ahead in the Kitty State or somewhere in the Kogi. Nigeria is a huge. If you happens to be a kidnapper, I'm thinking criminally now. You kidnap maybe six, four, five, ten score of people. Do you think you are going to have those people separate places where you are not with them? You are going to shield yourself with those people. So anytime government or any authority is coming close, you're going to use them to shield yourself so that casualty will be more and they too will be more cautious and calculative in their approach. That is why when they say, oh, terrain this, terrain that. But I heard, I read a lot of things on the on the, on the the social media and people saying, how can they claim terrain? Is it not the same country? Yes. But when it comes to rescuing such huge number of victims, it becomes a dilemma for the local authority, except if you are not the security personnel, because there's no way there won't be casualty. And you're trying to minimize that. So when they said terrain was, but I read a lot of things that are not actually, you know, partially true or not actually true per se, but the level of influence of social media in a democratic system is beginning to scare me because I if think there is, there is a bill at the National Assembly. They, they will regulate it. No choice. Nobody can stop them. America no. suffered the same fate. In the year 2000, and what year was that? 2015? No, when Trump was contesting. They took out adverts on social media, especially Facebook, where information was particularly targeted to those countryside people, people who have no idea about what's going on in Washington. Every time you see, especially the targeted Democratic uh, Party candidate, they will, some even depicted her as a devil. So when these old folks open their social media to talk to their grandkid and all they see is the picture of a politician appear to be like devil. And what do you think? That is going to shape. In fact, I've heard a co-worker you know, said to me that, look, do you believe uh, what is this your what should I mean, this your friend that dies is a, a Republican the, uh, propagandist? What is his name again? Ah, the one that had cancer. Remind me again. The one Trump gave national awards to. Uh, ah, oh my God. Yeah, black guy. Uh, no, he's a white guy. Uh, what is his name? He has a radio show. What is it called? Ah, I forgot. You know, I said, how can I believe that man? He said, no, I don't believe in him. Believes there's alien belief and all those nonsensical you know, theories, you know. But that is that about that. But government needs to check, and that is why every now, now the social media operators in America are sitting tight because the Congress is trying to put fire under them, and they are making sure that whatever the whoever is using your platform meant well. They have not started, you know, sanctioning people's. Uh, view, but the platform is going to auto-correct. 
you know, auto fact check some of the information being posted so that the the the, pop, uh, the people would not be confused. And I think Nigerian government need to do that as well because if it's not taken, people will. You know that guy that accused Fashola that uh, he is the one that wrote the judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They already yeah. have. He's, he's, they are taking him to court. They need to send him to jail. Okay, he found guilty. That should I be hope. punishment. If there is no I punishment, hope. and then rational man asked a question before that. How can we solve the issue of kidnapping? I think it's high time everybody. I I just want a way that all these state control their resources. Little money from Abuja for them. Just bear your cross. Does so that mean some state will march there because some state will not be able care. to sustain? I don't care. Whatever, just march with whatever you want to march. Get your resources by yourself because look at our so called gold. Because they are not collecting money from Abuja, or Abuja is helping them now and then. Can I think most states will sit down and people that want to be governor, they will know that it's an headache job because you have to find a way to pay your worker by yourself. You do because now they just sit down in the governor's lodge. And wait for the money on the 25th to 28th of every month. And once they come in, they take whatever they want to take, they share the rest. And some of them are doing a wonderful job, but a lot of them are not doing a good job. You know the so, funnest thing. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I am just trying to say for this kind of security situation, I would like a situation that first, whether they call it community policing, state policing, that thing must happen this year. It must happen. That kidnapping in the north, they cannot tell me every time it's kidnapping. It has a political undertone, it has financial undertone, it has every facet of our undertone. How come is it, are you the only region in that country that everything now and then they will take in 200, 300, 400 students? No, come on, man. It's a vast land with majority of it being very plain. You can even like it in the north, you can stand in one place and sit some several meters away. But in the West, which is a more of a rainforest, it's not very easy to see like that because, but over there, it's a plain land and people are right. You cannot just march 137 or 100 people. Even their footsteps, you can follow it. It's so easy. I know they will shoot themselves with those people. That is why they cannot use military force. But if it's on that state, we will know that this state is the state where they are kidnapping. Then we know that the governor of that state is not working. And then they can now bring any kind of federal might to help them. But not every now and then. Tomorrow, 200. Who knows what will happen tomorrow again? Another 200 kidnapping day. I beg now. Huh? Very, 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 very soon. It's going to happen yeah. again. But I think, I, I think that... Um, if it happens, if I were the president, I wouldn't listen again. Just go and you by yourself. It's your state problem. Yeah, but, you know, it happens in the states. The blame goes to the number. Can I say something? something? <clears throat> you see... One thing I see about this state police, insofar I think they said only 16 governors have um, have um, signed up for that. They've um, no, 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 no. You guys are getting it now. wrong. Yes, sir, yes, sir, they yes, asked for memorandum, memorandum. Hold on, hold on. Whatever it is, memorandum, whatever. But at least 16 governors are indicated that that's what the you see. That's what we're saying here. That when our okay. our mm -hmm. newspapers, okay. John Jackson, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When our rational newspapers, mind, rational mind. What Remy is correct. So that? when you say they sign up for it, you are they don't sign up for it. Well, you, well, you, you can go ahead, whatever you want to say. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, except it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Except if our our newspapers are reporting different um, conflicting the stuff. I mean, which I know is common. It's it's something they do every time. They just get us confused. We hear one thing today. So what then? What I've seen from some the newspapers is that 16 governors so far. They've indicated in interest or whatever they did. This maybe this is sub submitted memorandum or whatever you say. Yeah. I listened to Sheikh Makinde in his last interview that he had with uh, Sheikh Walking Baloy. But my point is this: is that what I see is this. Why the majority of the governors they don't seem to want to subscribe to it is that, mind you, they get security votes. If the state police to be created, then it will, it will come under their under under their um, their authority or jurisdiction to pay them. They don't want to use that security force that they mm -hmm. get from uh, the federal allocation to pay these guys. And um, you see, when we say these governors, they do not know how to be governors. Uh, I don't know, some of you listen to this guy today, the Kunle guy. I don't know, even know why he was even vouching for um, this guy from Broadway State, but 
I've heard that the guy is doing very well for his people over there. Uh, at least if Which governor is that? That's a uh, Bruno State governor. But let's leave mm -hmm. that Zulu, but let's, let's leave that by the side. Ah, Zulu, see, right. I don't see any governors that is serious in that country. Uh, the reason is because, like we've said, is that um, the, the, creation, the creation of state police should not even be, at this point, not even state police. It should be even up to the local government. But the thing is that these governors, they do not know how to uh, generate income um, within their locality. So why are they yeah. asking for resource control? No, it's. I think it's some. It's some governors that are acting as case. Really, uh, southwest gov. I mean, south, uh, south, south gov. I mean, south governors. That resource control should come. Right? Yeah, it should yeah, come. It, it should come. come. And then the yeah, some, no, there are some states that are not viable. I mean, when I say viable, no, no, what do you mean? There are some states. Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. I believe every state is viable, but going by the current um, uh, realities in that country right now. The availability will take time for them because uh, they need to attract uh, investors to come to their local states. So they and, should, should slow down their state, right? They you should what? slow them down. You should what? You are trying to say we should wait for them? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what, what no, no, that's not what I'm saying. Hold on. So you hear me out. My point is this, is that these governors, if you ask them that, okay, create the state police, we'll, we'll fund the state police for you. If the federal government said they will, they would not want to do that because it means that now they have to, their security votes has to be going to this, this police to fund their police. So they have to share that money because right now they are they, they, they're able to loot their security votes because uh, Russian man without because, being, hold, hold on, being because the, the police is the federal police is based, a bill. Okay, so what? there is a bill already at the National Assembly, and the bill is trying to propose a take-up grant for all the states. So they are already collecting um, security votes, and there will be a take-up grant, probably the same amount of money for all the states. I don't know how much it's going to be. But the point that we are talking about is that I would like a situation where they speed up the bill, and we can have that state police once and for all. And if your state is not ready, you don't get this grant from the federal government until you are ready. So all those bullshit, sorry, all those things that Shei Makide was talking about, I was totally disappointed. What they call from the governor is memorandum of Write a memorandum. How do you want state police to be? 16 states submitted their memorandum. It didn't do nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, hold on. That's what we're saying. Premier, huh? Premier, you, the guy has no clue. That's why they say nothing. You, you didn't no, you didn't you didn't listen to him. What he said was that he has, he has no clue, he's an idiot. No, don't say that. Don't say that. The point is that you didn't listen to him. What he said is that it's an act of the parliament that the, the whatever it is, it's just, it's, he used the word. It's an exercise in futility that they're asking them to submit whatever crap. Uh, is it not at the next <laughs> meeting? <laughs> Remy, would you allow me to talk? Would you allow me to talk? Okay, please. Why? This is what he said. He said that what they should have done is the executive, the Asso Rock, should have sponsored the bill, send it to National Assembly, let them enact the law. They, in their own respect, they will now ask their own National Assembly to enact the law. But asking them as governor to come and write or whatever memorandum is just an exercise of futility because uh, uh, okay, in the way you are rationally projecting land now. No, 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 that they all agreed that all the 36 states should submit memorandum of understanding. If we know that it's exercising, say, why can't he tell them that me or your state, I'm not submitting any fucking, uh, sorry, any, any memorandum? Why can't he say that? Now that he did not come out, yeah, so is, is, it wrong, is it wrong to be express his view? Oh, oh, Listen, oh, oh. after the second meeting, it is now they now said out of 36 states, only 16 states have submitted memorandum on state police how they want it to be it's not that when akina or kimbali now asking question i said oh i did not do it that is no, not it. Um, um, i already said it it's all because of the uh security force that's getting that's why it's not submitted anything and apart from that the guy has to i think that's the reason can you can you, can you, i didn't say because of the security but i'm just saying that the reason why most of them are kicking against it or they don't want to do anything about it is because they have to now start using their security vote to pay yes. 
Yeah. Uh, why no, not? I don't know, but I'm just saying that he said that it's an exercise in futility because it should have been the executive themselves, which is also rock. Yes, he hasn't got to that stage yet. He hasn't got to that stage like no, 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 no. Kenya rational man. There is already a bill sponsored by how many uh, in the in the house of rep. It goes across state. They are very uh, that they are have first reading, second reading about state policing in the house of rep already. There is a bill already there, okay? Sponsored by by more than fifty house of representative members. There's already a bill there. We don't need to wait. And the I don't know, but I heard that for the first time from you. Uh, I don't ah, know. You know. I'm telling you what is going on. And when they had a meeting with Chinumbu, Chinumbu already told all the 36 state government, you guys go and work together and formulate an idea about state police because they are the one that moved this the governors, they are the one that mooted the idea of state police that they wanted. I said they should work together. And then they have this kind of meeting with the National Economic Council, uh, headed by the vice president. And then they not agreed that, okay, we are going to submit our memorandum. And then in the last minute they did, they gave them another one month so that the remaining uh, states that have not submitted their memorandum should submit it. So, and this guy, uh, what do you call it? The governor of the United States clearly telling us that he's not going to submit his own. So that means he's not ready for state police. That is- oh, No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Remy, 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 Remy. Remy. He, was, he was part of those 16 governors. Because the paper reported him, and his, in fact, his picture was one of those pictures of those sixteen governors. Yeah, he was it. I don't know if he submitted or not. No, 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 no. He did not submit any okay, memorandum. Okay. He told, he told her, okay, okay, but now he didn't. No, I, I don't memorandum. know if he did. I, I didn't hear him say that. I didn't hear him say that. He I, just said, are that. you kidding me? No, no. Maybe I, I, I didn't hear him say that. Maybe Kenny can tell you. No, I didn't hear him say that. That's what I said. Right. He said it okay. categorically. He said it. That's not right. He said it categorically that I'm not doing it. That it doesn't make sense to him. That if you go back to uh, the National Assembly, you understand? You see, that guy is not doing anything. Okay, even you look at Amateku. How many, how many Amateku do you, I mean, I mean, do you see in the battle? Maybe one or two. He's not active, with, I mean, when it comes to security. You understand? So Rashida the guy man, is just. Rashida, man, I know you are, you, when, anytime you go to Nigeria, please, can you just visit the battle? And when you visit, yeah. you know, compare you to your Lagos. Then you will know that the people that live in Ibadan, that have stayed in Ibadan, or maybe they are from your state, you will know they are they are bitterly really complaining. You cannot see, it's like you are just staying in your small hut, and then when you look up, you just see that big mansion shining every day. And they are not building one, they are going to be two, three, four, five. And nothing is going in your where you are residing. It just that state is not so lucky, right? It's just a pathetic governor. We were expecting to build on what Ajimobi has done. Uh, instead of that, it's just being egoistic, unnecessary pride. No, I no, no. Know. Hold on, hold on. People, I, 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 I wish, um, what's his name is here? Uh, Thomas. And some people that were that went to Nigeria recently, like I think Kulata too was one of those people. And he said, ah. Ibadan is really, is really getting there. He said, Shima Kibbe is working. That's what Can he said. Can you ask Kulata? Kulata that went to That's Ibadan. Right. I was in I talked to you about in the February. Yeah, February. Okay. So how was it? Yes. It's horrible. It's my, horrible? House is, my house is in Alaki Adegbay. Very close to the airport. The road there is horrible. Full of dust, everything. Nothing, nothing, nothing changed. Nothing. I'm telling you. For Ibadan, you know what I mean? So all, all, those, go, all those roads were built by Jimoji before he left. The only thing that I can attribute to him, which is true, is the, is the, the drink road he was building. And it does not start from him also. That ring road is completed to some certain state. It's building part. Let me, it's building part like Oshodi. Yes. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't know what kind of that part is doing in a world for nothing. Say, for, 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 in fact, they swear for that state. It's <laughs> uh, nothing to write for no about. It's not encouraging. Hey, if you're talking about, like, you're talking about, uh, how about, how about your own state, your own state? What is uh, uh, your doing? Hmm? What is doing? I've already condemned to death. Okay, so the <laughs> condemned to death. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's so pathetic that uh, none of the governors are really meeting up to the, the uh, to the. Uh, so when you when you guys when you talk and you blame the governor, you talk about Lagos. I just laugh. If or your own or they can have 25% of what is happening in Lagos, 
in their own state, the people there will be so extremely happy. They will be extremely happy. But nothing to show. Just collect money, just uh, after you pay teacher, it's over. And say we start the rest you pocket it. But, but then, did you listen to what he said when he said they collected such a certain amount uh, from uh, was it nine billion or five billion allocation they gave them? He's lying. now, yes or no? And he said they paid uh, teachers and I mean they paid the uh, civil servant and other money they paid. There's only remaining about five hundred, five hundred or six hundred million there. Do you now. believe that? That's a lie. That's a lie. That's, 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 that's a lie. Nobody, nobody has debunked him. He said that's the amount they co collected from the. That's a lie. What is the population of the? Uh, uh, of this city, I mean, Ibadan. What are you people talking how about? Many, how many are they? Why, why was it not? Why was it not fact check there, right there, by the Chinese people when they said he said he collected? Who is going to fact check him? They ask me. Who will have the time to be typing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Then borrow back. Hmm? I mean, I don't know. I don't no, know. no, no. Oh. You to you you to you to you to look at. How, see, if you calculate the, uh, the the number of the uh, the staff they have, you see up to one million. My my sister is a vice principal. The total workforce for your state now is not up to hundred thousand. So what? How much is that? You serve and, and teachers and the rest. Yes. So what's talking about? And this universal universal uh, UPEC or IPEC, they call it. Federal government should support in paying teacher salary from that primary school teacher, not only for the for by, by the state. So it's not. It's just uh, I don't know. Just unlocking. They expected too much from him, but now in Bada people, nothing they can do. You just have to wait for three years and vote another person. The guys are just a mess, seriously. Everywhere is so messy, everywhere is so dirty. You, you just, you cannot go, you cannot live in Bada for one or two days. Rational mind, I get it. It's, it's only in Nigeria that Nigerians depend on governors to do everything in Nigeria. I mean, come on, man. There is nowhere in the world where you depend on governors. It, local government should be held accountable, not governors. They control the whole state, not the capital city of those states. So the people you should be talking to is your local government. Get They should get involved in what is going on. Local government is not functioning, you know what I mean? So we should be calling yeah. the governor's house to make sure our local government is, I mean, is working. Uh, That's the problem. Kenny, Kenny, yeah? are you are you a new person here or you've been here before? I've been here before now. Okay, all right, because I think uh, I'm seeing for the first time. Go on, I mean. I know. You so, Jude, you understand what he's saying? Our local governments are not functioning. In a normal... I mean, even if it's not functioning, but these are the people you have to do. Have what function. when you say it's not functioning? I mean, mm. they, they, they are there, you know them. I mean, these are the people you have to champion. I live in the state, in the United States, the county that I live in. I don't even know my governor. Everything involves around the mayor. That's in the town that I live in. The state, I mean, the state is huge. This, the governor doesn't control, like he's not going to be in everywhere of the state. I mean, even the town that he lives in, where they call capital, that, I mean, is controlled by a different mayor. So come on, I mean Jude, it's rather unfortunate that yeah, Jude, go ahead. Judy, I, I get you. What you're saying, that's how it's supposed to be in a very in a, in a federating system, like we practice the one uh in Nigeria is modeled after that of the United States. Our local government should be functioning, but the thing is that they are not functioning because even the money, the money that's allocated to the uh, to this local government, it is the governor's account it goes directly to it, doesn't go yeah. to the local government. So I how would you how would you now go and start asking your your own mayor or your chairman to to do certain project where they don't have the money because the state governor has not does not release the money to them because the money goes to them directly but, to the but there are certain projects that the local government chairman does without even so taking go money from, from, from no no let me let me let me tell you what the mayor do here in in, in, in in money doesn't come from the top up money comes from the community and the local government is the one that controls that community all these shops that you see in in local government or marketplaces is controlled by the local mayor or the, the the local government chairman you have the right to go there and collect taxes for that community well, that's how you get money to let me finish let me that's let me finish. Oh, that's, oh, oh so so the governor is the one that come yeah. all the way down to all yeah. the local and collect exactly. taxes exactly exactly Wow. What does uh -huh. those uh -huh. boys hold on those are boys that you saw that you see on the road of audio like those kind of things it is under should be under Suri local, local government and should be the one 
giving those tickets out and getting the money to the local government, but that money is remitted to the state. Exactly, because in most places, the, the government or the federal government does not even have to pay local government a, a chairman. They make their exactly. own money from their own community and pay people and pay their workers. That, that's what we're well, saying. Nigeria, the, system is, the system is different in Nigeria. You can't compare Nigeria with America or UK. No, but if you are copying the United States system of God, that's why things are not working in Nigeria. Because you copy a system and you don't implement it to the full front and you blame the system of not working but exactly. because you are not implementing it rightly yeah so you see that's the problem Jude. that's the that's the problem we have in our country because they they want to do their own kind of system that works for their for their criminal criminal system exactly because you know the thing is that if the local government function nobody will even like you were saying now that uh, you don't even know the name of your governor of your state all you know is your mayor or your city council or your city manager as the case may be that's all you people you know so but then in nigeria they make everything centralized so that it is the governor just so that during the election all you are fixated about is the governor 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 so you see we cannot run a system like that that's why i'm saying this 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 governors they are clueless here but if you are running a system compared to united states why not just copy everything from united states that's, that's why you have the failure yeah that's the problem that's yeah that's i think we all should be calling out to the governor instead of focusing our attention on to, i mean to the federal government we should we should we, we should unite and call this governor out all the time so by the time we are calling them out and they are feeling the heat you know I me mean? they will release the i mean the local government from their bondage but because we focus on the on the focus focus of federal government federal government, federal government, federal government but we forget to talk about the governor and they are going they are going away with murder. You understand? That I mean that should be this, that should be our focus. We should be calling out we should be calling them out from one state to another. From Lagos State to Ndo State to Ayo State to Ogun State here to Osu State. Every every state governor we should be calling them out. You understand? They should allow because if local government if, if local government is not working, the the poor people they are not benefiting from I mean from the government. You understand? That's my point. You know what I mean? But when people come in here and start lambasting about you know good in the good in the good as if it's in the good is 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 Alpha Omega. But the governor there did nothing. You understand? So that's my that, point. That's why that's why when I was on the chat, I was um I, I see the Minister of Public Works going on the ground, you know to do to 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 check on the infrastructure on road uh, or construction i'm confused like i mean do these are things that need to be relinquished from the federal government to the state the state controls road there's nothing nothing should be called federal road or anything those federal roads should be given to the state no no there's there's a federal road. Really? America, I, I, I know, I know, but when you say federal road, it makes it makes no sense because the, the, you have so many ministries in the hands of the federal government. You have to reduce the the, the, the federal the ministries and relinquish some of those powers to the state, and the state have to relinquish the power that they have to the local government areas. So the the federal hmm. road should be done by the governors, and local road are done by the local the, the local government chairman. This is how you do things. Exactly. You know, that's how you, because you have so many costs. Do you know how much a, a, a minister earns as a salary in Nigeria? In most countries, in the United States, they only have probably like five to seven secretary of state, or you call the ministers. You, you don't have a minister of transport. A minister of transport, it doesn't exist. The governor is, is like a public works in that state. It makes no sense. There is no, you don't see a, a secretary of state in transport, a United States coming all the way down yeah. to my state to inaugurate yeah, now, road or anything. That, it, it makes no sense. For now, I mean, for now, that's, no, that's it's not that you have no idea. choice. You copy a system, you copy a system wrongly, and it's not working. You copy the system wrongly, and it's not working. You have a choice because you can stand on it and call on the government to change his policies but you have just believed that this is what supposed to work that's why you have every leader coming and they go and you still complain because things are not working you know the same worry that people were complaining about of not being a, a, a good president now yeah. comparing him to tulumbu they now say he was one of the best when tulumbu will leave the next one will come in it's still gonna be the same thing so i mean it's just often and often the, the thing is you have to change the system that you are working on 
that system is not working it's not the people but the system so let me say something now uh, Kenny, 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 uh, Kenny, Kenny and um, Remy okay, people okay. Are saying that, um, maybe I should uh, yeah. just put that on my phone here Shea Makinde is one of those governors that was said to have indicated interest or submitted whatever you call it memorandum. his photo is one of those photos there I just saw it on punch punch of four days ago or five days ago go and look at it no it is from his last time he said it from his mouth but then why why why, why, why do you, 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 you have to submit anything i don't know of that but what i'm saying is that i'm going by what the uh punch reported that is one of those governors that are part of the 16 governors that has indicated interest that okay they want that state police no, that would be an error. you said what no, go and watch that video again. Go and watch, go and watch that video again. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, mean, I mean, I mean, I well, maybe yeah. he has something or not, but what I'm just saying is that the uh, punch news report of four or five days ago, if anybody go and check it, you see there's photo is one of those um, eight or six, um, eight or uh, nine of us uh, picture that was posted on punch. But anyway, let's just leave that. So my point is that, you see, um, until we go back to the very basic, uh, the very uh, root of this problem, uh, which is the constitution. I don't know if you people have listened to um, the different forums that uh, I think uh, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, um, Emeka Anyakoha, uh, I can't even talk, Emeka Anyakoha, uh, former Secretary General of uh, the um, Commonwealth. Uh, they call themselves um, the Patriots. I think that's, that's, that's the name of their group. They've been championing this uh, a redoing of this constitution. That was where, that, that, that was a forum that I think Adiwali was speaking to uh, that, um, uh, Song Olu also agreed with those participants there, some of the speakers there, that yes. And in fact, he, he even spoke against Tinubu in some ways. I was so surprised. No, I'm not I'm so surprised because also I know them, they are all politicians. He might just want to say just so that people look at, oh, I'm, you're on your side on this matter. He was saying that when people, when these people, before they get into power, referring to Tinubu, no doubt, because when Tinubu, before he got into uh, federal, when he was an opposition in Lagos State, Oh, restructure, restructuring. Blah, 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 blah. No one Nigeria. I don't believe in one Nigeria. This kind of crap. Now he gets there, according to uh, Shazon Oluk. Then when they get there, it's like something, there's something about that uh, Asu rock there that when they get there, they just do something different. Which, I, to me, I believe is in a way, he's talking to Stinubu too. That uh, you said this at time pass when you were in the opposition. You said restructuring, restructuring. There's a need for redoing of that constitution. But now you got there now, you just keep mute. So until we rework that constitution, um, there's no way we're going forward in our country. And like I have said, in the any new constitution that has to be made, one of my suggestions would be no governor should be given any, any immunity. That would make them to want to walk. That would make them not to see themselves as some kind of a, a lord in their own personal uh, states. That would make them more accountable because they know that if any case of, um, uh, of um, stealing or looting of whatever, they divert uh, public money, they will face the court for that because they have no immunity. The only person that should be given immunity should be the president and possibly the vice president. So, because these people they carry weighty, um, they have carry weighty, weighty responsibility because they have to make a national uh, decision that has to do with national security, which might even be, which might even require, I mean, I mean eliminating a, a, a potential a potential threat with a Nigeria with a potential threat within the space, so they so that they will be immune from prosecution. I, I, I can agree that, but that state governor should have, because I've, I think I've had that discussion with one man here, that that should not be allowed. State governor should be accountable to their states. This this immunity is one of those things that makes them, you cannot even prosecute them. They can do and undo. People like uh, Dapabio could be seeing himself as a lord, uh, lord and personal savior of an open state. Nobody can, you know, nobody can tell him. He doesn't respect anybody. So my point is that we need to take off that immunity clause for governors. Governors should not be having immunity if you want to move forward in that country, because that will make them understand that yes, you are you are accountable to the people of your state. If you do anyhow, court can always come in and intervene. And if you are found guilty, you can be you, you can you can be you can be arrested and jailed for that. But because we give them this immunity, that's why they're doing all this crap they're doing. Anonymize. Let me go to Bobu here. So all this thinking of we having new um, constitution is not going to happen. I don't see that happening at all. So we are stuck with what we have. We just need to improve on this one. You know what I mean? That's the thing. So I mean, the I mean, if you want to, if you want to continue like, I mean, staying in this, like this, um, 
this this brainwashing that some of us will be made to brainwash you, nothing can happen. No, I don't. I, I'm not this kind of person that I believe in. No, it can never be. I believe in yes, there's possibilities. We so how? How do, how do you think it will happen? How we, and when? That's why I said to you, go and watch, go and listen to that um, that um, conference or maybe that uh, forum that those people had in was in Lagos that I mean that um, uh, some who attended. So many dignitaries were there. And they said, even someone who promised them that he will speak to Tinubu in their behalf. And even Tinubu himself in the past, he was, he was part of the Afeni Ferry group that brought him in 1999. Their, their mantra was that that 1999 constitution has to be brought down. We need a national sovereign conference. Tinubu was one of those people that chaffed the national sovereign conference. But now that he's there now, he wants to protect his own regime because he knows that hence he start talking about the, not, the, the, the Sharia knots that are very uh anti-restructuring if it's not their own kind of restructuring if it's a certain restructuring that we are clamoring in the south resource control if it's not to their own advantage no there's no way if you force it through either they destabilize your, go your government or they impeach you or they would just you see me I, I believe sorry 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 sorry, 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 sorry i believe tinubu will still do the disruption but because see it's too it's too, it's too early in his in his in his administration and people are expecting so much he has to do it now you see this is no, he cannot he cannot, he cannot do it now because there's so there's so many things on the ground that need to start out economy yeah. because it's a lot of stuff that's what i'm saying you know that's what i'm saying this is not this is not swear this is not a um, course it is it's a fact that he will fail flatly even though even worse than the other people that were there before him no and he will not fail Oh, hold on, I understand what you're saying that he cannot do it now because, like you said, there are other issues on ground. Yes, he's not going to fail. Then he needs to force it through. If he wants to force it, he will force it through. He will do it. He will force it through. But we all just That's need to be patient with this guy. The the the, the, the president, the, this this forty nine ninety nine constitution, the power that he that he, he gave to the president is so powerful that he can force some 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 certain things through. Not even the influence that he has over the National Assembly, in the sense that some um, some senators and some uh, what's it called uh, rep member, even non APC member, they respect him. So if he can get more than two third of the National Assembly to his side, let those Sharia not whatever people continue making noise among themselves. If he can get those one among themselves and he force, that's 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 right. Right. Listen, listen, listen to what he said. Though. Listen to what he said, which I've also said on this platform, like as if they were listening to us here. I said, yeah, I remember Adewale, I think one of those people that, that uh, were saying, no, it will never happen. They said they should enact a law that will bring about a new constitution. That's what everybody said in that conference. They should enact, Pade Banjo, was it? Maybe Adewale, Pade Banjo, so, so that people said it, that they should enact a law. That law is what will bring about a new constitution. They will proclaim a new law that now there's a need for a new constitution. And then the people will assent it. And then they will start working on it and they start bring up some committees that will start drafting it. Some people have said that even though they, are, they already have some copies that they can also give to them to use and add to it. And they should subject it to a referendum. But, but, that's not bad. but for now, nobody is pressuring any bill in regard to that. From you, the, see, from that's another thing. You see, that's what we Before that will happen, somebody now will have okay, all the Labour Party, they are there. Why can't they? Why, why can't they start? I mean, it's yeah, yeah. that kind of deal. I, 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 I wish it's that simple to just come about it and say, "Oh, I put my foot down. This is what we are going to do. Nothing more, nothing less." We've exactly. forgotten that democracy is not just about executive only. Even though executive is the face of the government, we also have, as at least for now two equal organs of that government that are working side by side and they derive their power based on the organ that it belongs to the, the legislators are there uh unfortunately the majority in that uh, chamber belongs to the same platform with the executive so it makes things complicated now the presidency can now say, you know what, this is what I wanted, and I want the National Assembly to rubber stamp it. No, it doesn't work that way. There are some things that it will have its way. And every time we think about what the executive can do and get away with, we should also be reminded that they are the same, they are equal when it comes to democracy. Now, the legislator also, thank God for the current um, 
legislature that we have now. In this, uh, this is the tenth assembly, I believe. They, they are diverse. I'm talking about party affiliations and all that, and different view. You know, some of them that are there, uh, they are just abiding by the rule of the of the of the of the floor. It's not as if they can't speak their mind. But you see, for an executive to propose such to happen, especially when you have to uh, confab or constitutional review, whatever we want to name it, the National Assembly has to agree with it. And the procedure that we go through is very, very rigorous. You have to have state assemblies also have their signatory on it. So it's not just about Tinubu making a proposal. Like and Thank also you. be reminded that this is his first time. Except that person is crazy, completely lunatic, that he will want to propose something that will be so controversial in his first year or the first time of his administration. Or if, let's say, all that, all that one year. in fact, you must be a newbie into politics for you to even say you want to propose that. If you are going to propose that, if that happens, let's say if presidential it happens, that means you already have the backing, enough vote to secure that at the National Assembly. Other than that, you are just going to be committing heresy because as it is right now, there are certain regions in the country that doesn't even want that country to, I mean, leave it the way it is. The status quo should remain. And some are saying they are all hell-bent on restructuring everything from head to toes. So the moment you ring that bell, like, oh, this is what the presidency wants, guess what we do? We have saboteurs, people that are enjoying, that are benefiting from the way the country is. They will go all out the full throttle to dismantle, mm -hmm. to discourage. So. If it's at all, it's going to propose that. I don't want to cut to cut short. Even if Tinubu started from day one, we we would be saying, "Oh, it's too early to why do I already did it this time? It has been patient. It has been waiting." After we will be complaining that he did early. Now, now he hasn't done anything. Now we are still complaining that oh, I mean, supposed to he's supposed to do this since since like yesterday. But what are we going have, to do? Yeah, what I think it's going to do is going to be taking dismantling some of those structures that are being uh, inimical to the progress of the country. It will start dismantling them one by one, especially one by starting one. from, especially from that uh, security outfit. You're talking about state policing, they will start it from there. Before you know it, they will be dismantling all those bureaucratic systems. That's how I think it's going to do just about sitting down and saying, "No, we want to do this one." At least if you can start from somewhere that it hit home. Maybe little by little, sort of picking thing, pieces them and sort it out. Maybe by using that tactics, it will help him. So by the time he's ten or hundred, people would not even understand. Or pe those people that will be affected, they, they would even understand that. Oh, so this even just like it happened during Obama. Obama started. Um, the he knew that if he had waited to the end of his tenure, he would not get that vote. So when he first came in hot with the massive, massive uh, num uh, numbers in the poll, he came in, proposed the health amendment, right, the medical amendment stuff, and then it was very tough pill for the Republican to swallow, but he worked, the, worked out the abracadabra, and he won. And they voted, and he ascended, prepared his signature, and Obama law, I mean, Obama America uh, became the law of the land. So if he had with it, it's all about the calculation. Could no president has ever done that. The last time health was uh, sector was reviewed then was years back. I'm talking about in the years of uh, maybe the last person was uh, president, uh, not even Nixon, before Nixon. So that tells you the kind of. Um, you know the kind of policies that will play. I will, I, in fact, I will be surprised if that what Tinubu is going to propose in his first time because we understand Nigeria now. It, there will be a lot of see when when he came up with the Muslim Muslim. You know how that the, the voice was in the social media everywhere on the media. Oh, they want to Islamize, Islamize Nigeria. As Nigeria be Islamized now, oh, right? No. So, all those, all those things. It's just that he has to be calculative in his move because two, one step too, uh, too much ahead or what else they say is going to be, you know, mistrue, miscontrol for something else. And so he has to know at the right time. I mean, 
he, he, the only thing is for him working well for him now is that his tools in uh, national assembly are there Gidiba, right the likes of Akwabio. so they are there to carry out his order they are there to rubber stamp his idea as a matter of fact when he sent the uh appropriation bill to them with uh he, he encouraged them to 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 get work with uh, immediate alacrity right so that tells you the influence he has at the at the uh, national assembly so that's the only thing is get working for him but he can't rely on that for now to propose such uh humongous uh, uh political changes he has to have the backing in the public he has to have a good numbers in the poll and also so that at least if he suffers setback in national assembly at least the public will be able to say you know what he meant well so we want our representative because i think sometimes i've seen it happen in nigeria where you have public opinion shaped the way the, the lawmakers voted i've seen that happening before and you know and i'll give you a good example to that the electoral law it was a public view, public opinion that compelled the, 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 the legislator to vote in the way they voted. Some of them even ran off. The current uh, chief, of, uh, uh, chief of staff, Tutinumbu, was not even there when the, when the, the, the as a speaker. He was not even in attendance when I <laughs> was going to vote it. So that tells you that in some cases we have public opinion that shaped the way legislators vote. So if I were attainable, I would not even break down, but I want to dismantle those structures that constitute a stumbling block to Nigeria, little by little. Before you know it, you just realize that this guy has meant make some amendment to some of the things that we, you know, have, especially when it comes to, I mean, it's doing wonder now in the uh uh, what do you call it? Uh, economy is still not yet turned around, but I mean, you could see the way things are being done, the way they, 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 they is um, uh, uh, ministers on the handle stuff. But I think it has to do with the timing, and if with the good uh, backing from National Assembly, he will be able to do that. I, I mean, he, he, I think he, he mentioned that during the campaign, during one of his outings with the area of our consultative about doing some reform, but he didn't say it is going to be constitutional review in that regard. But I think gradually, gradually, he's going to do that. I'm not holding brief for him, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to be in his shoe just to reason, you know, if I were him, what I would do. I wouldn't want to do things that will rock the boat for now. Anyway, I, I, I need to go to bed. I should have my good night and... Uh, I enjoyed the session. Actually, I don't know. I enjoy your session, Ron Hanuman. I don't know why. I enjoy it more, you know, with you. I think that's part of your grad grad. You still do your. Is Ron Hanuman still on the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the platform? Ron Hanuman. Ron Hanuman is not here anymore. He's gone. Anyway, uh, it's nice talking to you guys. The guy is sleeping, so. Uh, Ashina Man has gone. He dropped. Yeah, but Democrat has failed us in America, man. Let's hope Republican comes in and fix the system. You say Democrat it's failed you. Most of the progress you see happening in America happening during the Democrat uh, time. So, you, I mean, you can deduce the difference. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, the progress you see in America happens through the Democrat in the government. So, that's a what, fact. What progress? What progress? Are you talking about yeah. the Obama or what progress? Are, are you talking about the Clinton or what progress are you talking about? And let me give you a good example. The one I just mentioned now, before Obama came, millions of Americans were living without medical insurance. All right. They were working paycheck to paycheck. And it felt that it certainly can't continue this way because, you know, uh, when you have larger number of population, you know, at disadvantage, people with pre existing conditions, simply because you know they, they they already have issues and the insurance said look if you have to do this you have to pay this premium and all those factors it came in i think the last time the medical uh was was uh looked into was the era of uh, president uh what is the president after after uh after johnson what is his name okay no is it before johnson no i'm sorry it's gf after JFK Johnson, after Johnson was, I think it was, uh, oh, what is this president? I forgot his name. And that was the last, I'm talking about almost four, five, fifty, sixty 50, 60 decades. So 
I mean, five decades. So that's to tell you that you know the 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 players in that sector are holding American and juggler. I don't want any amendment. They are enjoying their legacy and all that. But he came and said, no, we have to. This is capitalist. We understand, but we also have to consider the poor. And he made that amendment, and that happens. And I tell you what, some Republican, even with their family members enjoy it because they are able to subscribe and they're able to get insurance, even people with pre existing condition. That never happened. And the Republicans are trying to cut back on some of the benefits, you know, these people enjoy from. But it, it seems every now and then they always fail because you will see someone in their, they, they will see somebody in their constituents that actually signing into that. And now, uh, every time we turn to turn the, the turn things, uh, upside down, but it seems their hands are always tight. So that's the reason why I said most of the changes you see happening. Americans are they going to space during the, the started proposed by the Democrat and the government committed funding into it. And look, a lot of scientific stuff, a lot of things happen, you know, during the, the, the Democrat, they have, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, uh, Can I ask you, what state, what, state, what state do you live in? I live in one of the uh, Republican states. I live in Texas. Oh, okay. Okay, continue. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the Republican want to have a, a lean government, spend less. But, but it's the very project. unfortunate that we, in particular, live in Republican state that are more safer, more jobs in this state. They are paying well, extremely well, than in Democratic state. state. And we want to talk down on, on Republicans. I live. I also live in a Republican state. And guess what? It's safer. Things are good. Oh. Things are going well. You don't see a lot of homeless on the street. People are comfortable. Everyone is working. You know the system is working. And you blame the the, Repub the Democrats doing Democrat regime. Did you know how many people? Did you know that the sta the uh, food stamps and all this stuff increases because people stop working? You know. Have we ever wonder why people? Uh, 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 move to uh, a democratic state. Do you know why? Because I tell you, what. no people instead move to Republican state for safety. No. A lot of I've seen see, a lot see, of see, yeah. See, go, go ahead. See, see, look, I've heard that argument over and over, and I will tell you oh, this. Okay. <laughs> and I will, and I will, I will, I will tell you this. Uh, apart from California. All right. Uh, there are some other states that I will point to that are, you know, uh, Republican controlled that are also expensive to live in. But one thing is this: some of the, the some of those places that you see them, you know, uh, this especially in Texas, uh, people that are coming from another state coming into Texas, they are not going to the Republican cities; they are going to the Democrats occupied states. Okay, where they know that their standard of living is going to be, uh, you know. Is good. Uh, there's security. No, they're going there and, because uh, and, because democratic states are cheaper. You know, they they pay minimum they wage. The, they don't they, pay high wage like Republican state. No, 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 no. The Republican are the cheapest. But you see, we also look at the taxes. They give you one hand, they take it back from the other hand. No. That is the way no, it's been on, It's okay. not unfortunate that you I should need, be supporting I need, a, a, a I need, I need, that I need, you don't really live in that I, state. I, wait uh, now. I live in Texas. And the government of Texas recognized that if care is not taken, Texas will become California. Okay, the exactly, and that's why the, they no, are no, watching no, now. No, no, no. The, 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 the illegal oh, immigrants out oh, of Texas. No. Are you supporting oh, illegal no, immigrants? No, no, I'm not. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Before you are not supporting illegal immigrants. I'm not Democrat now, are supporting illegal see, immigrants. Wait now, I will get to that point. I just want to explain that uh, area of. Uh, of uh, people moving into the Democrat uh, city. And the reason it's not far-fetched, the, this governor recognized that, look, the um, uh, living wages and all that in state is increasing, right? And also they, are, they refuse to increase the minimum wage in Texas. So it now felt, look, what they, can they do to help our people? Because people are already complaining. I mean, some states don't collect property tax, but State uh, te te uh, Texas, you know, is becoming unbearable for the property owners, and some of them might even, you know, have to put their property up because it was getting too much, right? So the government now proposed and decided. Are, you they, know, are, are they moving that. to democratic state? Are those people in Texas moving to democratic state? 
people in Texas, no, they remain because the government recognized that if they don't do something fast, people are going to move. So they decided to cut, I mean, give uh, 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 incentive, property tax cost of 100,000 to homeowners so that at least people can stay back. And that will also but help out in the, with their income. So yes, because they recognize that there is a fire on the mountain. On the mountain. But which democratic state we do that? If you live in a democratic state, tell me, because we they do the that. the standard of living in those democratic... Forget about uh, security issues. In every state has its own peculiarity. The Texas is not even... They, every day, if, I, if you turn on the, the local television, what you see is crime reporting uh, from morning to the evening. Okay? So exactly. Don't let us we are not disagreeing. I have, live they, in a democratic they, state and I live in a republican state. They, but I but cannot not, tell you that democratic states are, are far better. When I moved know, to Republican me, state, I believe that I was living in a jungle. No, one well, see, it depends on where you live at. Okay, most of the things. What that you mean? You I see live. That, I live in Maryland. I live oh. in Washington. All these places, you know, moved to Utah, and Utah is just given. Went yeah, to but, North Dakota. But, yeah, and I'm See, yeah, now when you start mentioning not Dakota, you tell now you're now like you are regressing, you're not progressing. You can't leave Maryland and be going back to those places. At least move down south <laughs> and, and experience life in America. I'm telling you this <laughs> you don't go and live among people that will not see you as being equal and treat you like a second. No, what you mean, don't see me. Let, this let, stuff let, that let, you guys let, talk of racism is not true. Let, you know, let, racism, let, even Democrats are racist. When I was in Maryland. Wait, the people wait, that were nah. racist to me were, 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 were Democrats. And even wait, blacks me, as well, that you guys believe they are they are, they are blacks in a Democrat party. But they are the most me, racist to Africans as well. So when you were living in uh, North Dakota or South Dakota? Yeah, when I, when I went to North Dakota, matter of fact, the white even wanted to learn about me. When, okay. But I moved so to Utah. Where for, yeah. where, which of the city were you living in North Dakota? I was in Bismarck. Bismarck. And I believe that is not a Republican country, is it? No, it's a Republican state. Okay. I know it's a Republican state. Some some of the cities sometimes be controlled yeah, by the Democrats. But the city, but the city, the city is a Republican why did, as well. Why didn't you why didn't you move to the countryside and experience the other side of America and see what life is in America by living no, in a country? Why, why, I mean, country why I mean I mean we why we used to move to the country? We, because we moved to places when, where there are jobs. Wait now, because when Nigeria come move into America, guess what they do? They don't stay in the countryside they stayed in the city the urban area right so they believe that what is being obtainable in the city is going to be the same in the countryside no and you know what the numbers of those countryside are far more than the city and that is where you'll be able to understand what america truly is all about so when you move into those uh republican state and you're now living with them in that rural area that's where you understand racism but in I've lived in so many. You don't know how long I've lived in the state. I've lived for over ten years, so I understand the system. I, I, I okay. have so many friends from both sides, so I've deal with them. But I, on okay. my own knowledge, and I'm a grown man. You know, okay. I mean, you are not going to put me in a box and tell me, "Oh, Democrats are the ones that." No, I've lived in North Dakota. I've gone well, to these suburbs. I, I, I've driven I, in places. I've driven in road that are Republican talking, state. You, drove inside you the mention, interior. You, you mentioned suburb. You never mentioned countryside. You never mentioned the yeah, rural I mean, side. I mean, if you, I drive, if I live in North the, Dakota, some of the some of the rural some of the suburb you are mentioned, you're talking about are even more uh, diverse now these days, right? But when you move to the countryside, you, there are some places, especially in the south here, there are some uh, towns called uh, No Sundown Town. You know what that means? No, that means uh, Sundown cities. So, uh, no, no, come on, man. Okay. You're telling me I've so, lived in this country for a while. You cannot drive in these places above 6, 6 p.m. But I've drove in these no, places you, because you the black can, You can it. drive. See, that is it. You, you may be in America for, for, for a decade, and I've been here longer than that. But you may drive, but just you can't live in that city past six o'clock because they will come out. No, I mean, I think that's hyperbole. I think it's gross exaggeration. It you have the right to a, live where. Yeah. My brother, I, nobody said you can't live there, but you will, you will chase you out. You yourself, you will. No, you will tell, come tell me where that city is, and I will take a video and send it to you when I come on this. And, and I will go there and, and, and walk on the street and send a video to you. Okay. What state is that? Is that North Carolina? Because I used to live there. 
Uh, okay, I will come up. What who am I speaking to? I mean, you are speaking to uh, uh, Almighty Jude, but I want because oh, when Jude, you guys okay. talk, oh, okay. yeah, See, this let, is let, Jude. Me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It is very common in this town. You may think it's not, eh, it's not there. There's no racism, but I can tell you. See all this mirage. Oh, America is not the way it's being projected. There's no racism and all that. Well, I said, well, depends on where you've been to. Nobody but all the these sundown cities is a democratic. It's a democratic. That is not true. That is not true. Oh, I myself, that I'm talking to you. I that I'm talking to you, right? I've made a you wrong U turn in front of somebody's <laughs> property, and I, somebody the person came with a shotgun to greet me. So. So, no, no. so was that person a Republican or a Democrat? Hold on. Hold no, let on, me ask you a question. Was hold that person on, a Democrat or a Republican? I know the that area very well. It's Republican. Oh no, I'm just asking area. you because you cannot tell who puts a shotgun on you. How do you see, know if it's a Republican or a Republican? Are you, you going to tell me you saw wait, a black wait, in his wait, door? Wait, if you okay. if you if you go out of your appointment in San Antonio or in Dallas and you go out. Right, I know for a fact that even if you mistakenly knock somebody else's door, nobody is coming out with a shotgun to say hello to you. But in those, that particular uh, town that I made a wrong U turn in front of that person's property <laughs> only to come out with a shotgun, I know the political leaning of that town. So I understand. Even the sundown. Uh, town, some of those Name places. Maybe one of the you... town you have not mentioned to me. What town is it? Where, where the sun down in America? Because okay. I've never, I've always do been you, of it, do, but I've you, been in this place where in, nothing has have, happened. Okay, have you lived in Texas? I've visited Dallas, but I've not lived there. Uh, you, you see, when you mention Dallas, you mention you know Dallas is a Democrat. Uh, control uh, city. Uh, if you have ever been to um, uh, this town next to Ken, uh, McKinley, what is the name again? I want to remember this city, this town. San Antonio? No, no. Uh, on the way going to uh, Louisiana? No, uh, Odessa Midland area. Uh, uh, what is the name of this town? You can, you, to even lodge, you can lodge there, but the problem is this. When you're trying to pay the town rent, you want to go out and all that, that's when you see that they are being monitored. It's a covert stuff. It's not something that is pronounced. It's not something that is written in white and black. But you yourself, you know that, look, nobody will tell you before you stay put in your hotel. So that's why, in fact, some of the travel nurses that work, especially during the COVID area, they have people that monitor them because they don't want a situation where you now started mixing your blood with their own blood. Border, it's not, only in, it's not so, only in those places. Even wait, in democratic cities, you have stuff wait, like that. I wait, have a friend no, that lives no, in now. No. Oh, but, no. But, the but, Democrats are more they embrace diversity. That is one thing. That no. is one of the difference between the Republican and Democrat. And you see, you see, you see, you see. You live in, in a Democrat. Do you know why they, 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 they you say they, they embrace diversity? Let me tell you. Because mm. they have stayed like California. They have stayed like, um, what is it? Is it New York and all these other places? And these places, Chicago, these places are one of the most polluted cities in America. I mean, in terms of population uh and and all these uh, industries that is why and they have all these one can fight low one can fight immigrants going into these cities so that's why you, know, you think they embrace those cities that you mentioned those cities that, oh, mention, those cities that you mentioned it's just that it has become the regular national anthem and the mouth of the Republican. those cities you just mentioned <laughs> are the power are the powerhouse of this country called United States. Anytime they mention those names, the kind of economy that they control, okay, and the people live there also prosper. So, unlike some Gulf forsaken somewhere in Utah or not Dakota, you know, all those, all those, look, people, I don't ever expect you you're living in the Utah for crying out loud. Who lives there, spirit, except if you are going to. Well, but I there. don't ask me who live here. I've lived in Democratic State, I've lived in Georgia. All these places. I've not only lived in two states. I've been you here for over ten years. I've if in... you say you live in Georgia, Georgia is a Republican state. Yeah, okay. it's Republican, but they have places that are run by Democrat. I've lived in North Carolina. I've lived in other places. I've lived in almost fifteen states. 
So, uh, and most of the time in democratic state, and because I've seen live, most Republic be, because you live in the Democrat uh, control city, that's why you don't you didn't see the difference. <laughs> or you, you have, nah, you have an experience. See, anyway. but let me tell you, let me let me make this point before you leave. Democrats have failed us. They have no. Uh, uh, let me let, let, let it not be a bluff, but they have no intelligence. I, 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 after have, stabilizing, now, after stabilizing it, the economy and bring the uh, they have not stabilized to, the economy. To, matter of fact, matter of fact, they have one of the worst economy because they are taking us know, to war. Do you know? Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Are you gonna let the, me say this? Let me finish, Adewale. They have taken us to war instead of bringing us back home. They spend more money. Who, 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 which war? Speak. Which war are you talking about? What are you which talking war? about? They are spending which more war? money on Ukraine, investing money because, for Ukraine to oh, fight oh, Russia. Oh, 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 why, 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 why a lot of people are suffering in this country? Oh, okay, okay. And, um, okay. Come on. If that is if that is where you want to go, you know why the, Republicans the, 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 are fighting for wait, illegal wait immigrants to stop coming wait. into this country. See, Democrats are, are opening the doors. That's why Texas is shipping all these illegal immigrants to New York so that they can go there and warm the street. And now okay. New York are chasing out illegal immigrants because they are committing crimes in New York. I mean, a, a state that is a democratic state. You are, oh, echoing hey, the same, you are echoing the same report. No, I mean, it's all we all live in this look, country. It's not like look, I'm, you are also see, echoing oh, the same stuff. See, 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 wait. You see, America made commitment and they stand by it. That was the reason why when uh trump decided that america is going to leave afghanistan the proposal then was horribly put together and because of the commitment of the country not just individual biden decided to honor that and it was so difficult because it has to be carried out on that terrible terrible condition and he had no choice you just have to leave because that region will become more volatile and at the end of the day guess what happened American soldiers still die, okay? Now, what I mean by that is that, yes, Republican committed America into a war, a war that was never ended, and the Republican no, tried No, Democrat, to, not Republican. Oh, hold on now. Uh, it started under George Bush, right? George and, Bush, yeah, but I mean, go but, ahead, okay. And when uh, Obama, Obama came in power, didn't he say he was going to stop it? it but instead of stopping same, it, he still sent more troops. Now. It was the same Republican that was saying, why would he withdraw American soldier from that? Why must he come home? He proposed to come home. But if he had done that, politically, that would have been the end of his government, right? Now, <laughs> when, it, when Trump came, he signed a deal with the same enemy, the Taliban, right? And they say, you know what, we are going to leave. So eventually, it was, a, it was an agreement that was not well thought out. And... The government also, uh, Biden administration already has that commitment that he has to follow, right? I mean, but Biden came in, Biden refused to leave. He reinforced the he military might in the this time table, The timetable, the horrible timetable put together by uh, Trump has to be abided with. That was the reason. His oh, hands oh, were tied. Um, he had no choice <laughs> than to go ahead. Hold on. Uh, did you listen to the the former service chief uh, testimony during their last uh, public hearing? No, I don't listen to I don't listen to uh, Democrat uh, oh, uh, stuff. I don't watch. I no, don't no, watch no. It was, a, it, was a, it was a public hearing at the at the, at the Capitol. It was a part uh, by partisan stuff. It wasn't just one sided thing, and they shed more light on the way because. Their hands were tied. The Department of State, you know, was the one coordinating, and it was horrible, horrible. Now, what I'm saying is that the Democrats did not commit the, the, the their commitment to Ukraine did not start from now. Before now, Trump got his hand burnt by trying to hoodwink that guy. You know, they're trying to use him for when political Trump gain. Was in power, we do not have war like Russia oh, attacking oh. Ukraine. Or oh, all these now. Israelites attacking Palestine because, and all because, these other things. The Biden came into power and started okay. reinforcing these so people. America has America has um American engagement uh, foreign foreign relation uh is well defined. They know where their interest lies, they know where their alliance lies, and they don't joke with their allies. Okay. And Ukraine happens to be one of the allies. So what we see, Mr. Trump came. The, a departure from the norms, from the same commitment American has been honoring for thousands of years, right? So 
And now, when the Trump came, it started becoming more chummy with the folks, all right, the folks that have been, you know, and America were not com comfortable with that, all right? Not that they don't, you know, work with Russia when, it's, when it matters, but it seems that America now becoming having more influence on the affair domestically. So when it comes to the war, and Ukraine and, and, uh, and Russia, America supports Ukraine because Ukraine has been their allies, right? So if this had happened during the Trump era, I can tell you there will be no country called Ukraine by now. But that, because America already made that commitment. Yeah, but, 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 but there will be no Biden, country Biden. called Ukraine. And guess what? Americans will be living good because the money that is used in funding these countries will have been put into the American economy. That is just you know? the uh, that is just the the work coming from Echo Chamber, the one you say I'm a Republican keep repeating. Look, the oh, money voted. On. Hold on now, hold on, hold on. And since come that on. as as American education collapse, as American uh, economy collapse, no. The but America, America economy right now, as we speak, is no. not at that level. That's why. Come no. on, have you seen people on this? You street? know, we, we should be grateful. You know why? We should be oh, grateful that Democrats. Democrat is the one in charge for by now. You know why? Because there was a time in this country, and I'll tell you this, the havoc COVID wreaked on this country and every country that actually relied on America, the havoc that they wreck on it will take years before they recover. I could remember very well when I, I've been in this country now for the past 18 years, going 19. And I tell you this, I know how much I buy, uh, I used to buy gas then when I first came right now we're talking about almost 300 going to 400 in some states that was a time that was almost uh uh difficult to buy gas a full tank in your car and i could remember very well you go to the store and all you could see was just um items that are you know there was a problem of logistic issues and all that and all this compounded what america and then inflation came because the money being given to people, Trump gave money to people, Biden gave money to the, to America. When you say when you say you are BA over nineteen years, this tells me that you probably came in two thousand and seven. I mean two thousand and seven. Yeah, we can hear you, but yeah, but, let, let me finish. Say, yeah, yeah, hold on. When I do, let's say he's been here over nineteen years. It tells me you came here in two thousand and seven or maybe two thousand and eight. You came here when this country was nice already. There was no problem of logistics during this time. The only problem was maybe buying calling card to call Africa and stuff because there was no social media or maybe if there was uh, because I knew that the social media came oh, in around two thousand and four. But I was, I was, let me I was, I I was, wait, wait now, wait. I was in this country before then. I was here when George Bush was the president. Oh yeah, okay. George Bush. That's what I said. You but, came here maybe two thousand and five, uh, six, uh, doing the wait. second tenure of George Bush. Oh, uh, George on. Bush when he was finishing hold his tenure. Oh, done before you started putting two and two together. I'm just trying to give you <laughs> uh, uh, the synopsis of yeah, how but, I mean, you came things. when the, the nine so, eleven has already the no, nine eleven has happened. No, no, you came no. when things yes, were going I well. Came post, they were I telling came, me there was a problem I, of logistics. I'm confused. Now. Wait, I came no, post I nine eleven. Yes. Sorry, I want uh, this. Who is, who is what's the name of this other guy that you're uh, Judy, Judy, Judy. Uh, Judy. So, Judy, um, were, was you born in America? No, I wasn't. All right. So, where are you from originally? I'm from Bakasi. Oh, you're from Cameroon. I'm from Bakasi. Okay, so why, so why, why, did you, why, did you, why did why did you move to the United States? What you mean? Why did I move to the United States? Because Africa and Nigeria and Cameroon is a failure. That's why I moved to the United States. I had no so why choice. Did you, why did you not? Why did you not stay in that failure? Why did you not remain there? Why we are living in a failure? Because everybody oh. is living in a failure doesn't mean I should live in a failure. I okay, had to move to level, America. You see, you see, you see the level, the level of hypocrisy that you are displaying now. 
Those it's people you are calling, those, crazy. hold on, hold on. Those people you are calling illegal immigrants today, do you, are they, do you not understand that they, too, they are running away from failures in different countries? When you say Ill illegal immigrants, this is what, okay, Adewale, let me ask you, are you in support of illegal immigrants? No, are you not, are you not aware that they, a lot of them are running away from different, different no, failures? I, I'm, 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 not, I'm aware, but Adewale, okay, so, as a Democrat, so the, the concept, are you, hold on, hold on, I, I, one are you in support the, of illegal the immigrants? Whether, look, hold on one second. Whether you came in legally, or you came in illegally. You both came in for the same goals to better your lives. So if uh, if you are uh, if you when you was running away from that same failure at the time, you wouldn't mind under what circumstances you left that country because you want a better life for yourself. So you need to always understand that you and those people you are looking down on today, you your goals are different are the same goals. You're not different from them. So the idea that you've been listening to certain medias that have not told you, I've been, I've been that, listening that to certain, media. I've been listening to certain media. You know, you know I live in America. I'm a U.S. I'm, citizen. I've adopted yeah, a citizen. Yeah, I'm a U.S. It, citizen. Listen, I'm citizen. telling me I listen before to certain media. I don't know the best terms of. You know what? Before you become a citizen, are you in support of? Let me ask Adewale this question: Are you in support of illegal immigrants, Adewale? Look, you know that is, what you call, look, what you call look, the, that is a, that is even a, that is even a, 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 the wrong question. Are you in support? I'm even trying to. Are you in support of any human being? I'm trying to put in perspective. Are you in support of any human being trying to better their life? Like what you are did? You, you asked you know, me a question. Let me ask you know, it to Adewale. You know, are you in support of illegal yes, immigrants? Don't don't yes, put it in I another way. I support them. Oh, yes. you say, okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. So you support illegal immigrants. You see, and this I, is why I, Democrats no, are a failure see, in this oh, country oh, oh, because oh, oh. I that I, I am I am an immigrant, right? But I came in this country legal. I came mm. in this it country make legal. No difference. It doesn't make no difference. It makes, it makes when a difference me, because no, it doesn't make no difference. You should have stayed in your country. Do you know why you guys really? are chasing other Nigerians okay. out of Nigeria because you guys consider them as non Nigerian? Okay. You guys say full of community are country. The name that you Pro look, the objective you wanted to better your life. That Pro man Pro didn't have that means to be to, to go to come through legal means. So they have to come in with whichever means they they have they have to get there. Because you know, you know one why? Thing. Yeah. Because uh, the, uh, the, the, the goal is for them to better their life and that the life of their children, just the same way you wanted to do for yourself. So you're uh, not different from them. Progress, progressive, progressive. Let's even put this thing in a perspective. You know, sometimes what I hear from my brother Judy here is that the same uh, rhetoric we hear from Republican over the time, over the years, this illegal immigrant, illegal, whatever they call them, has become a political uh, speech. But I tell you this, progressive, both of them understand American law admit and allow people to parole into their country through asylum. A majority of people that you see fleeing those hardship are also they are trying to apply for us, except if committed a crime. That is where you will be disqualified. The reason why both of them are using it as a political tools against one another now is and people buy into it because they believe it's true. American immigrant immigration system knows how to filter out the unscrupulous people. They know that. And there's a process that you have to follow. Okay, and by law, I think it was uh, United Nations Charter or something like that. You cannot turn away as a as You have to find a way to accommodate them. You may decide to parole them, but ship them to another country where we have an agreement with them, or one way or the other. But the 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 terrible one among them, the system know how to filter them away. And I'll tell you this: the reason why they are using it as a political weapon against one another is because it's not because those illegal immigrants are going to go to the poll tomorrow to vote for them, especially to the Democrat. No, you know, it's going to take process, it's going to take years before they become, and there's nothing that guarantees that even when they become nationalized American, they are going to vote Democrat. But they know for a fact that the Democrats are magnanimous and they're benevolent,
and they chose the path where they have to follow the constitution of the country by allowing people that are genuinely deserve to be in America. As a matter of fact, thousands of millions of America today that are claiming to be an American today, their parents came as a refugee either from Europe, from Africa as a slave. In fact, those ones from Europe are the most pronounced one. People are coming in from Europe, all right, claiming through, going through the uh, uh, New York Abo, all to come into the United States, and they allow them to come in as a as, a, as a asylum. And today, their offspring are the ones saying, oh, they've, they've destroyed our land, they've done this, they've done that. They didn't know the history, or they, nobody decided to ignore it. And my brother here that traveled over thousands of miles to get to America and said, no, you're against it. So people, you are here. No, you no, are no. Here he late. wants to justify. He wants to justify that his own process was different. Forget uh -huh. that it was the same you know, goals. It was the same thing that he came. In, he said he came, came in, out of your out of your country. He, he came. Uh, let me let me, said, me bring this he point. Said he, right? he said he left leg. He left leg. He, he let, came let me bring this point. I'm not against. I'm not against. I'm not. What you are feeling to? What you are feeling? What you are? No, let me. You had a visa to leave the country. No, no, you are confused because. I'm Oba, not against Obama. immigrants. I'm not what what you don't understand is I'm not against immigrants. And let me put this clear to you. The president that oh, that, 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 that let me let me finish. Let me finish. Point. Come on, I don't let spoke for a while and nobody said anything. Let me finish. President Obama was one of the president that uh, 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 resent and even you know shipped more illegal immigrants back to their homes than any other Republican part president. That's history, go and check. Another reason that I'm gonna give you is Democratic Party is one of the party that was fully in control of slaves in America. They failed to abolish it. It was a Republican president that even passed laws that, that, that recognized blacks in this country, in America. Now, no, now, no, no, let, no, no, let me, no, let me no, finish, no. let me finish. Let me finish. You know, I, I, it's really rather unfortunate that I come on this panel and I have Democrats, especially Judy. blacks, who are Judy. in support of what is going Judy. on. Judy, I, yeah, I, but want I, you you I want you to be open for correction. Okay, even though you are making your submission, I want you to be open for correction or at least interjection that will shed more light on whatever you've said. Okay, so that when you get interrupted, just hear it out, you know, just like, you know, uh, because we have to correct ourselves in some things you've said about the Republican or the Democrat as the one not willing to let go of their slaves. We have to look at the history. Is that actually true? Do we need to fact check ourselves on that? Because I'm No, you can you. go and fact check about okay. Lincoln majority, was one of the Republican presidents. of the, the Confederate or the Southerners, one of the reasons why they decided to talk, the Republican was Democrat before. They decided to move to Republican. And now the Democrat that you have now, the Democrat that you have now that is progressive and urban and all that, that is hippie, they are not the typical Democrat in the days we are talking about. They were more <laughs> Republican of Republican. Hold on. Hold on. But when the party changes, the people change, but the party no. ideology still remain the same. No, Go ahead. no, 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 no. The Democrat you are talking about, and that was the reason why Abraham Lincoln fought. In fact, he was he was uh, almost impeached because he almost lost the battle. Now, the reason why you have the Republican moving into Democrat was because of the disagreement that look, yes, we were, we we supported the slavery and all that, but when <laughs> he decided to move, to, the ideology of the Democrat that you now have was with the Republican before, so they now make that stand. So it's not as if, oh, they was pro-life or they supported the ideology of Democrats. I I no. I've understood. Let me, let me, let me, let me do my point and you're going to go ahead and talk. Look, now compare, I'm not against illegal immigrants. When you, when you are illegal, that is a law. If you are coming into this country to fight for asylum, let me finish. You pass through so many countries. Now, if you are being chased out of Nigeria, and they don't want you in that country. If you go to Brazil, Brazil is a stable country. You have the right to, that's American policy. For you to cross so many countries and come into America illegal in the extent of filing asylum, 
and you have moved across different countries and you not you did not find asylum there and then there's a problem that there's a big issue we don't know who is coming into this country as an illegal immigrant people have to be reactive you have to know who is coming in that is what the republicans are for you don't just let people in because people are coming in we have to no, fact no. check who is coming that is the listen, issue listen. hold on one second like so i'm going to say something to you now well, i live in a country in the western world right so i don't concern myself on how the government control immigration if they want to deport a million people today who are not documented that is the job of the government to do that it is not me now who came to this country who benefited from the system for me to not look down on other people and say oh this is illegal this is illegal well, nobody is looking like down on immigrants you, no, we go if you go into we, we have african we go have african party you have, we mingle you have, after look, no one look, is looking think, down on them hold on, on hold on if you if you think immigration is an issue for you go and elect a government or a party that you think is going to fix immigration okay but what i don't like is when i go to a social media space i see a fellow black brothers who have taken advantage of the same opportunity that these people are trying to take advantage of who want to benefit who want to better their life do you think it's easy for you to just pack your load no it's not and easy but you have no clue in this america when they are talking about america you that live in europe shouldn't even be talking because you don't know the plight that ordinary american citizens are facing in this country you just don't what, i mean there what, are people what, rioting what, in new york what, what, there, are, what, there are people are there are people Look, rioting in new york on. as we speak blacks let me tell you go on youtube and type in blacks american or blacks in general in new york they have they are fighting against illegal immigrants because there are a lot of crimes being committed in this state so, by so illegal them, immigrants let them, a lot of let, things are let happening them fight against, let them fight against whatever they want to fight against that's your proof that's their business but when i when i when i see come here and i hear you talk about illegals look if i have an opportunity to counter them on the street of new york i will counter them but i'm not i'm not in new york i cannot counter them so what i yeah, hear we're talking you, about the politics in america because we live in this country and it affects us if you live in europe you should also get involved in that country yeah, but, that you are in and talk about the politics that that you know that affects you you know no, because, because it is, because it is any, the mindset it is the mindset of you why did you what the question i'm asking right you was not born in the united states right why did you leave your country why don't you stay stay in your country and fix your country why didn't you stay in your country and fix your own country why did you have to run away why did you leave well but, but i came into this country as a minor i had no okay, came clue why i came into yeah I, I came in this country when i was below 18 years so i went to high school oh, matter of fact so one if year every minor, one if year. every minor run away from that for your from their country who is going to fix the country no no a minor does not run away from their country because they don't have control they, maybe you don't understand the, the the ideas of a minor a minor does not run away from their country because they don't have control so now, now of it's what not is your fault. happening it's your, it's your, it's your parents fault that they take you yes, out of the country. Mean, but but this is what i'm telling you this is what you don't understand is we are not fighting against immigrants coming into this country the no, problem you are, is you are fighting immigrants against immigrants immigrants. Coming into the country you are fighting against it look when trump was elected did you did, uh, well, did you remember that people who had legal residents who had green card were being stopped at the airport did you remember so, so what is what is your point so my point exactly was that it was not just about illegal migration it was did, about did you know that obama did you know that obama shipped illegal yes. immigrants more than trump ever did Look, if you live in a country illegally, no, I'm asking you a question. Then, did you know that Obama on, is on, this, illegal this is immigrants that Trump ever did? Yes, because the government have the right and the power to do that. That is not the that is not okay. the point. So, so the, Trump has the right and power to say if you have a green card, you have to be stopped. Check if no, your green card is okay. No, no. So is it illegal migration when the government say okay, these people they've exhausted their asylum process? They have to be sent back. So these people have committed so, crime against the country. So hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have Nigeria. Do you want illegal migrants from Fulani countries into Nigeria? Do you want that? Yes or no? What do you mean illegal migrants from Fulani? No, actually, do you want Fulani or illegal immigrants from neighboring countries to Nigeria? 
Huh? Which country? Which countries are full of new countries? Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you: Do you want illegal immigrants from Niger and Chad into your country? That is not up to my control. If people feel like if people feel like they can make positive positive uh, uh, outcome of their life in Nigeria. But let me tell you, most of you guys hold on, are hold on, hold on. on this panel. You talk about illegal immigrants in America, but when when it happens in Nigeria, I've been on this panel for so long. Mm -hmm. The way you guys talk down on oh the guys that are coming in, they don't even speak our language. They are not from Nigeria. They are from here. But yet, when it comes to illegal immigrants, you want to be very sweet and, so and tell people might, what they have might, to say. You, or might, not. you might, you might have heard those languages from people, from other people on this platform, but certainly not from me, because I don't do that. I look. Oh, okay. If, oh, if wow. you, if, if you, if you, for whatever reason, if you, for whatever reason, to go through, a, went through a system like I did, right? And I, what, twenty-one years now in, in Europe. So, look, I. I have gone through the system and for me to now see someone who is trying to go through that system look i'm not it's not in my position to say oh, look at them they just come here to take everything away they just come here to do everything no let the government deal with it okay let that is the job of the government if they are successful in their plight good for them if they cannot make it good for them but not for me to start talking down uh, on uh, these um, people um, um, because they want progressive. for me to try to better no yeah progressive progressive yeah, yeah. I, I understand what you're saying but if you listen to uh the side where judy is coming from he said so many people come into that country you pass through many countries many countries why don't you stay in those countries and seek asylum in that country? Don't, don't that don't that does that make sense a little bit to you? People are not saying no, people should no, not come no, to, no, to the US. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, make sense. It doesn't make sense. Come into the country, come in illegally. It's not difficult. Illegally. Exactly. That is it. Uh, Thomas, Thomas, yeah. what you are saying for me, what you are saying for me. It's the same thing as what Judy said. It doesn't make any difference. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that in the United States, they have immigration laws. They have immigration judges. So these are the people who are going to interpret the law according to refugees or asylum cases, right? Yeah, I so mean, they it, I mean yeah, yeah, they are going to interpret, but the, the illegal immigrants are also a burden on, on the population on, that are in this country. On, there are many people on, that are running out of jobs. They cannot get jobs because illegal immigrants are taking the positions. There are a lot of things that are on, impacting the opportunity. On, yes, they are judging. The the hold on, hold on, hold on. The government should go after those companies that are, that are uh, uh, employing illegal immigrants. Okay? So that is not even an, that is not even a debate. That is not even an excuse. The, the, if you, uh, it but is illegal. We, it is illegal. we are just so, talking. So, we are on. not doing anything. We are not illegal. chasing illegal immigrants out. It's not on it our is. role in America to chase out illegal immigrants. It is. It's on, the federal government that is doing so. Now. We are just it is illegal. Go ahead. Yeah. It is illegal for the. It is illegal for any company to employ somebody who is not legally uh, uh, resident in the country. That one is everywhere in every every Western world that I know. If that is how it works, if you if you employ people who are not legally resident in the country, you're going to get heavy fine. So that one, government should go after those companies that are employing 